Milk. Crate. Marauder. That seems eerie. He was on Arsenio last night. He's been doing that a lot. Yeah, he's into Arsenio. I have, I have arguments. every appearance. I tell him not to do it, but he's into him, so. I have to see one of these. Maybe he comes up well on the show. I got one taped. I'll bring it in. All right. I haven't seen it yet, though. What is it? It's just a coincidence that he called in. He's, uh, he's out in Los Angeles, and he's shooting the series, and he said he just wanted to, you know, call in. He got there early just to talk to you. Hey, Dice Man. Yeah. You're on the air. Hey, what's going on? It's Dice, everybody. Let me just, uh, I'm in the middle of a commercial. Let me just, let me just wrap this. All right. Um. Do your commercial. Real Estate Buyers Network. <laughs> as soon as I start talking to them, I start talking like them. I start talking like them, though, yeah. on the phone. Yeah, go ahead. Go he ahead. said it was just a coincidence that he called. He didn't know we were just talking about him for 15 no, I, minutes. How do I know? I'm on the set. I'm... He had Hot Tub John. That other caller was Hot Tub Johnny. Somebody told you we were talking about you. No, I, I mean, it. I, I actually said to Trini, I want to get to the set early so I could call Howie. See how you guys are doing. I'm good. I'm glad because I'm starting to think that, you know, when you line yourself with an Arsenio and you don't call me, I would rather call me than be on Arsenio. But he, he likes Arsenio, I should say that. This is yeah, uh, at least the third or fourth uh, time I've heard that you've been on Arsenio in uh, recent weeks. He's on there all the time, I'm telling you. What was that charming sound I was just hearing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah. By the way, we got a gay comedy troupe coming in, too, so you can hear them. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about it. You could discover them. <laughs> but isn't Dice always getting uh, grief from the gays? Yeah, they're, he's on their list. Uh, you, know, you know I don't even pick on them anymore. You don't? You, no. you, Dice is like, you know, he, we always have this discussion on the phone in private. Yeah. yeah. We're always talking about, like, you know, what we should do and what we shouldn't do, who we should pick on. No, well, you know what it is. My mind keeps expanding. You find so now you. I'm talking about, you know, midgets, cripples, uh, <laughs> cripples. Uh, uh, tracheometries, those kind of things. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, look at the other people. The have. Yes. All right, here, I'm going to do the, thing. I'm going to do the real estate commercial like Dice would do it, all right? All right, go ahead. Hi-O Silva, giddy yap, real estate buyers is no piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I come out with a nursery yeah, rhyme. Yeah, a little rhyme. And then I work into like, uh, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't sound like Now you sound like Elvis. You know, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I know music if Thank you, you so like much. it. Anyway, the Real Estate Buyers Network, what is it? If you're selling your home for $195, they will list your home. <laughs> Who's selling a home for $195? No, no, I, that's true. I'm rushing through this. Oh, okay. And I shouldn't. <laughs> the guy paid a lot of money for this. If you're selling your home and you've got $195, they'll take it from you. And what they will do is they will list your home for as long as it takes you to sell your home. Now, when you consider the fact, guys, what does it cost to sell a home when you get a real estate person? It's how much in commission do you pay? 10%, 6%? What is it? Uh, It's actually like 3%. No, it's not. Yes. Not if you're buying $3 million homes. I mean, you're buying $3 million homes. The people in our audience, you're losing touch out there, Dice. Yeah, I know. I'm out of my mind. That's why I needed to call. A 6% is usually what that's they take. Usual. Oh, that's right. That's right. There you go. You're right. right. I'm sorry. Anyway, real estate buyers well, look, never... if I was good at math and reading and writing, I wouldn't do what I do, okay? Exactly. You're a creative person. That's right. And also, if you want their free listings, you can get them by dialing 1-800-US-NETWORK. And this really works. Friends of mine just called, and they just listed their house about three days ago. And I'll keep track of how long it takes them to sell their house. All right. Because they don't want to pay commission. I don't blame them. And it's a slow real estate market, and this is a great way to sell your home. Okay. Or even to look for a home. 1-800-US-NETWORK. Anyway, Dice is on the phone. And before our gay comedians Rip Colon and Skip Chicks comes in. <laughs> interesting names for gay comedians. <laughs> Uh, you're still on this whole gay thing. It's unbelievable. No, no, no. They're actual gay comedians. They do gay comedy. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, I'd like to see that. Hey, bring them in. Let uh, Dice hear they some can, of this. They can audition for yeah. Dice. He's doing a movie. By the way, here's who our friends are. Dice Clay, Richard Belzer. Here's who our enemies are. Sam Kinison, Gilbert Gottfried, and Emo Phillips. <laughs> are you not talking to that, uh, Gilbert anymore? No, Gilbert's a putz. What happened? Don't want to talk about it. It's too painful. <laughs> Even though you, uh, uh, by the way, he was a much better choice than me as the uh, DJ in your movie. Good move. Oh, is that, is that what happened? Well, no, no, no. Because the guys will believe troupe. that. No, what happened with Gilbert? Come on. Wait a second. Here they come. Here's the gay comedy troupe. The Mark sisters. The Mark sisters. <laughs> I'm Patty. This is Maxine F. Laverne. Um, Would you, by the way, uh, Dice Clay, the gay comedy troupe. Yeah, how you doing? So anyway, Howard, how are you? I'm okay. Well, one second. Because I, I do want to talk to the gay comedy troupe in a second, but let me just finish with... Um, with Dice. All right. So Dice and I speak to each other. Well, we're speaking to each other like what? Once a weekend sometimes? Yes. Yes, we have intimate phone calls. We spend about an hour on the phone with each yeah. other. And it gets a little competitive. Dice, you got to admit. I mean, now we're starting to make a breakthrough and we're starting to talk like friends. 
Yeah, I know. That, that's bad. No, that's good. Oh, really? No, I'm saying I think we're making a breakthrough. It's no, fine. we are. We are. Because, uh, you know, I level with you with stuff. You know what I mean? We do. We talk about You're not calling stuff. every other radio state <laughs> market in town, are you, on Sunday? That's what we talk about. Sam know. does. <laughs> Sam, we t- turned out Sam was going to visit every other DJ. I don't talk to any radio stations other than you. All right. Really? It's the truth. So then, wait a second. So a bunch of yo-yos. <laughs> so then we uh, yo-yos. <laughs> it's just that you know. I mean, we... I take my valuable time to come to the set early to talk to you. I mean, I could have slept till six thirty. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> use your head. <laughs> hey, but you, uh, well, how's the new movie going? Is it almost done? Uh, we got about three weeks left. The movie is phenomenal. It's the hit of 1991. I hear, um... 1990. I don't even know where we are anymore. I don't Wayne... know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. Wayne I don't know Newton. who I am. Is Wayne Newton in it? Yeah. Is he good? Yeah, he's excellent. Really? Yeah, he really is. No, no bull. Who else? Um... Priscilla Presley. Oh, you got her? <laughs> yeah. Hey, the gay comedy troupe is laughing. Laughing at you. Don't laugh at Dice Man. I like Priscilla, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I told her, you know, I came along when comedy had no trend. I, I feel very lucky. Did you do her? Can I do her? Yeah. Well, not on the set. Off the set. No, I, I like Priscilla. She's a, actually her manager called the producer the other day. Someone told me you got Pinky Lee in the movie also. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so listen to this, listen to this. Her manager called the producer because the manager wanted to know if I'm doing my act in the movie or if I'm playing a character. Huh. So <laughs> so what happened is so what happened is the producer says, What are you talking about? He's playing this, you know, rock and roll detective guy. He goes, of course, you know, she wants to have, like, a, a little dignity, you know, because of the Elvis fans, you know. Oh, man. And the a dignity. said, she's not Elvis. <laughs> she's not Elvis. <laughs> yeah, for Elvis, we have dignity. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does she think she is, Elvis? Yeah, no, I have a uh, Priscilla. She's a girl who at 14 was doing Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Priscilla's cool. She's doing a great job. Uh, Wayne's doing a great job, and... He's proud of that. Phenomenal. He's, Wayne's proud of that little mustache. Oh, you know. Dice, you know what you ought to do? You ought to tell Wayne that he has to shave off his mustache as part of the plot twist. He won't be in it. No, he won't do it. <laughs> He's real proud of the fact that he grow that. Hot Tub Johnny apart. Two minutes on being on the set. Mm-hmm. Hot Tub walks over to him. I actually got it on film. It's hilarious. Hot Tub walks over to him and goes, you know, Wayne, I'm a big fan. I love, you know, all your stuff, and... Wayne just looks at him and he goes, you get away from me. <laughs> you come back and talk to me like a man. Oh so my the studio's real hot on the movie and they think it's going to be big. The studio's very hot on the movie. Are you guys ever going to do like a gay comedy movie? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Three sisters. Yeah, what Three do you think, Wolf? What? Who are these guys you got in there? It's just, seriously, they're gay comedians. Yeah. Are they really? Hi, yeah. Andrew. Do, do, do one of your routines for me. Do a routine? Yeah. Can you guys do a routine? Do Ann Landers. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Go ahead. All right. Dear Ann Landers, I recently went to the duplex to see a show called Funny Gay Males. I must admit I liked it very much. I went back to see it a second time. Does this make me homosexual? Sign confused. Hilarious. Oh, hell, not going to be You had to do that. Uh, Who is this? Well, it's got to be in the context. Yeah. 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 Who is this? <laughs> well, you know, that was just... What? All right, well, wait a second. Dice, we'll get to the gay comedians in a okay. second. I, I, I take them. I take them. I'm only goofing on you guys. <laughs> dice enjoys it. Dice yeah, is the new Dice. Fuck my time. My, my brain's first starting to go. See, what happens is when Dice calls me at home, we start talking, and then inevitably, because you start talking about careers with another guy, he goes, ah, oh, things are going great. I got the hit in 1990. I got the TV show coming up. For ABC. Following Roseanne. Following Roseanne. I got the... It couldn't be any better. Yeah, he goes, I got... <laughs> I just sold out the, the forum. I, it's no, no, the amphitheater. The amphitheater. I just played drums with Guns N' Roses the other night. And then, I, you know, it's my turn. He goes, he says, hey, so what are you doing, you know, uh, beside radio? You talk. I, uh, do. I said, well, I'm... Um, now, come on, you tell me what you're doing. Oh, I'm writing a movie. He's writing a movie. Yeah, but I'm writing... That sounds kind of lame. It's not like I have a movie deal. I'm just writing a movie, you know Doesn't what I mean? Matter. You I know it's going to... Hey, look, you got the greatest city in the world behind you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, I... What's that, Washington? Then I go like, um, well... You know, so what if I'm making millions? I'm out in L.A. Yeah. Are you making millions? Millions? Yeah. Wow. How much do you pay you for that? Oh, a lot. Man. To star in a movie. I mean, I got to start buying buildings. Really? You got to yeah. hide that money. Oh, man. If only yeah. our gay comedians could get in a movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah next week. <laughs> next week? <Yeah. laughs> That's when you stop shooting, right? Right. <laughs> How's that the director? He's doing a good job? Who, oh, Holland? No. That's Rennie? Finland. Rennie. Yeah, Rennie Holland. Oh. 
Holland. Mad. Mad Mad idiot. That, that big judge of England. that big judge of talent. That moron. <laughs> Stupid. Did he so say? Take him. He's the good. Did he say I sucked when I uh, did the audition? No, he didn't. He did, didn't he? No. Come on, he knew you were a friend and he, he didn't just tell has you. He has no idea what this country is even about. I'm directing him, directing me. I understand. I come over, I say, Rennie, no, this is how you approach a guy like me. What's with the TV show people want to know? Um, when are we doing it? Yeah. Well, we'll start shooting like either October or November. You're going to be a uh, mid-season? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, this, the Dice Rules Tour come September. Ending <laughs> in New York. Go ahead. Nassau Coliseum. And, you, uh, is that sold out yet? No. Is it sold out already? <laughs> it didn't even go on sale yet. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be sold out already. It will be. It's sold out. I mean, believe me. So I'm when, you, so when are you coming to New York? Little room. It's 18,000 right. feet. So you'll be in New York when? Uh, I'll be in New York um, early September. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got you. So he'll be on the show early September. All right. Yeah, All right. when I get in, I'm there. The great Andrew Dice Clay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what are you breaking me off so you can talk to them? They got gay comedians. Well, the gay comedian's been waiting since like an hour already to get on, and you know wait, what I mean. Wait, you hear what this guy's telling me? <laughs> get out of here. Wait, get up, jerk off. That's what I think you, Wayne. Get the hell out of here. Not now, Wayne. Stop feeding off of me. Is Wayne Newton in the room with you now and you're calling him a jerk off? No, I just threw him out of here. You know, I got the big trailer and he gets one of these little stalls. Did you, ha did you hang with Wayne Newton? Yeah, I hung out with him. He wants me to move to Vegas. Did he cop to you to you know the house? No, he told me. He's, he's actually, he, actually, he's, I'd have to say, as far as like, uh, Big time celebrities, the nicest one I've ever met. Really? Yeah. Get out of here. He was, no, of here. no, no bull. I mean, <laughs> really pleasant. And uh, but he was telling me he hasn't seen. You know, he lives in Vegas. Yeah. He hasn't seen the front of a hotel in 20 years. He has to take all back roads. It's amazing. Yeah, the people will uh, swarm oh, all over him. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, that's someone you want to get close to, a Wayne Newton. <laughs> a man with a skeevy mustache. And that dyed black hair. You know he's doing all Elvis songs now in his act? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> no, not anymore. That was a special tribute. Hey, Dice, I love you, man, but you loving Wayne Newton, I think you've got that Hollywood disease. You know no, what I mean? I'll never go Hollywood, man. Hey, come on, man. Never. Come on. Never. Wayne Newton's your pal? The nice hey, big <laughs> There he goes. He's telling Wayne off for us now. Tell him off. Jack up. I mean, what do you say to a guy like, no, come on, Wayne, I didn't mean it. Make him lick your boots. No, I, I dig him. I dig. We got everybody. We got Mara Stay here today. Uh, Sheila E. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You like her? Mm-hmm. It's a hot little number. Hey, tell everyone who you're having lunch with today. He's having lunch with Barbara Mandrell. Really? Oh, my. And the Andrew sisters tomorrow. Lainey Kazan is next. Yeah. She's a guy. Who, Lainey Kazan? <laughs> Isn't Lainey Kazan a great guy? <laughs> I was going to mix up Atlanta Control. I don't know. He's one of those. Stop, Mandrell. I heard she's got a penis that would knock your rank on <laughs> <laughs> I like a picture. Yes, indeed. Well, anyway, listen, Dice. Yeah. Um, what? Come on, that's it. Good. <laughs> Who's an angry an angry Gina man on 260? What, what is he Gina man what angry he want? He's angry for saying that Siobhan came to that you said Siobhan went to his barbecue. <laughs> no, I didn't say Siobhan went. He's, he's just generally angry. Hang up on him. He's an idiot. He's an idiot. I couldn't find a handle on a coffee cup. When the hell are you going to get in here and do the show already? And what are you doing but, on Arsenio? What's that all about? I was on it last night. With who? With me. Well, uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor was on talking about a friggin' parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. I, I just don't get she's a, she's a jerk. She ain't getting a sitcom, you know what I'm saying? That's right, the exactly. bottom line. She's not going to be on after Roseanne. She's trying to build a career over a friggin' parking ticket. And what else? And then she also is mad about her dog being in the... Uh... Right, she's suing some airline. I just don't airline. understand the police officer. She's going speeding her up. So, you know, chicks pay for that kind of stuff today. Arsenio, <laughs> though, is an Uncle Tom. What are you, what are you doing with him? No, nah, I like Arsenio. You ain't going to get me to talk bad Are you hanging with Arsenio. him? Are you hanging with him? I do the show. We rap. You know, he likes you. Oh, he says that. He says that. He does. He doesn't like her. He doesn't well, like me do because show, I'm a threat, like a real black man would be a threat to him. Do you want to do that show because... Yeah. No. I got the strings to pull. 
I don't want to do his show. What, it's like being on the set of Blackula. No, they're like oil and water. They don't mix. <laughs> Look how he's just trying to get me to do things. Come on, guys. Quiver, did you hear him? Talk I the truth, him. man. But you can tell us the truth. We don't yeah. want you going home. I like him. I, I got to tell you, I like him. I, know I don't... What do you like? I know him for 10 years, man. I, I, he's got big gums. Yeah, I, I how, can you, how can you not be attracted to a man with those kind of gums? You know what I mean? The guy fought for it, believe me. He did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you mean I he had to beat up Eddie Murphy to get all that attention? I can remember standing in a hole with this guy. Yeah. He actually had to kick Eddie Murphy's ass to get that much attention. Yeah. No, I know, I know. He worked hard, and you knew him in the club. He used to work, when I was doing Crime Story in Vegas, right? Yeah. And he'd be in Vegas, like, performing with Barbara Mandrell. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. He'd play basketball one-on-one. I'd bury him. Yeah. You know, because... <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm great. I mean, if you're good and you know it, yeah. why hide it? You hey, know the gay I'm comics saying? like Arsenio's gums, they were telling me. Really? That. Yeah. yeah, well, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't study his gums. I know. All right, anyway, so everybody, Dice Clay, and uh, this is a little teaser. We've got the information first. Nassau Coliseum coming up in September. Tickets are not on sale yet. But when they are on sale, there's going to be, it's going to be like the dead. You know, you got to get there quick. Well, the announcement will be gone in a half here. hour. Mm -hmm. Did you hear uh, Mr. Ed and Cher yet? Did I hear who? Mr. Ed Meets Cher. No, go ahead, do it. I can't do it now. I'll play it for you later. I'll call me this week and I'll play it for you. Yeah? All right. Everybody... I got up early to call you. You what? keep brushing me off. Come on, I got the gay comics here. Big deal. Oh, Dice. Uh, hey, come on, Dice. Yeah, go on. You like Bob Hope when he walks onto the Carson show. Yeah, you're Then you got to stop the show. These guys have been waiting a long time to get on. Have they really? Yeah, well, well, why aren't they talking? They can't be in the conversation. Because it's hard to, to interrupt yeah. a phone call, you know what I mean? Everyone starts stepping all over they each other. They ain't talking about fruit salads. They ain't happy. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of material are you guys doing, anyway? Yeah, yeah. Well, we want to try to get uh, Wayne Newton and Priscilla Presley doing Hamlet next <laughs> summer for Kill <laughs> Pip. <laughs> In the park. Who, uh, who does Wayne Newton say? Uh, <laughs> nice. But anyway, so you guys are gay comics. Yeah, okay. Now, which one is pitchers and which, which one is catchers? Which one's the guy? And which one is the guy? <laughs> Come on, some of you guys are more feminine and some of you guys are more masculine. Am I correct? No, we're all, we're all butch. No, we're, all, we're, all, we're, we're all straight butch. men in our ex. Yeah. But I'm bummed. Yeah. No, no, seriously. And where do you guys perform? I mean, you perform in front of gays mostly, right? Yeah, no, mostly yeah, gays and a lot of straight people come down and like it. You know, we get mixed crowds down there lately. For where? Public, at the duplex. Yeah. On Grove Street, the duplex. Two five 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 four three eight. I can't wait to come in. <laughs> We'll comp you too. Oh. <laughs> do you guys mind the kind of stuff? Oh, oh, easy. easy. This is radio, not the duplex. You know, I try to get <laughs> the gays. I try to get the gays on legitimate radio. Yeah. <laughs> and they do. All right. This is right. Apologize for saying the yeah, F I'm word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Guy finally opens his mouth and right away the yeah, F word. Yeah. Yeah. Dice has a I'm family out, yeah. audience. I'm My the most goodness. filthy comic in the world, and <laughs> I know not to say the F word <laughs> yeah. on. Oh, boy. Thank you, Dice. On radio. You know, at least you're a professional. You're a professional. Okay. Yeah, this guy's just hoping I'll punish him. trying to do my friggin' act. You caught on, good. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so you guys, now yeah. we, we were just, we got into a rap about the gay comedians. We, um, yeah. we want to know everything about them. All right. So in other words, you three guys, do you guys go with each other sexually at all? No, 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 no. no, no. You've never seen each other. You've never played with each other. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Played off each other, yeah. No, no come on, be serious. Other. You guys yeah. have never no, touched I'm, each I'm, other. I'm, I'm a oh, prude. No. I'm, I'm, I'm half Jewish. I'm, I'm prude. And, yeah. I'm descended from a very long line of effeminate Jewish men. My uh, my great great grandfather's called Shlomo the Homo, and uh... <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of yeah. stuff you do. But do this is the kind of stuff we do, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't believe yeah. that gay. I mean, no, no, they're, they're gay. gay. They're, they're they are gay. They are. They are. No, they are. No, they are. They're not gay. It's a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. No, no, no. They really I mean, are. The truth, though, guys, when you see a chick, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. With like a G string creeping up her ass. Ooh. You know, the big boobs. That, that does nothing to you. No, no, no. Well, Ooh. Howard, you said before you didn't get much sleep last night because you watched the uh, Miss Teen USA. USA. You watched that, Dice? No. Miss Teen USA pageant? No, I got a VHS machine and I buy different tapes. I see. I yeah. See. So yeah. So yeah. What were you saying I about that? Like a log, oh. right through that. Right right through it. Oh yeah. boy, what a wreck! You guys, yeah. when, what age did you realize you guys were gay? You know, I mean, what, how did that all come? Serious, I'm being serious. I'm really serious I, about it. Well, obviously, I ever since I was a kid, I knew. Yeah. I mean, really. You always knew. I always kind of. I didn't know when I was a kid, but you know, like when you were five years old. I know I used to dream about Honey West, and I uh -huh. and I think oh, about Honey West. Think about women. I had a crush on. Yeah, did you love 
features. Lee Majors in the big. I valley. had a crush on Billy Mummy and Lost in Space. Remember that little Seriously? Guy? Seriously, I did. Like I, you would think about seeing him naked and what his penis looked like uh, and stuff. Yeah. Doctor, if Doctor Smith wasn't there, it would have been great. You're the robot. You know, they always got in the way. Yeah, I did. I released the. Oh, it's a so weird, if you would have attacked Billy Mummy, then the robot would have gone and jumped <laughs> on you. Warning! 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 Gays, gays. Warning! 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 Gays. A homosexual. Homo. 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 Young homo, Will Robinson. You know, danger. There was a lot of gay overtones in that show. You know, Don. Remember Don, the leader. Kick. Remember, he like Mr. Butch, and he would go out and they would kick his ass every time. I'll get him, Maureen. And then they wiped the floors up with that guy. I was like, look at him, look at that queen. But anyway, no. I, uh, but you guys actually get paid to do your comedy, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. people pay to go see you. Yeah. But, uh, but gays like you because you're a gay comedian. Right, yeah. right. They can relate. They, they I, work, can relate. I work right. at Catch a Rising Star, though, in the comic strip. Oh, yeah, you do? And yeah. It's, um, yeah. You know, actually, I do the same you material. You downstairs room. Nope. <laughs> you, saying, you mean he plays the uh, Catch Rising Star's bathroom, is what you're saying, uh, Dice? No, I wouldn't say uh, that. Come on, I don't do that. Yeah. kind of material no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I tell you what. Here's we got the gay comedy troupe here. I got to break for commercial dice. Yeah, you want to stay home? I want to find out about. Yeah, I'll hang for a minute. Okay. I want to find out about what it was like when they went home and told their parents. Yeah, we sure. want to know everything yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. You want to hear it, dice? Yeah. Yeah. You want right. to hear? Okay, good. It's better than listening to Zaza talk about her parking ticket. Yeah, yeah. Don't dotting. get started with her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I met Zaza at Hollywood Squares when I did that. <laughs> I saw that. You were great on Hollywood. Thank you. Well, uh, it was a lot better, but they edited everything. I liked it better when you were on Letterman. You talked about on Letterman. Thank you. That was very good idea. They let me talk about all the stuff they edited out of Hollywood Squares. I rolled on the floor. I enjoyed it very much. Mm-hmm. You see, I'm a... I'm a well, my name is Zsa anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. Not like Suze, <laughs> Susie, or Marilyn. Zsa Zsa. The chick sounds like she's a human poodle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what, what kind of name is that for a person? I don't know, man. <laughs> Grow up, honey. Z-S-A, Z-S-A. She yeah. has grown up. She just won't grow. Her name doesn't. Yeah. yeah. She needs an African name, maybe. <laughs> all right. Hey, listen. Uh, Dice, hold on. i got to do some all commercials. Right, do all right. All right. I'm fascinated by you guys. I want to know everything. Let's not talk okay. during the commercial so I, I, I'm fresh when we come back. All right. Max and Pontiac Honda Hyundai GMC truck. You hanging out with uh, Axel Rose? Uh, I haven't seen him lately. Axel is here in New York. That's a problem. Mm. Hanging out with uh, Duff and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I hang with the boys. They're very cool. They came over recently. They gave me, Trini, and Hot Tub Johnny out Guns N' Roses. That's that. See? This is what he starts in on the phone, and then, you know, you can't compete with it's that. It's into leather. Yeah, how, how, do you, how do you beat that? Anyway. Yeah. Do you pinch yourself, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Max and Pontiac Honda, he's, but you see, he's a, he's a humble guy. He appreciates his yeah. success. Yeah. No, I do appreciate it, and, uh, you know... All right, enough I was still a bad boy from Brooklyn. That's all. Anyway, the lowest prices are guaranteed at Max and Pontiac. Hyundai. What a commercial! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what else? Bad. What else? I'm trying to get through this. Pontiac. I own the Pontiac. You have Friggin a Pontiac. Where the timing chain went? Oh. <laughs> but it's a lot. And it was a 20 year old car. Oh, yeah. right. When the timing chain went, it was time you got a new car. But it hurt me. Max and Pontiac. What do you mean it hurt you? I was on my way to this disco to meet this chick. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I was, you know, it takes me about five minutes to bang out a chick, but the whole thing was that I never got to meet her because the timing chain went. So the way I see it, Pontiac blew my chances of banging out this chick. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> and, and you resent them for that. Yeah. yeah. I don't buy the pot, but you know, I, I, you know, your timing wasn't good then, and uh, your timing isn't so good now. It's on the Oniac pay. This is the answer pay who A pays a lot of money, A, or whatever. All right, anyway, Max, Max and Pontiac. <laughs> Max and Pontiac with over 250 Max and people pleasers. They're to guarantee your complete satisfaction. In fact, they have 250 trained technicians on hand at Max. Well, maybe they got that timing chain thing down by now. Call them at 201-964-1600. Oh, boy. Easy on the ONIAC pay. No, they all right. Actually, I was actually recently looking for an old Pontiac Le Mans, a 69. See? You know? Well, how about a new one? Milk, crate, marauder. That seems eerie. He was on Arsenio last night. He's been doing that a lot. Yeah, he's into Arsenio. I have, I have arguments. every appearance. I tell him not to do it, but he's into him, so... I have to see one of these. Maybe he comes up well on the show. I got one taped. I'll bring it in. All right. I haven't seen it yet, though. What is it? It's just a coincidence that he called in. He's, a, he's out in Los Angeles, and he's shooting the series, and he said he just wanted to, you know, call in. He got there early just to talk to you. Hey, Dice Man. Yeah. You're on the air. Hey, what's going on? It's Dice, everybody. Let me just, uh, I'm in the middle of a commercial. Let me just, let me just wrap this. All right. Um, Do your commercial. Real Estate Buyers Network. <laughs> as soon as I start talking to them, I start talking like them. 
I start talking like him, though, yeah. on the phone. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go he ahead. said it was just a coincidence that he called. He didn't know we were just talking about him for 15 no, I, minutes. How do I know? I'm on the set. I'm... He had Hot Tub John. That other caller was Hot Tub Johnny. Somebody told you we were talking about you. <laughs> no, I, I mean, it. I, I actually said to Trini, I want to get to the set early so I could call Howie. See how you guys are doing. Well, I'm good. I'm glad because I'm starting to think that, you know, when you align yourself with an Arsenio and you don't call me, I would rather call me than be on Arsenio. But he, he likes Arsenio, I should say that. This is yeah, uh, at least the third or fourth uh, time I've heard that you've been on Arsenio in uh, recent weeks. He's on there all the time, I'm telling you. What was that charming sound I was just hearing? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so. Yeah. By the way, we got a gay comedy troupe coming in, too, so you can hear them. Oh, yeah, I'm excited about it. You could discover them. <laughs> but isn't Dice always getting uh, grief from the gay? Yeah, they're, he's on their list. Uh, you, know, you know I don't even pick on them anymore. You don't? You, no. you, Dice is like, you know, he, we always have this discussion on the phone in private. Yeah. yeah. We're always talking about, like, you know, what we should do and what we shouldn't do, who we should pick on. No, well, you know what it is. My mind keeps expanding. You find so now you. I'm talking about, you know, midgets, cripples, uh, <laughs> cripples. Uh, uh, tracheometries, those kind of things. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, look at the other people. The have. Yes. All right, here, I'm going to do the, thing. I'm going to do the real estate commercial like Dice would do it, all right? All right, go ahead. Hi-O Silva, giddy yap, real estate buyers is no piece of crap. <laughs> <laughs> See, like I come out with a nursery Yeah, rhyme. a little rhyme. And then I work into like, uh, you know, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't sound like Now you sound like Elvis. You know, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. I know music if Thank you, you so like much. it. Anyway, the Real Estate Buyers Network, what is it? If you're selling your home for $195, they will list your home. <laughs> Who's selling a home for $195? No, no, I, that's true. I'm rushing through this. Oh, okay. And I shouldn't. <laughs> the guy paid a lot of money for this. If you're selling your home and you've got $195, they'll take it from you. And what they will do is they will list your home for as long as it takes you to sell your home. Now, when you consider the fact, guys, what does it cost to sell a home when you get a real estate person? It's how much in commission do you pay? 10%, 6%? What is it? Uh, It's actually like 3%. No, it's not. Yes. Not if you're buying $3 million homes. I mean, you're buying $3 million homes. The people in our audience, you're losing touch out there, Dice. Yeah, I know. I'm out of my mind. That's why I needed to call. A 6% is usually what that's they take. Usual. Oh, that's right. That's right. There you go. You're right. right. I'm sorry. Anyway, real estate buyers well, look, never... if I was good in math and reading and writing, I wouldn't do what I do, okay? Exactly. You're a creative person. That's right. And also, if you want their free listings, you can get them by dialing 1-800-US-NETWORK. And this really works. Friends of mine just called, and they just listed their house about three days ago. And I'll keep track of how long it takes them to sell their house. All right. Because they don't want to pay commission. I don't blame them. And it's a slow real estate market, and this is a great way to sell your home. Okay. Or even to look for a home. 1-800-US-NETWORK. Anyway, Dice is on the phone. And before our gay comedians Rip Colon and Skip Chicks comes in. <laughs> interesting names for gay comedians. <laughs> Uh, you're still on this whole gay thing. It's unbelievable. No, no, no. They're actual gay comedians. They do gay comedy. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, I'd like to see that. Hey, bring them in. Let uh, Dice hear they some can, of this. They can audition for yeah. Dice. He's doing a movie. By the way, here's who our friends are. Dice Clay, Richard Belzer. Here's who our enemies are. Sam Kinison, Gilbert Gottfried, and Emo Phillips. <laughs> are you not talking to that, uh, Gilbert anymore? No, Gilbert's a putz. What happened? Don't want to talk about it. It's too painful. <laughs> Even though you, uh, uh, by the way, he was a much better choice than me as the uh, DJ in your movie. Good move. Oh, is that, is that what happened? Well, no, no, no. There's the gay comedy believe troupe. That. No, what happened with Gilbert? Come on. Wait a second. Here they come. Here's the gay comedy troupe. The Mark sisters. The Mark sisters. <laughs> I'm Patty. This is Maxine F. Laverne. Um, Would you, by the way, uh, Dice Clay, the gay comedy troupe. Yeah, how you doing? So anyway, Howard, how are you? I'm okay. Well, one second. Because I, I do want to talk to the gay comedy troupe in a second, but let me just finish with... Um, with Dice. All right. So Dice and I speak to each other. Well, we're speaking to each other like what? Once a weekend sometimes? Yes. Yes, we have intimate phone calls. We spend about an hour on the phone with each yeah. other. And it gets a little competitive. Dice, you got to admit. I mean, now we're starting to make a breakthrough and we're starting to talk like friends. I know. That, that's bad. No, that's good. Oh, really? No, I'm saying I think we're making a breakthrough. That's no, fine. we are. We are. Because, uh, you know... I level with you with stuff, you know what I mean? We do, we talk about You're not calling stuff. every other radio state <laughs> market in town, are you, on Sundays? That's, that's what we found what Sam know. does. <laughs> Sam, we turned out Sam was going to visit every other DJ. I don't talk to any radio stations other than you. All right. Really? It's the truth. So then wait a second, so... A bunch of yo-yos. <laughs> so then we, uh... Yo-yos! <laughs> it's just that, you know... I mean, we... I take my valuable time to come to the set early to talk to you. I mean, 
I could have slept till six thirty. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> use your head. <laughs> hey, but you, uh, well, how's the new movie going? Is it almost done? Uh, we got about three weeks left. The movie is phenomenal. It's the hit of nineteen ninety one. I hear um nineteen ninety. I don't even know where we are anymore. I don't Wayne... know what day it is. I don't know what time it is. Wayne I don't know who I am. Is Wayne Newton in it? Yeah. Is he good? Yeah, he's excellent. Really? Yeah, he really is. No, no bull. Who else? Um, Priscilla Presley. <laughs> well, you got her? <laughs> yeah. Hey, the gay comedy troupe is laughing. Laughing at you. Don't laugh at Dice Man. I like Priscilla, and, uh... <laughs> yeah, I told her, you know, I came along when comedy had no trend. I, I feel very lucky. Did you do her? Can I do her? Yeah. Well, not on the set. Off the set. No, I, I like Priscilla. She's a, actually her manager called the producer the other day. Someone told me you got Pinky Lee in the movie also. Uh, oh. <laughs> so listen to this, listen to this. Her manager called the producer because the manager wanted to know if I'm doing my act in the movie or if I'm playing a character. Huh. So <laughs> so what happened is so what happened is the producer says, What are you talking about? He's playing this, you know, rock and roll detective guy. He goes, of course, you know, she wants to have, like, a, a little dignity, you know, because of the Elvis fans, you know. Oh, man. And the a dignity. said, she's not Elvis. <laughs> she's not Elvis. <laughs> yeah, for Elvis, we have dignity. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does she think she is, Elvis? Yeah, no, I have a uh, Priscilla. She's a girl who at 14 was doing Elvis. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Priscilla's cool. She's doing a great job. Uh, Wayne's doing a great job, and... He's proud of that. Phenomenal. He's, Wayne's proud of that little mustache. Oh, you know. Dice, you know what you ought to do? You ought to tell Wayne that he has to shave off his mustache as part of the plot twist. He won't be in it. No, he won't do it. <laughs> He's real proud of the fact that he grow that. Hot Tub Johnny apart. Two minutes on being on the set. Mm -hmm. Hot Tub walks over to him. I actually got it on film. It's hilarious. Hot Tub walks over to him and goes, you know, Wayne, I'm a big fan. I love, you know, all your stuff, and... Wayne just looks at him and he goes, you get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> the tie. You come back and talk to me like a man. Oh so my the studio's real hot on the movie and they think it's going to be big. The studio's very hot on the movie. Are you guys ever going to do like a gay comedy movie? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Three sisters. Yeah, what Three do you sisters. think, Wolf? What? Who are these guys you got in there? It's just seriously, they're gay comedians. Yeah. Are they really? Hi, yeah. Andrew. Do, do, do one of your routines for me. Do a routine? Yeah. Can you guys do a routine? Do Ann Landers. Yeah. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. Dear Ann Landers, I recently went to the duplex to see a show called Funny Gay Males. I must admit I liked it very much. I went back to see it a second time. Does this make me homosexual? Sign confused. Hilarious. Oh, hell, uh, not going to be dead. You had to do that. Uh, Who is this guy? It's got to be in the contest. Yeah. Yeah. Who is this? <laughs> well, you know, that was just... What? All right, well, wait a second. Dice, we'll get to the gay yeah. comedians in a okay. second. I, I, I take them. I take them. I'm only oh. goofing on you guys. No, no, no. Dice enjoys it. Dice yeah, is the new Dice. Fuck my time. My, my brain's first starting to go. See, what happens is when Dice calls me at home, we start talking, and then inevitably, because you start talking about careers with another guy, he goes, ah, oh, things are going great. I got the hit of 1990. I got the TV show coming up. For ABC. Following Roseanne. Following Roseanne. I got the... It couldn't be any better. Yeah, he goes, I got... <laughs> I just sold out the, the forum. I, it's no, no, the amphitheater. The amphitheater. I just played drums with Guns N' Roses the other night. And then, I, you know, it's my turn. He goes, he says, hey, so what are you doing, you know, uh, beside radio? You talk. I, uh, do. I said, well, I'm... Um, now, come on, you tell me what you're doing. Oh, I'm writing a movie. He's writing a movie. Yeah, but I'm writing... That sounds kind of lame. It's not like I have a movie deal. I'm just writing a movie, you know Doesn't what I mean? Matter. You I know it's going to... Hey, look, you got the greatest city in the world behind you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I said, I... What's that, Washington? Then I go like, um, well... You know, so what if I'm making millions? I'm out in L.A. Yeah. Are you making millions? Millions? Yeah. Wow. How much do you pay you for that? Oh, a lot. Man. To star in a movie. I mean, I got to start buying buildings. Really? You got to yeah. hide that money. Oh, man. If only yeah. our gay comedians could get in a movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah next week. <laughs> next week. <Yeah. laughs> That's when you stop shooting, right? Right. <laughs> How's that the director? He's doing a good job? Who, oh, Holland? No. That's Rennie? Finland. Rennie. Yeah, Rennie Holland. Oh. Holland. Yeah. yeah. That, 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 that big judge of, that big judge of talent that moron <laughs> stupid did he but say him. he's the good did he say I sucked when I uh, did the audition no he didn't he did didn't he no come on he knew you were a friend and he, he didn't just tell has you no idea what this country is even about I'm directing him directing me I understand I come over I say Rennie no this is how you approach a guy like me what's with the TV show people want to know um when are we doing it? Yeah. Well, we'll start shooting like either October or November. You're going to be a uh, mid-season? Um, yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, this 
the Dice Rules Tour come September. Ending <laughs> in New York. Go ahead. Nassau Coliseum. And, you, uh, is that sold out yet? No. Is it sold out already? <laughs> Didn't even go on sale yet. <laughs> I'm sure it's going to be sold out already. It will be. It's sold out. I mean, believe me. So I'm when, you, so when are you coming to New York? A little room. It's 18,000 right. feet. So you'll be in New York when? Uh, I'll be in New York um, early September. All right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got you. So he'll be on the show early September. Oh. Yeah, All right. Yeah, when I get in, I'm there. The great Andrew Dice Clay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, what are you breaking me off so you can talk to them? We got gay comedians. Well, the gay comedian's been waiting since like an hour already to get on, and you know wait, what I mean. Wait, you hear what this guy's telling me? <laughs> get out of here. Wait, get up, jerk off. That's what I think you, Wayne. <laughs> you Get the hell out of here. Not now, Wayne. Stop feeding off of me. Is Wayne Newton in the room with you now and you're calling him a jerk-off? No, I just threw him out of here. You know, I got the big trailer and he gets one of these little stalls. Did you, ha did you hang with Wayne Newton? Yeah, I hung out with him. He wants me to move to Vegas. Did he cop to you to you know the house? No, he told me he's, he's actually, he, actually, he's, I'd have to say, as far as like, uh, Big time celebrities, the nicest one I've ever met. Really? Yeah. Get out of here. He was, no, of here. no, no bull. I mean, <laughs> really pleasant. And uh, but he was telling me he hasn't seen. You know, he lives in Vegas. Yeah. He hasn't seen the front of a hotel in 20 years. He has to take all back roads. It's amazing. Yeah, the people will uh, swarm oh, all over him. him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, that's someone you want to get close to, a Wayne Newton. <laughs> a man with a Stevie <laughs> mustache. And that dyed black hair. You know he's doing all Elvis songs now in his act? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> no, not anymore. That was a special tribute. Hey, Dice, I love you, man, but you loving Wayne Newton, I think you've got that Hollywood disease. You know no, what I mean? I'll never go Hollywood, man. Hey, come on, man. Never. Come on. Never. Wayne Newton's your pal? The nice hey, big <laughs> There he goes. He's telling Wayne off for us now. Tell him off. Jack up. I mean, what do you say to a guy like, no, come on, Wayne, I didn't mean it. Make him lick your boots. No, I, I dig him. I dig. We got everybody. We got Mara Stay here today. Uh, Sheila E. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You like her? Mm-hmm. It's a hot little number. Hey, tell everyone who you're having lunch with today. He's having lunch with Barbara Mandrell. Really? Oh, my. And the Andrew sisters tomorrow. Lainey Kazan is next. Yeah. She's a guy. Who, Lainey Kazan? <laughs> Isn't Lainey Kazan a great guy? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to mix up Atlanta Control. I don't know. He's one of those. Stop, Mandrell. I heard she's got a penis that would knock your rank on <laughs> <laughs> I like a picture. Yes, indeed. Well, anyway, listen, Dice. Yeah. Um, what? Come on, that's it. Good. <laughs> Who's an angry an angry Gina man on 260? What, what is he Gina man what angry he want? He's angry for saying that Siobhan came to his... You said Siobhan went to his barbecue. <laughs> no, I didn't say Siobhan went. He's, he's just generally angry. Hang up on him. <laughs> <I'm an idiot. laughs> he did it. I couldn't find a handle on a coffee cup. When the hell are you going to get in here and do the show already? And what are you doing but, on Arsenio? What's that all about? I was on it last night. With who? With me. Well, uh, Zsa Zsa Gabor was on talking about a friggin' parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> She's, I, I just don't get she's a, she's a jerk. She ain't getting a sitcom, you know what I'm saying? That's right, the exactly. bottom line. She's not going to be on after Roseanne. She's trying to build a career over a friggin' parking ticket. And what else? And then she also is mad about her dog being in the, uh... Right, she's suing some airline. I just don't airline. understand the police officer. She's going speeding her up. So, you know, chicks pay for that kind of stuff today. Arsenio, <laughs> though, is an Uncle Tom. What are you, what are you doing with him? No, nah, I like Arsenio. You ain't going to get me to talk bad Are you hanging with Arsenio. him? Are you hanging with him? I do the show. We rap. You know, he likes you. Oh, he says that. He says that. He does. He doesn't like how. He doesn't well, like me do because show, I'm Howie? a threat, like a real black man would be a threat to him. Do you want to do that show because yeah. no. I got the strings to pull? I don't want to do his show. What, it's like being on the set of Blackula. No, they're like oil and water. They don't mix. <laughs> Look how he's just trying to get me to do things. Come on, guys. Wait, did you hear him? Talk I the truth, him. man. But you can tell us the truth. We don't yeah. want you going home. I like him. I, I got to tell you, I like him. I, know I don't. What do you like? I know him for 10 years, man. I, I, he's got big gums. Yeah, I, I how, can you, how can you not be attracted to a man with those kind of gums? You know what I mean? The guy fought for it, believe me. He did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, you mean I he had to beat up Eddie Andy. Murphy to get all that attention? I can remember standing in a hole with this guy. He actually had to kick Eddie Murphy's ass to get that much attention? <laughs> yeah. No, I know, I know. He worked hard, and you knew him in the club. He used to work, when I was doing Crime Story in Vegas, right? Yeah. And he'd be in Vegas, like, performing with Barbara Mandrell. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. He'd play basketball one-on-one. -on -one. I'd bury him. Yeah. You know, because... <laughs> 
I mean, you know, I'm great. I mean, if you're good and you know it, yeah. why hide it? You hey, know the gay I'm comics saying? like Arsenio's gums. They were telling me really? that. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, well, that's them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't study his gums. I know. All right, anyway, so everybody, Dice Clay, and uh, this is a little teaser. We've got the information first. Nassau Coliseum coming up in September. Tickets are not on sale yet. But when they are on sale, there's going to be, it's going to be like the dead. You know, you got to get there quick. Well, the announcement will be gone in a half hour. Mm -hmm. Did you hear uh, Mr. Ed and Cher yet? Did I hear who? Mr. Ed meets Cher. No, go ahead. Do it. I can't do it now. I'll play it for you later. I'll call me this week and I'll play it for you. Yeah? All right. Everybody... I got up early to call you. You what? keep brushing me off. Come on, I got the gay comics here. Big deal. Oh, Dice. Uh, hey, come on, Dice. Yeah, go on. You like the Bob Hope when he walks onto the Carson show. Yeah, you Then you got to stop the show. These guys have been waiting a long time to get on. Have they really? Yeah, well, well, why aren't they talking? They can't be in the conversation. Because it's hard to, to interrupt yeah. a phone call, you know what I mean? Everyone starts stepping all over they each other. They ain't talking about fruit salads. They ain't happy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what kind of material are you guys doing, anyway? Yeah, yeah. Well, we want to try to get uh, Wayne Newton and Priscilla Presley doing Hamlet next <laughs> summer for Kill <laughs> Pip. <laughs> In the park. Who, uh, who does Wayne Newton stop? Uh, <laughs> nice. But anyway, so you guys are gay comics. Yeah, that's right. Now, which one is pitchers and which, which one is cats? Which one's the guy? And which one is the guy? <laughs> Come on, some of you guys are more feminine and some of you guys are more masculine. Am I correct? No, we're all, we're all butch. No, we're, all, we're, all, we're all straight men in our ex. Yeah. But I'm bummed. Yeah. No, no, seriously. And where do you guys perform? I mean, you perform in front of gays mostly, right? Yeah, no, mostly yeah, gays and a lot of straight people come down and like it. You know, we get mixed crowds down there lately. For Where? Public, at the duplex. Yeah. On Grove Street, the duplex. Two five 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 four three eight. Uh, I can't wait to come in. I gotta <laughs> see this. You gotta this I'm going right from the airport to the <laughs> go. <laughs> 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 we'll comp you, too. <laughs> do, do you guys mind the kind of stuff? Oh, oh, easy. easy. This is radio, not the duplex. The you know, I try to get and the gays. I try to get the gays on legitimate radio. Yeah. <laughs> and they do. All right. This is all right. Apologize for saying the yeah, F I'm word. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The guy finally opens his mouth and right away the yeah, F word. Yeah. The dice has a I'm family out, yeah. audience. I'm My the most goodness. filthy comic in the world, and <laughs> I know not to say the F word <laughs> yeah, on, oh boy. Thank you, on radio. You know, at least you're a professional. You're a professional, guy. Yeah, this guy's just hoping I'll punish him. That's right, I do my friggin' act. You caught on, good. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, so you guys, now yeah. we, we were just, we got into a rap about the gay comedians. We, um, yeah. we want to know everything about them. All right. So in other words, you three guys, do you guys go with each other sexually at all? No, 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 no. no, no. You've never seen each other. You've never played with each other. No, 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 no. no, no, no. We played off each other, yeah. No, no come on, be serious. Other. You guys yeah. have never no, touched I'm, each I'm, other. I'm, I'm a oh, prude. No. I'm, I'm, I'm half Jewish. I'm, I'm prude. And, yeah. I'm descended from a very long line of effeminate Jewish men. My uh, my great great grandfather's called Shlomo the Homo, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> so this is the kind of yeah. stuff you do. But do this is the kind of stuff we do, yeah. 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 Kind of I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't believe yeah. that gay. I mean, no, they're gay. They are gay. Maybe they are. No, they are. They're not gay. It's a gimmick. It's just a gimmick. No, no, no. They really I mean, the truth, are. Though, guys, when you see a chick, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 With like a G string creeping up her ass. Ooh. You know the big boobs. That does nothing. No, no, no. Well, mm. Howard, you said before you didn't get much sleep last night because you watched the uh, Miss Teen USA. USA. You watched that, Dice? No. Miss Teen USA pageant? No, I got a VHS machine and I buy different tapes. I see. I yeah. See. So yeah. So yeah. What were you saying I about that? Like a log, <laughs> right through that. Right through it. Oh boy, what a wreck! You guys, yeah. when, what age did you realize you guys were gay? You know, I mean, where, how did that all come? Seriously, I'm being serious. I'm really serious I, about it. Well, obviously, I. Ever since I was a kid, I knew. Yeah. I mean, really. You always knew. I always kind of, I didn't know when I was a kid, but, you know. Like, when you were five years old, I know I used to dream about Honey West, and I'd, uh -huh. I'd, and I'd think oh, about Honey West. I'd think about women. I had, I had, I had, I had a big crush on yeah, Lee, Lee, Majors, love... Lee Majors in the big I valley. I had a crush on Billy Mummy in Lost in Space. Was that a little Seriously? Guy? Seriously, I did. Like, uh, you would think about seeing him naked and what his penis looked like uh, and stuff? Yeah. Doctor, if Dr. Love. Smith wasn't there, it would have been great. You're on the robot. You know, they always got in the way. Yeah, I did. I really used to... Oh, it's a little so weird, if you would have attacked Billy Mummy, then the robot would have gone and jumped on you. Warning! Warning! Warning, gays, gays. Warning, 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 gays. A homosexual. Homo, homo, homo. Young homo, Will Robinson. You know, danger. There was a lot of gay overtones in that show. You know Don? Remember Don, the leader? He would get his ass kicked. Remember, he was Mr. Butch? He would go out and they would kick his ass every time. I'll get him, Maureen. And then they wiped the floors up with that guy. I was like, look at him. Look at that queen. But anyway, no. I, uh, but you guys actually get paid to do your comedy, yeah. right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. people pay to go see you. Yeah. But, uh, but gays like you because you're a gay comedian. Right, yeah. right. They can relate. They, they I work, can relate. I work right. at Catch a Rising Star, though, in the comic strip. Oh, you do? Yeah. It's, um, yeah. You know, actually, I do the same. You work the downstairs room. 
Nope. <laughs> you, saying, you mean he plays the uh, catch rising sort of bathroom is what you're saying, uh, Dice? No, I wouldn't uh, say that. Come funny. on, I don't do that yeah. kind of material no more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, I tell you what. Here's we got the gay comedy troupe here. I got to break for commercial. Dice, yeah, you want to stay on hold? Yeah, I want to find out about. Yeah, hang for a minute. Okay. I want to find out about what it was like when they went home and told their parents. Yeah, we sure. want to know everything yeah, about the first time. You want to hear it, Dice? Yeah. Yeah. You want to hear? Okay, good. It's better than listening to Zaza talk about her parking ticket. Don't get started with her. Okay. Zaza. I met Zaza at Hollywood Squares when I did that. I saw that. You're great on Hollywood. Thank you. Well, I was a lot better, but they edited everything I liked it better when you were on Letterman. You talked about on Letterman. Thank you. That was very good. They let me talk about all the stuff they edited out of Hollywood Squares. I rolled on the floor. I enjoyed it very much. You see, I'm a I'm a. What's name is Jaja anyway? You know what I mean? Yeah. I know. Not like Suze, Susie, or Marilyn. Jaja. The chick sounds like she's a human poodle. You know what I'm saying? What kind of name is that for a person? I don't know, man. Grow up, honey. Z S A Z S A. She has grown up. She just won't grow. Her name doesn't. Yeah. She needs an African name, maybe. <laughs> All right. Hey, listen. Uh, Dice, hold on. i got to do some commercials. All right. Do All right. the commercial. I'll hang. All right. I'm fascinated by you guys. I want to know everything. Let's not talk okay. during the commercial so I, I, I'm fresh when we come back. All right. Max and Pontiac Honda Hyundai GMC truck. You hanging out with uh, Axel Rose? Uh, I haven't seen him lately. Axel is here in New York. That's a problem. Right. Mm. Hanging out with uh, Duff and... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I hang with the boys. They're very cool. They came over recently. They gave me, Trini, and Hot Tub Johnny out Guns N' Roses. That's that. See? This is what he starts in on the phone, and then, you know, you can't compete with it's that. It's into leather. You know, how, how, do you, how do you beat that? Anyway. Yeah. Do you pinch yourself, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Max and Pontiac Honda, he's, but you see, he's a, he's a humble guy. He appreciates his yeah. success. Yeah. No, I do appreciate it, and, uh, you know... All right, enough I was still a bad boy from Brooklyn. That's all. Anyway, the lowest prices are guaranteed at Max and Pontiac. Hyundai. What a commercial! Yeah. <laughs> oh, what else? Bad. What else? I'm trying to get through this. Pontiac. I own the Pontiac. You have Friggin a Pontiac. Where timing chain went? Oh. <laughs> but that's a lot. It was a 20-year-old car. Oh, yeah. right. When the timing chain went, it was time you got a new car. But it hurt me. Max and Pontiac. What do you mean it hurt you? I was on my way to this disco to meet this chick. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I was, you know, it takes me about five minutes to bang out a chick, but the whole thing was that I never got to meet her because the timing chain went. So the way I see it, Pontiac blew my chances of banging out this chick. Anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> and, and you resent them for that. Yeah. yeah. I don't buy the pot, but you, know, I, I, you know, your timing wasn't good then, and uh, your timing isn't so good now. Ixnay on the Oniac pay. This is the answer pay. Who a pays a lot of money, A, or whatever. All right, anyway, Max, Max and Pontiac. <laughs> Max and Pontiac with over 250 Max and people pleasers. They're to guarantee your complete satisfaction. In fact, they have 250 trained technicians on hand at Max. Well, maybe they got that timing chain thing down by now. Call them at 201-964-1600. Oh, Easy on the ONIAC pay. No, nah, they're all right. Actually, I was actually recently looking for an old Pontiac Le Mans of 69. See? You know? Well, how about a new one at Maxon? No. On Route no. 22 West Union, New Jersey. I like the classics. 201-964-1600. Well, Pontiac built a classic. They sure okay. did, and they still are. <laughs> Buy one now, save it for 20 years. See if you're not going to be driving around on it. Well, 20 years, that timing chain is going to go, let me tell you. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to our gay comedians. Yeah. Where are you guys appearing? Uh -huh. We're appearing at the Duplex every Friday and Saturday at 8 o'clock. 55 Grove Street. All right, now we, thanks. All right, so we were in the middle of this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when did you guys tell your parents you were gay? And when did you realize you were gay? Like, all of you realized it when you were five years old? No, well, I, I, I knew in fifth grade. I knew in fifth grade. I used to sit behind this guy named uh, Paul. I knew in fifth grade like it was yeah. a great discovery. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were in my class. <laughs> I wasn't joking with you. I think. The man was the guy that got <laughs> stuck behind you. <laughs> oh. But it must have been weird because here you were sitting there and all your friends were discovering girls. Yeah. And you guys had to pretend like you were discovering yeah. girls, right? Yeah. 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 Terrible. Yeah. It was all, yeah. yeah. Did it first start in the clothing, like the way you were dressed? What's that? You know, like when it starts happening, like flowered shirts. <laughs> <laughs> Pastels. That's well, I went. I went to a Catholic school, so all the boys had to wear a uniform with a matching shirt. And all. Well, if that doesn't make it gay, I don't know what does. They were pretty hideous these things. So what happened when you used to go to gym class and stuff? You'd be staring at guys' butts and uh, uh, thinking about it. Oh yeah. no, actually, I was overweight in school, so I would just like look and I would never look at anyone. I was too afraid they'd find out. This really? Was, I went yeah. to an old jock school. You, you know? want to make? You want to be sure? careful? Yeah. You gotta be yeah. careful, definitely. Yeah. 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 They catch you, what kind of guy do you like? Do you like like the football player type or? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I wouldn't throw him out of bed, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think if you mentioned any kind of guy, Dice, they would like Yeah, <laughs> I'm drooling right now. Get me the saliva thing. Yeah. I mean, are you, are you, uh... Do you go with anybody or... No, 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 no I don't. Not right now. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We're all bachelor people. So you're not a whore, that's what you're saying. No, no, no. Uh, no, no. no. We're not a tramp, no. No, you don't go to those bars. <laughs> no, 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 I stopped doing that. No, what would happen in school? Know. Like if a guy went to the blackboard with a boner, would you guys get like out of, out of your mind like crazy? <laughs> <laughs> God. I'd want to use it as the uh, piece of chalk. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, anyway, I haven't heard that expression, a yeah. boner. That's, a, that's uh, an old one. When you're on radio, you got to sort of skirt around a lot of things. Right. so embarrassed. I hate talking about sex. I really think it's so embarrassed. You I, don't, talking I, about I don't talk about sex in my act that Well, much. you do in the other room. We'll do it. I, told my, yeah. I no. told my parents I was gay at I'm Thanksgiving. Blushing. Really? Yeah. I made my carefully worded announcement. I said, Mom, would you please pass a gravy to a homosexual? <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy. Oh, oh boy. boy. And then, and then you... Uh, a terrible scene followed. I see. Uh, my mother's first words were meant to scar. She and said, where were they living now? She what said, country? well, no dessert for you, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. I love it. Now, uh, wait a yeah. second. You, uh, so you... I, I, actually, I was attracted to a woman once. Uh, watching the Summer Olympics, I used to get attracted to the, uh, the Bulgarian swimming team. And, really? and then I got real confused. I thought, oh, behind the Iron Curtain, I would have been a heterosexual. So. You mean the women you were attracted to? Yeah, That's yeah, a point by The out. women. The women. The I Bulgarian see. swimming team. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Oh, you blew that joke. Oh. All right, now listen. Get it? Where did I forget to <laughs> the cat? I can't stop laughing over here. <laughs> <laughs> now, wait a second. Tell me something. Yeah, so, I did, I did. in other words, so were you, were you being honest about Billy Mumy? That was one of the people that... Oh, yeah, I was. I, I definitely... Well, I what about the rest every... of you guys? Uh, Tony Orlando and Dawn. Who else did I have? Tony, never, never Tony Paul... Orlando you liked? Tony, Tony, Paul, I, I like Tony Orlando. Yeah, one night I'm sitting home. I'm watching Tony Orlando. I got all excited. And you knew then that you were homosexual? Got a boner? Yeah, well, I knew a long time before that. I don't know. It was a sick thing. You, you wore those tight pants. And, yeah. <laughs> well, you're being serious, though, right? I'm serious, absolutely serious. I was shocked myself to find out I was attracted to So your to type Tony is Orlando. Tony Orlando. <laughs> but you're not, you're not attracted to every kind of guy. I mean, it's got to be yeah. a certain look, right? Yeah, it's, it's no, a bad look. You have bad entertainers. Yeah. <laughs> bad entertainers. <laughs> that look. Yeah. I also, who else? Remember Paul Peterson and the Donna Reed show? Yes, yeah, I had a crush on him. Yeah. Boom, uh, boom, yeah. boom, 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 yeah. boom. He stole my heart, yeah. I had a crush on Lee Majors in the Big Valley, too. He did? Yeah. Right about Barbara oh. Stanwyck in there. I had a crush on her. I went to Evan, Dale Evan. Ben uh, Lee Majors? Lee Majors, yeah. Really? I had a big crush on Lee Majors in the big Valley. Yeah. Yeah. I, I never told anyone this. I'm sorry. Yeah, I just met and Lee Majors. Tell everyone. I'm telling everybody. We'll keep it secret. We won't tell anyone. Such a big secret. Yeah. 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 Now, what about Fred over there? Anybody attracted? <laughs> oh, easy, easy. Oh, excuse I, I like me. Fred Flint. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I always said he was cute. Fred Flint. <laughs> uh, the the wild, Howard. Boy, I wish I was in that studio. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, what the heck. Next time, next time. Now, what about age humor? Can you touch on that? Or you no, don't? No, you no. Never no. Humor. No, no. No. You get hissed. You do that, you get hissed. Yeah. 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 No, you know, say about even it, even like in the regular mainstream clubs, we worked a lot in this mainstream. You get like a comic up there who would do maybe one little age joke, whatever. He would get hissed. He yeah, would right. do them. Yeah, people which is, you know, which is nice. Want I mean, you know. No, no, I've done them. Oh, I've them. done them. Nobody seems to mind when I do them. No hissing when you do them. No um, hissing. <laughs> well, well, you got the when I do it. What kind of age humor are you doing? Uh, well, there's no way I could do that. Actually, it's a, a joke I don't use anymore. Right. But you know, I, don't, I don't do the gay material anymore. Mm -hmm. You know, like mm -hmm. I said, I'm into the midget thing. You know. <laughs> what are they doing? A midget is missing. Put them on the back of a container, half and half. You know, jokes like that. Yeah, but wait a second. Uh, you know, oh, by the way, I should mention that Dice is in the same GQ issue, the one where they named me the one of the funniest guys in America. Did you know that he's one of the most important men in comedy? Congratulations. In by that, by oh, the way, you, you read about much. that. Good. I'm happy for you. That's Congratulations. You could say to Dice, hey, Dice. Oh, uh, by the way, Dice, I yeah. was uh, named one of the uh, ten most uh, yes. influential people in comedy. Yeah, I, uh... I saw that. No, but they, they gave Dice a hard time in GQ, so... Really? Yeah, they, they tore me apart. Oh. You know, but then think? again, I should have known when she walked in my house, she weighed about 400. Uh-oh. She was about, uh, <laughs> four foot one. Right. And I gave her... Bulldog. <laughs> Squat well, Bulldog Yenta. Oh, yeah, so she got a little... One. No, actually, she, you know... I just hate those kind of attacks. I see. All right. But all I right. guess with the kind of humor, right? Oh, that's right. You know, you're up for that kind it of thing. Goes with the territory. So then exactly. at what point, when did you guys have your first gay experience? All right, let me see. Um, 17. About an hour ago. I <laughs> they were on a crowded subway. <laughs> Not really. How old were you? The yeah. guy got rear-ended. Boom. I, Next I thing you know, a podium at a show. <laughs> really? <laughs> that was a bad experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey, guys, I'm going to get into it with the gay guys now, okay? All right, I'm going to split. All right, man. And, take uh, care, uh, Andrew. I'll be talking to you. Yeah. Yeah, right. Take care, man. Okay, Andrew Dice, play everybody. Yay. Bye bye. Bye. There's Dice. The Dice Man goeth.
All right, we'll get into your whole gay thing, you know, your whole gay lifestyle right after this. Thank okay, you. Okay. Now, personally, I don't know if he ever said a fucking word about me. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're very excited to bring you the star of the movie Dice Rules and the album Dice Rules. Now, who might that be? <laughs> Dice. Dice. <laughs> Opens the theaters this Friday. Soundtrack available. Dice Rules. It's a concert film, and I think the first 20 minutes is some kind of, you know, weird little thing Dice put together. Oh, really? Yeah. A lot of the comics are doing that now. You put see a the, little thing in there. Yeah, a little thing up there. Up, uh, up front. <laughs> And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Dice. Andrew Dice Clay. Very relaxed, Andrew Dice Clay. Oh, and there he is. Hot Tub Johnny West. Uh, that's, um, Dice, that's your father, right? Yeah. All right. Hi, hey, nice to see you. That's Fred, right? Can I call you Fred? Oh, thank you. Yeah, I have your call, please. Dice is close to his father. Hey, there he is. That's uh, Noodles. No, oh, downtown. Downtown, uh, downtown Ronnie. Downtown Ronnie. I no ashtray again. We got. No, I got it. I got we it. We're gonna start with this. All right, look at Dice all tan, Mr. Hollywood. <laughs> How are you? Well, we gotta wake up. You're here. You, you gotta understand. You hear me now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, you know, Hot Tub just re responds to that when you say it. Is well, that right? Tub, we're very nauseous. Hey, Hot Tub, you hear me? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, the one thing, Hot Tub's hair is never relaxed. No. Hot Tub's hair is always <laughs> in a pompadour fashion. <laughs> hey, you look good, Hot Tub. I heard you had some uh, laryngitis. Yeah, so it's a lot better. Like, What's the matter? You're burning the oh, candle? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're burning the candle at both ends? No. No, he wasn't. What happened? You did Joan Rivers yesterday? Yeah. How'd that go? Good. I would have been there, but I had to go... Well, I'm an exciting guest. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie. What'd you do on Joan Rivers? Uh, you know, I hung out. Did you do, over there? do anything weird? Did you grab her ass? No, no. I, I grabbed the ass. It's pretty tight. Really? Yeah. It's pretty tight for a woman in her what? Uh, 50s. But, well, uh, Dice, your parents still married or your father uh, single at this point? Uh, no, they're, they're together. Oh, you're together, right? Of course. How many years have you been married? Uh, well, on and off about, uh... No, a long time, a long time. You don't have to answer him. Hey, Dice, nice. what, did I hit something? How many years? <laughs> no, they're in the middle of a big fight. Oh, they are? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it could be the end, huh? No, 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 no. It's not the end. No, I mean, being Dice's father, you probably get a lot of young women, that's why. Oh, that yeah. is. Walk around me like... Well, we had these, uh, these penthouse chicks you would have liked last oh, night. Oh, beautiful. Where'd man. you get them? Uh, they came on the River Show. They presented me with, um... The key over there. <laughs> yeah. See, the uh, penthouse key? <laughs> the penthouse key. <laughs> what do you mean? Key. Joan had like a little thing planned. You don't have a penthouse key, do you? No. Yeah. What uh, do you mean? Joan had like a little thing planned where... No, well, uh, Bobby. My friend Bobby, you know, Gucci on. Right. Personal friend. <laughs> he sends these, um, over there, these two chicks. Right. With the key. Because I was the first guy, <laughs> other than himself, to be on the cover. To uh, be on the cover there. Of Penthouse. Yeah, here. Right. Hey. Hey. It wasn't on me, it was Penthouse. So, so uh, <laughs> and then they were going to give Joan one, but she won't accept it. Why? Because it's Cause she think Yeah, she thinks it's like a horrible thing. Now. Oh, yeah, it's real horrible. And, um... The old, she, you know, Joan is the only one who actually pays attention to people's physical appearance. If you're not good looking, she, like, freaks out. And, well, they wanted her to do a layout. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be attractive. <laughs> I, you know, you know. What you do and Joan? Did Joan help you early on in your career or something? Because you ever. She was like, actually the first talk show to ever have you on? that ever put me on. So, like, you feel like, uh, hey, I owe her or something, so you go on the no. show? No. I don't owe her nothing. But uh, you feel but, you feel good about it. But it was nice of her when she did it. So then you always you know make I mean? a point to go on her show. Yeah, you know, I could have brought up that when I did the show over there, yeah. she didn't give me panel. You know. Right. She didn't let you But, you know, down. I let things go. Right. You know, I did my act. I sat down, and she said, well, that's the end of the show. And I'm like, what do you mean, that's the end of the show? Don't I get panicked? I mean, I'm over here, yeah, yeah. yeah. and you're <laughs> over there, you funny. And uh, and now, you know, my mother's sitting out there with my father over there, and they want me to talk, and it's like, you know, good Who's night. Who's this girl night. you're in the newspaper with? This what one. girl? This one. They really? Where is that say. from? This is from... Uh, Probably some hoa that leached onto me somewhere. No, no, no. Us Magazine. What is that? Yeah, Who is that? Have you say. seen this? No, I didn't see it. Give well, me a picture. You're at a, you're at a uh, Steven Seagal opening, Andrew Dice Clay, with Love, Kathleen, Monica. 
Who's that? Is that that's my girlfriend. That's oh, Trini. That's Trini, yeah, right? Let me see. That's a picture of her. Where is she? Oh, Gary goes, that's not Trini. Oh, There's that's Baba cool. Booey. Baba Booey. Is this a new one? Yeah. Yeah, it's the movie premiere stuff. You now, know, now what that. is with this guy from uh, Los Angeles? You know, what's the problem? He won't. You know, I don't understand what's going on. No, in I'll tell society. you what it is. Let me say something here. No, please. can I just say something? Go ahead, say something. Yeah, they man. never had the movie. Oh, yeah. They never had it. No, they were never putting out the movie. Lowe's was never putting out. No, the movie. UA is putting the movie up. Right here. Yeah, yeah. I, hear you. I hear you. You know, backed up with you know the seven arts <laughs> thing over there, but and uh. And then Lowy starts making statements. You know, we're not airing the movie over here. Yeah. Oh. I hear you. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but they they never had it there. <laughs> now you can say what you were going to say. No, and I'm saying... good in this picture, huh? Yeah, she's cute. Of course I never, she's cute. I never saw your girlfriend before. Well, when she's in town, you know, I'll bring her in. Yeah, I'd like to meet her. Every yeah. once in a while, I say to Dice, we'll get together at my house. Uh, but that her. never happens. No, no never but happens. we will. Eh, who cares? I mean, listen, I don't want to put any pressure know, on it. I always feel like I'm putting on? pressure. You don't think he wants to get together? I don't no, know. No, I don't know I what do. he wants. Come on, I, I don't know what you want. We rap nice. Come we on, rap. Don't start. Oh, oh, don't yeah, start. Yeah, I'm only <laughs> don't start. Did I tell you I just got up? Did I tell you I was sweating all night? <laughs> no. Yeah. What are you talking about? I don't know. I, I was like, uh, I had odd you done. What's with your father, man? He's got the best job of all. He gets to be, you're the manager, right? No, I'm not the manager. Because we always... Well, why through. do you say that when you are? Huh? Why do you say you're not the manager? Well, I'm his personal manager. He's the only one I listen to, believe me. All the parasites out in L.A. I don't listen to. And your father watches your money and stuff for you because the other guys would just steal it, right? Well, he says he watches it. I make sure I never see anything. So you got to pay your father? Do you do you get paid for your services? <laughs> oh, I certainly do. I get paid very well. He knows that. <laughs> He's a very rich guy, daddy boy. He is? So is that yeah. what's going on between uh, him and your mother? No, no, no. She's got plenty of bread. What are you fighting about, then? Um, we never fight. No, they're not fighting. <laughs> are they together? I don't know. Yes, we're <laughs> together. Yes, we are. You're together? Yes, we are. You ever get tempted on the road when you were dice and never. you see all these young girls? Never. Really? Never. You know, I always hated that stuff. What? what? You know. What? The whole, the whole, you know, backstage girl thing. Oh, yeah. The groupie thing? Yeah. You bang, Horrible. You bang all those girls. Well... If, if they get in my way, you know girl, what I mean? For some girl on a TV show says she had sex with you. No, but that was a, a complete didn't? falsehood. It was? <laughs> that was a complete falsehood. I thought it would be. Did him she didn't look yeah. like your type. Yeah, see, I never saw that show, but... but uh, she came Becky on and the said retard it. showed me uh, <laughs> Ricky the retard. No, <laughs> Becky the retard. Oh, Becky, Becky the retard. <laughs> oh yeah, Becky the retard. Yeah. She says she's worked with you. You mean she, Becky the mental patient? She, she, <laughs> Becky the retard. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's for sure. Uh, you know the mental patient, retard. whatever she wants to be. Right, Becky the mental patient, <laughs> mentally. <laughs> Becky <sorted>. the retard. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she showed me a picture. Yeah. Of the girl. I hear you. you. Know, and, and I never seen this idiot. You know. Right. <laughs> You, you know, know, a lot of women are going to come out of the woodwork. You realize yes. that, man. You're famous. That's so why? You know that's going to happen to you. You know? I mean, it's part of the territory. Yeah, but, you know, but this particular but guys, one, all, all the dreams. one that does come out of the woodwork, I've never seen in my life. Let me tell you, I went Just to her. Just a whore looking for some no, PR. you don't know that she's a whore. Well, well what is she? A she wants to come on your show and say that. You, know, you that never met her in the room with the pool table? I, I never seen her before in my life. <laughs> really? Yeah. See, this honestly. is what happens. Yeah. This is what happens to a guy well, like Well, we guys. said this was just her story. We don't know whether it's true. I made a point of saying that. You'll, you'll have, uh, you hear me now? Hey, tell me if Jackie and Fred are doing this right. Whenever I say you hear me now, they sound kind of weak on it. Jackie do it, and Fred, that's what my you? parents' names. You hear me now? We hear you. But he says no, now. No, is that supposed to be you? No, well, that is you hear me now. I revised it. But... But you don't put it right. Hot tub. You, you know, mind, it's you like mind, if I say... <laughs> you mind not doing that noise with the microphone? If I say you're here, yeah. the answer should just be, hey. hey. See, when Dice called me on the phone... In the says, middle of a statement, I might go like, oh, you know, like... When, I'll get... You'll hear me do it when it happens. You know, he called me up on the phone and he goes, I got this new thing I'm doing. I go, yeah, what is that? He goes, you're him enough. Yeah. <laughs> So I go, what the hell is that? <laughs> you know, and I'm saying to myself, you know, I don't want to insult the guy. But I've been working on for months. I know, and and, and, it, and even Jackie and Fred and Rob and I, we were all sitting in the office going, you know, when, we, when he first when I first told him about it, they were like, what is he nuts? <laughs> saying you hear me now? I mean, maybe he's lost his mind. Maybe he lost it. <laughs> that's it. That's we got nervous that you that's lost the it. Act now. We thought, okay, okay, listen, the guy made plenty of dough. Now he can retire. He yeah. lost it. 
Why work hard? But we're doing it every minute, huh? <laughs> we love you it. Hear, you hear me now? I, no, hear you. I like you hear me now. <laughs> that was good. What? Well, you hear me now. It's part of it, but it's not there. That's not the answer. Oh. It's I like don't... if I say... <laughs> You're I'll doing it wrong, Harry. I hear you. So you think it's easy? <laughs> it's not that easy. You've worked on this. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, hot tub, yeah. how you doing? Good. Getting like late? It's crazy. It's like, uh... Getting any girls, hot tub? Not really, no. Show us the daddy boy. He'll like that. It's nice to see some nice press on you. I mean, yeah, people are really bad. Yeah, I'm used to it, too. Look at, look, look, look at the uh, newspaper today. Pete Hamill. Well, neither one of you are mentioned. Why? What are good reasons to live in New York? Radio Watto and Imus. You know. And Bob Grant. And Bob Grant and Elaine Kaufman. How is Imus? You're friendly with him, right? Oh, yeah, real friendly. Stupid ass Imus. <laughs> you don't like him? <laughs> I hate that guy. Really? Yeah, He's I hate him. There. Isn't he on the air for like 20 years already? Yeah, 20 years, and you know what? He keeps losing more and more audience every day. When, just when we thought it was impossible to lose more audience. I don't why you wouldn't like him. You know why I don't like him? Because I worked with him, and I realized what a louse he is. Yeah, but he's like legendary, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, legendary. No? You like every old comic you meet? I hate him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So don't get me started on it. You want to know why I hate the guy? Nah. No. Yeah, hey, no. He ripped off everything I do. He was doing nothing. And now he goes around saying I ripped him off. That stupid old creep. I gave him an act. He was playing 12 records an hour, Robin, when we got there. That's right. Sitting there. Hi, this is Amos. What's your favorite radio station? Um, WNBC. Thank you very much. Into the commercial, into music. Who are we kidding here? Would he use the megaphone? That old lazy bastard. I you Don't you tell curse. me about that. I thought you weren't going to curse. Hey, Becky the Retard's on 260. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk to her? <laughs> Where is she? Hey, is, she hey is this Becky the Retard? Hello? Hi, Becky the Retard. <laughs> Turn off your radio. Becky. Oh, God, I don't believe it. This, I'm waking up the first day. Hey, I Dice, did you have sex with this mental patient? Is no, that what you're no, telling no. me? No. no. Hey, hot tub Johnny, it's your girlfriend on the phone. Uh, you're very she, she I'm going to smack the hell out of you next time I see you. I she hope you know that. Let's leave your ass now. What? Yeah, but that's oh, it. Becky the Retard. Who taught you how to walk? What? Who taught you how to walk? No, Dice, he taught me how to get a standing ovation. Did I teach you how to walk? The proper way, he did. She's stupid. Did, did I teach you how to walk? Hey, stupid. He's very fresh. Hey, stupid. Dice is talking to you. He's talking to those little whores in ten house. Who taught the you whores. how to walk? The whores. What? Who taught you how to walk? <laughs> he told me how to get a standing ovation. He did. Outside outside the club, he did. Nah, you're a retard. Oh. He's outside right. Outside the club, Wait, she but got you got to ask about dropping the keys. That's a best bet. Becky, the stupid retard. <laughs> on the phone, ladies and gentlemen. Listen, it's 840, guys. Patient, a little respect. For Do me a favor. Let me take a break here. Hey, hey, hey. And we got you for the morning, right? You're yeah, here. We're here. You're here. So let's um, come back. We'll do some news because you're good at that. You like to analyze the news. Yeah, Even sure Hot Tub can jump in on this. Hey, hey, Hot Tub, why don't you, you stop rubbing Dice's leg? <laughs> what are you going to say What are you doing? <laughs> you know, I don't get him crazy. <laughs> you know, you look a little like uh, John Travolta. Uh, he mean? doesn't like those swishies. You've been uh, reading about John Travolta? No. Check this out, man. Hold on a second. This is going to shock you because you were kind of into him. I uh, think Travolta. Well, he does that song, Grease Lightning. Yeah, something? yeah. You better stop doing that song. I'm telling you right now. Wait till you I see think this. it has a secret message in it. Seducing married men is John's big turn on. Him and I hear you. You hear that? Yeah, but look what you're reading it in. Oh, come on, look at this. Outrageous, swishy gaze didn't turn him on. He preferred to seduce married men, weightlifters, physical trainers, and others who had not been introduced to the gay scene. Grease Lightning could be about his buttocks. <laughs> I end the concert with that. Look at Dice, because he really likes John Travolta. I know, Travolta. that's I like one like of his heroes. Wait, what do you want from me, man? Hey, look. Is it a bad you thing? Know, I don't want to bang the guy. I want to work <laughs> with him. <laughs> Is it a bad thing or what he's doing? I don't know. You funny? <laughs> hey, Fred, you proud of Dice, man, your son? Very proud. You can't believe it, right? It's like a dream. Did you, did you what think, did you think he was going to be when he grew when up? When he was growing up, did you think he was an idiot? Never. My old man thought I was an idiot. Never. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Dice. So maybe no, he was did, right. Did Fred look into little Dice's crib and see a genius? Did you save all the movements from Dice's diaper? <laughs> like, were you one of those dads who thought everything he did was great? We, we have it painted all over the wall. What? The Dice? Whatever he had. Dice is all over. <laughs> yeah, see, I used, to, I used to be an artist with my... Uh, no, but I'm saying you always felt that he was With a great kid. Stuff. We always knew he was a genius. You did know. That's right. You believed him all along. All Boy, my father didn't. That's why my father's not my manager. You're never going to make your father your manager. You're never going to hey, get you a job. Hey, uh, hey, Fred, you want to hear my father? 
Did Bonnie, you I, ever sound like this when talking to a young guy? I got every time I start thinking good of my father, I can play these tapes, Fred. <laughs> I'm gonna play them for you right now. Let's see. Hey, here's my father counseling me, uh, young Howard Stern. I'm seven I, at the time. I told you not to be stupid, you moron. <laughs> there he is. Here. Shut up! <laughs> Sit down! Here's my, and here's my father. Well, I began my father. I said that there. That people say, uh, he's done it. You know, uh... All right. Yeah. Well, he had all good reason. Look at you now. Yeah, well, now my father walks around. I knew, you know, he always had a sense of humor. Yeah, 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 right. Sure. Sure. Sure, Dad. Right. You hear me now? Hey. Hey, at least you believed in dice. You know what I'm saying? You hear me? I hear you now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, let me tell you about this, Robin. Best Health All Natural Gourmet Soda. It ain't no powder, get. Hey, let me tell you something, my friend. <laughs> hey, now you're working out again. Last time I saw you, you were chunky. You look good yeah, now. but I look real good now. Now you look good. You were letting oh. yourself go. You were getting carried away with that Hollywood lifestyle. Oh, well. You don't come back to your roots anymore. Yeah, but now I'm there. Johnny, am I boring you? No, What's no, your problem, what are you, what are you dude? What are with him? <laughs> don't rip off your arms and beat you to death with him. You yeah. don't know, Johnny. <laughs> don't get him crazy over there. Yeah. Kinnison, Kinnison told me you yeah. made up that story about uh, taking his do-rag. No. Is that true? You wouldn't lie to me and Dice, would you? Because we weren't there. It Still just right. happened again to him. Oh, what happened? No. Um, <laughs> here we go. Matt. Yeah, we get into trouble every time you tell us. No, it story. happened again. Duh. From Guns N' Roses beat him up. <gasps> beat up who? Be Sam? Uh, Sam up. Yeah. <laughs> well, we just had Duff on the air the other day. Yeah, he was just did on with us. Did he tell you? He didn't mention anything about that. Yeah. Wait, what are you uh, saying? This, this isn't more than ten he, days ago. Now, Sam thinks I'm, if I if, if Dice brings this stuff up, Sam thinks that Sam I'm a bad will, guy. Stan? No, what Sam happened Sam. was... <laughs> Sam will stop talking to us. Duff calls me up. Right. Ten in the morning. I'm getting ready to do a meeting. I was awake. You have a busy career. You have to take... And, a um, and he starts telling me this whole story that uh, they were over at that uh, uh, Chateau joint. The mom, 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 where yeah. uh, Belushi. Yeah, they weren't together. Right. You know, Sam was somewhere else. And Sam heard they were, uh, that Slash and Duff were in the hotel. Right. So, this is Duff's story. Right. I understand. So Duff. So now Sam knocks on Slash's door, and Slash invites him in, and, and Sam starts screaming at Slash that he promised he'd do him a record, and he wants to be successful, and he owes him this and that. And now we cut to Sam choking Slash to death. What? You're kidding me. Yeah, this is the, what Tuff told me. Yeah. All right, so this, is a, this is the third. So he's choking him to death. And the girl that Duff is with wakes Duff up. Right. And she goes, I'm not sure, but I think somebody's killing Slash. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah. you know? Maybe you want to. And Sam was not. Slash with, is a pretty powerful guy, though. You would think that uh, he could uh, fend for himself. Yeah, but uh, Sam once again was with his bodyguard, so, you know, I he see. had back up to choke him. Right. So now, Duff gets up, he says, out of a dead sleep, and he goes in the hallway, and he says he sees, like, this 350-pound monster charging at him. Right. He goes, he just woke up. He's just getting out of bed. <laughs> right? And, um... <laughs> Look at Hot Duff. He loves this. Look and at him. Then, and then what happens is, so he tackles Duff, and the bodyguard holds Duff, and he starts hitting Duff, and Duff got away, and he split his lip. Right. He split Sam's lip. So, so Duff punched Sam in the face? Yeah. Yeah. He said his whole, his whole you know, head was swollen. <laughs> and then <laughs> Sam was going to have him arrested because after he punched him, you know, he dragged him into his room. Duff dragged <laughs> Sam into his yeah, room? Where, where uh, there's a mirror. <laughs> Is this and true? No, I'm telling you. I mean, you, you just heard this. Let's, let's just say this could be me. a total lie. No. I mean, because you, 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 you don't know if this is true. He dragged him into his room, and yeah. he had a new dirty rag on his head. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and he ripped it off oh, his head geez. once again because he heard Johnny did it. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, tell me what you see, Sam. Tell me what you see. And Sam is going... I'm Bozo! <laughs> Bozo! <laughs> no, that part didn't happen. That but, didn't happen. But, but no, he was going to have him arrested. He was going to have him arrested. The cops were there. And and he dropped the charges on them. Well, let me just say something. You can know we call the police? This, can, you know, it's, this it's might terrible. not be true. Let me say something. that You are a good friend of mine, and Sam is a good friend of mine. I know you guys don't see eye to eye. 
But uh, I'm going to tell you something. I, uh, I, I care have about nothing against the man. Yeah. I think he's a very talented individual. There I told you. You, that. you just were repeating a story that it's, happened. It's just a pity what's happened to him. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just say that, uh, <laughs> you know, I feel bad about it. What can I do? Listen, Dice is very honest and is a See, now I'll be in trouble because I laughed at this. Yeah, but it was a funny story. We don't know what's true. What can I say? And you're saying that he ripped off the thing and then said... It no, 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 he didn't. No, that didn't. But he did. He split his lip open. Well, okay, listen. And look at Hot Tub Johnny over there. I still got Hot Tub. I'm going to hook you up to a lot of tub. The Hot Tub thing is 100%. Sam told me it wasn't true. He just wants to go on record as saying that. It's It's humiliating. I mean, he's 138 pounds. Right. Sam at that time was 355 and a half. <laughs> How come you know his exact weight? Because comedians know these. Oh, I see. No, I'm, of course he's exaggerating. <laughs> now, all right, listen, I don't like to, I don't want to get into this. Yeah, we just want to be. I'm just trying to be friends to all neutral. comedians. And I figure if I talk about him a little, you know, maybe it'll help. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I'm trying <laughs> to help him. You're helping to create the mystique. You know, he yeah, calls enough. me and he begs me for help, so what uh, am I going to do? I'm he, trying to He help actually him. called you? Yeah, months ago. That's how the whole thing started. What happened? He begged me to go on the road to open. You know. You open remember that, that whole oh, thing. Yeah, you remember that thing. All right, well, let's get off that. You know. But anyway, I'm in bed with this chick. And she's like, hey, I'm like, oh! <laughs> she went wild. All right, listen. Let me tell you about um, Best Health All Natural Gourmet Soda. Let me right, give you, you the natural... Do your commercial no, thing. no, no, but listen to this. This is important. Hey, this is what they pay you to do. I That's right. You, you understand. Yeah, I'm going to... Right, let me, so see, listen, let me let, see. No, no, no. I don't want. I want to. No, no. I don't want to show this to you. First of all, Eric Miller dies. He's up. Huh? This is how I make a living. <laughs> no, but Best health, all natural gourmet. So let me Mark. tell you a story, okay? <laughs> you don't have to uh, be on every minute. Let me just let me say something. Oh, but I thought that's what you. No, let me put. say something here. No, let me just say. Look, something. let me. Like do you, do you hear me now? You don't like it. Do you, you hear know? me now? Personally, I <laughs> do like it. Do you hear me now? You know? Please, please. Please don't do this. <laughs> Something's not so promoted. Begging I'm you. begging you. I'm begging okay. you. I'm on my knees. All right. All right? I'll talk shampoos. All right, my do-rag is off my head, and you're holding me to the mirror. <laughs> All right. All right? I'm bozo. I'm bozo. All right? Now, calm down. <laughs> let me do the commercial right. No, let me tell you something. Do you know that soda, when it first started out, the first invention of soda was let filled... Let me tell you a little story. Yeah. was filled with chemicals... And preservatives still is. I no, mean, let me let me finish. You're wrong again. Hot tub. All right, go ahead. You know. All right. How far you want to take this? <laughs> then guess what happened? Someone had the idea to make natural soda mm. to remove all the artificial ingredients and preservatives. You hear me? I'm not going to say nothing. Are you settled down there? You ready to go to sleep? Okay, <laughs> now bedtime listen story. to this. Eric Miller's idea, and this is an original idea, is not only to make a natural soda, but to make it best health, all natural, gourmet, the best ingredients. So it's a good tasting natural soda. Oh, okay, so what's in it if it's so good? <laughs> Nothing. That's the point. <laughs> best health, all natural, gourmet iced tea is made with the finest all natural ingredients. All right? Like spring water. Pure spring water. So Best Health is more than just natural. Jack, he's it's drinking it. It's all, that's right. All natural gourmet iced tea, the ultimate step Jackie in the natural Martin. progression. It is Best Health. Famous comedian. All natural gourmet iced teas and sodas. 10,000 years. All right. Let me tell you about the video specialist. Now, Dice, of course, uh, he's got a good situation. I mean, he's got, you know, a kid and a, sort of a wife, but he doesn't have to be, like, technically married. Right? You never had a wedding, is what I'm saying. No, I never did. But so he does have a video. He has a video of what? <laughs> yeah, he has a video of his of his work. I'm saying you need a wedding video. Oh, I see. See, when someone gets married, it's an important day. Do you hear me? Well, uh, not for Amy Lynn, according to you. Well, we'll see about that. <laughs> well, it's like you never know who you're going to meet. That's the whole thing. That's why you don't tie the knot. It's like... I'm over there. Yeah. Right, right. Hey. In one of those uh, joints. Yeah. And over there. And I say, uh, I don't want to mention names. You know, famous singer. Did, uh, you, you nailed the famous The way singer. we were. That kind of. Barbara Streisand. Well, I don't mention names. All right. Yeah. Nice. Hey. So I go over there. Yeah. Hey. Did you actually meet Barbara Streisand? And I'm like, I'm freaking out. Because, like, this is a, like a legend now. She's doing the hair thing over there. And I'm like, 
Bubba friggin' Streitzen. All right. I don't believe this, you yeah? hear? It's Bubba friggin' Streitzen over here. What's going on over that thing that... You want to go with me? Maybe have some of that their uh, Tibet food? Right. And she's looking at me like, you know, who's this idiot? And it's not like I wanted to, you know, nail her. Can we say that? Yeah, you can uh, say that. I with the FCC. You know, because no one, she's got a lazy eye. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, could you imagine y you're doing the whole thing over there, straight ahead, and the eye goes. Right. <laughs> and you're like, hey, hey honey. I'm over here. <laughs> and then the other guy goes... Hey, you didn't meet Barbara Streisand. Hey, honey, I'm over there. You really met Before Barbara Before you know it, the eyes are going around and around. It's like a friggin' slot machine. You funny? Yeah. <laughs> Tata, you have a lazy eye, don't you? No, I never met Barbara Streisand. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, the video is special. So let me tell you something, guys. Well, it's such a great story to tell. Listen, guys, let me tell you something. When a guy gets married, he wants to have a good video. Now, you want a free home demonstration first. You want to view samples of the work. Yeah, but I more got a guy I use. Uh, what's his name, Jeremy? No, you use the video specialist right now. Because they come in and they use top quality professional cameras. There's no home movie cameras. You've been to weddings where the guy's real obnoxious. He has the bright lights. He has wires. Weddings are obnoxious. They're obnoxious. But I don't, you don't believe in them. Never did. You don't what I mean? want to go to a <laughs> wedding where a guy... I mean, I'm over there at this wedding. You funny? <laughs> and, Listen, uh... You want to scream... The guy's taking the gutter belt off the thigh. Yeah. And the family's looking like, ooh... Oh, like like the guy's never seen the thigh over there. Right, like the first time. And I'm like, oh, what? Well, what about the time he had her in the back seat spread like a like an eagle over there? To me, that's who. Yeah. yeah, right. You know, I'll make a rain in this car. Seeing a thigh is no big deal. I gave a hundred dollar gift. I want to see some, uh, what can we say for vagina on the show? Vagina. I want to see some vagina, Mary Lou. 1-800-942-0056 <laughs> <laughs> is the video specialist. 1-800-942-0056, Robin. 1-800-942-0056. Here's the great thing. For all that professional service, they start as low as $300. That's pretty reasonable. All right. Now, why did Hot Tub Johnny move away? Well, and we're here with Downtown Ronnie Entertainment. Shifting. Why did Downtown Ronnie move over? Well, you know, you know, he's got a client in my movie. Yeah. You know, he's a manager. All right, okay. You know, All right, I just uh, want to know what's going on. Wheels Parisi. Do Michael me a favor, Dice. Your movie is opening. You know Wheels? Yes. You do know Wheels? Yes, I do know him. Has he been on the show? Yeah. He was there in a fight with Duff the other night. I... <laughs> no, no, you should have Wheels on the show. Dice Rules opens in theaters this Friday. Now, the soundtrack is also available. See, that's the thing. You get the soundtrack, mm -hmm. so you get familiar with the material a little bit. Then you go see the movie to see the actual concert experience. Hey, I thought you were going to play my song. You never played the song. Well, we got time. We're going to do some news now. I don't want to be a rock and roll star. Don't you want to do news? Yeah, but well, you know, love to it don't comment matter. You know, I don't on. read, I don't write. You know, I don't Yeah, you read plenty. Robin, come on. Let's get into it with Dice. This is always a fun segment of the All show. Right. There I'm was a, a witness, Howard. Yeah. There was a witness, according to I the attorneys back. for William Kennedy Smith. Yeah. They say there was a witness to the rape. Ah. Now, how do you get to be a witness to a rape? I don't know, but I have tape of the witness. Oh, really? Yeah, here he is. Hey, they hear the drugs? Well, I'm better be lying on it. That sounds like my cousin. <laughs> yes, it is your cousin. He is a witness in the rape. Well, can you believe this? You think there was a rape I told committed? you I'm black now, right, Robin? No, you didn't tell me that. I told you when we spoke in L.A., I explained. You said you like black women. You didn't tell me you were black. I've gone black all the way. <laughs> You're just about black with that tan. No, I'm telling you. You've changed I, a little bit. I gave bit. it up. I gave up the whole white thing. Really? You only yeah, go out with you, black women? You know women. what it was? You know what it was? I, uh, I went to one of these uh, whitey discos. Right. <laughs> and I'm looking over there. You hear? I hear you. <laughs> at the dance floor. And it looks like a, a cerebral palsy contest going on. Right. In other words, the white people weren't dancing. And I'm they looking at dance. these white honkies. They look like CP victims. I'm looking at these whiteies like, and now you wonder why the chicks don't want to sleep with you. Right. And then you want to make fun of the black people. You know, you that's know, you, a jealousy thing. Wow, you, you're very much so like I the black switched. people. You know, he becomes socially conscious. That's yeah, legs in a hand. <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I gave the whole thing up. Next thing you'll be telling me you're gay. Yeah. Uh, no, no, you'll never hear that. As a matter of fact, huh? as a matter of fact, I did grow my genitals. Really? Yeah. Yeah. When you became I mean, black? Yeah. Well, oh. Do you know how? No, how? Huh? All right. You know what it is. I hear you. You know how you always make them fun of black people? Not me. 
No, I know how you are. I am not making you fun know, of them. No, I don't make fun of this. I was studying because I'm figuring... Uh, how did you make you your know, genitals grow? They all grow? have like, you know, 50 feet, you know. <laughs> how did you make your genitals grow? Something in the chicken. Oh, man. Oh, you think so? Oh. They got this hormone they put in the chicken to pump it up. I think you hung a weight from it. Listen, they, yeah. they got this hormone they put in the chicken to pump it up. Yeah. Goes right to your genitals. And that's what you're saying is why black guys are so well hung. Well, what do you think? Chicken tastes so great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hear you. I hear you. Robin knows, see? You think I'm kidding. Now, what about this Kennedy rape case? Yes. Now, they're saying there's a witness. So I guess the case is all sewn up. Then the witness says nothing untoward happened. Now, really? Here's a woman who says she was screaming, she was struggling, she broke Sounds a Sounds like rib. a good time. I mean, you know. <laughs> now, who is You know, witness? when they just lay there, it's like, you know. Why wouldn't the witness come forward? could have been forward? alone over here. Why wouldn't the witness come forward? Who is the witness? I don't know. They don't say who the witness is. They just say there is a witness, and they have him. Guys, this is something you've got to worry about, because, you know, you are with many women, let's no, be honest. No, I don't have to worry about it. You have to worry about... I don't bang nobody. What? I don't is bang this true? Him. I got training, you know. Oh, that's exclusive now? It, it's been for a while. What are you, what are you stunned about? Yeah, you what shut you us stunned? up. <laughs> what was that thing I told you I wanted to tell uh, Howard last night? With the wife. What wife? Well, you're you married. Are, I'm married, yes. And you bang other chicks? No. It's not <laughs> what but I, I really don't. Oh, you heard uh, what? What did, what you, did hear? you hear? Well, I'm trying oh, so to build your rep. Why don't you do? Oh, I see. Oh, you're just trying to build a reputation. <laughs> I see. Yeah, you can't say. So, it. how much did this witness cost the Kennedys to uh, produce? <laughs> All of a sudden, there's a witness uh, to this this uh, rape. Yeah. Well, it's you know, there were 12 people at the compound that night. Well, hey, maybe there was a witness. Who knows? You well, know what I thought was interesting over the weekend? Teddy yes. Kennedy gave a press conference, and he said the reason he didn't talk to the police. Yeah was because nobody ever told him they were talking about rape. He thought they were talking about some kind of a sexual harassment thing with uh, Willie. And nobody ever told him it was anything as serious as rape. So in the um, main, I guess you could say, the Kennedys just generally ignore the police. Mm. Unless it's something really serious. <laughs> well, here's Kennedy at the press conference. How are you, lonely lush? Oh, you've done it now. You've got it now, Ted. Yeah, 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 Jody, don't get, get excited. Yeah, yeah, President Kennedy and uh, had it. Yeah, had it. There it is. Yeah, some press conference. So anyway, he, most people are saying he did himself more harm than good giving that press conference. Oh, he, it, he, he, should, he should be quiet. <laughs> so anyway, meanwhile in the news, Michael Landon is making medical history. Guys, too bad you don't have cancer. Our ratings would be through the roof. <laughs> I can't oh, find any that, guests with cancer. Myth, but I got a lot of things. <laughs> Carson got a 10.1 rating with Michael Landon's cancer. He's trying to get Lee Remick, I hear. Is that right? Yeah. He's tracking her down. He's tracking her down as we speak. <laughs> well, we have we don't oh, have Michael want... Landon, but yeah. we have Michael Landon's doctors. Oh, cool. Michael Landon is the first patient with pancreatic cancer to take this new treatment that's only been tried on a few people. And uh, they're hoping that it will do something for Michael. Here's uh, Dr. He's going to be fine. You know, everybody gets carried away the minute they get a little disease. Oh, really? Here's oh, Dr. I got light lid to the left. I got a flip back neck. Hey, downtown I, I got... Ronnie has crabs. You think that'll help us in the rating? <laughs> is that true downtown? Well, I tell you, the, the blue ointment's a little rough, but the smell is not too bad. Hey, we got to get some Earl. <laughs> yeah? Put I a little Earl on it. I had right? Joe Ireland about two yeah, weeks Ronnie? before she I passed away, and then it's she like... canceled. <laughs> we go over there, you hear? Yeah. Well, uh, here's Dr. Preston to tell us what uh, this new treatment is supposed to do. All right, here's Michael Landon's doctor. Everybody listen. Come on. Come, maybe he'll make it. Hey, come on. Mr. Crashes. Yeah. Oh, that's the wrong guy. Here we go. Michael is active. Uh, he's with his family. He's uh, doing some work. And, Are you playing these uh, in order? He is enjoying yeah. himself. Uh, we're trying to maintain and improve that quality of life that he has at the present time. See? Hold on. Is there another one? Yeah, you didn't play the first one. I played number five because first. everything here is done so utterly. Uh, I tell you, I don't know what's going on. Hey, there's numbered number five and number six. I played number five well, first. Well, that was supposed to be number oh, six. So well, well, <laughs> now, here's Michael Landon's doctor again. Right. Now, would you pay attention? Who knows what he'll say this time? You're a pretty callous guy that you won't listen to Michael Landon's doctor. <laughs> but really, that's disrespectful. I got my own doctors. This is investigational. It has been received by other patients in the past, but yet it is not yet to the stage where we know exactly how effective it is with any individual patient's tumor. 
So maybe you'll live. Anyway, what they do is they take this stuff and they inject it into your body in flat and fat globules. Hmm. Exactly. And then it's supposed to attack your uh, tumor. Yeah. So that's what they're hoping it will do with Michael Landon. I wouldn't let these doctors touch me. Next thing you know, your balls will fall off. You know what they said to Michael? <laughs> that the no known treatment. Please tell me I can't say that. I can say it. I he know how to do the it. Power. I have the power invested in me by the FCC. <laughs> yeah. But uh, they told that Michael that he has that sick. no of none of the treatments that usually work for everybody else would work for him. It's the bright so. lights. He's so really out say. there. He's out there, Yeah, huh? he can just about take anything. He takes coffee enema. It's like... You know, you ever see this, Dice, that a lot of these guys who get the disease, right away the doctors start giving, humiliating them, giving them coffee enemas and peach well, pit. let me uh, explain. Yeah. Because yeah, I just met somebody. Yeah. I'm flying in over on there. a fancy airline, the MGM thing over right. there. Oh, yeah. That's, yeah. Boy, you really mad. And, you know, and you meet a lot of people. Right. Who'd you meet? Um, I see Robert Wagner. Yeah. Right. I hear you. So I go over. I never met Robert Wagner. Yeah, I hear you. And I go, um, Mr. Wagner, I'm Dice. And he's looking at me like, who? Never heard of you. You know, well, maybe he ain't into the comedy thing, you know, but he's like, well, nice to meet you anyway, the whole thing there, but. And the, now the guy's wearing the crown. I got to throw him roses, you know. I'm standing there like, uh, well, you know, I really like jazz. On the deep thing is Alexander Monday. Yeah. I hear you. And now his wife, Jill uh, St. John over there, is looking at me like, who's this Jacob? Right. Yeah. I, I hear you. you. <laughs> All right. Let there you, you go. I got you. All right. Listen, let me take a short break, guys. Thanks for sharing that. And when we come back. We'll get up to more I mean, news. You know, I mean, you know, I go over, you want to have a drink, this and that. What, he blew you off And he's like said. standing up, and I'm like, sit down, you bastard, I'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, hey, listen, don't you, you understand? Go among the bulls. <laughs> Guys, don't you understand what happens? There are certain celebrities, they act like they don't even know what planet we're yeah, on. I mean, I'm over there. Hey, you hear he could have been nice with you. you. I know, hear you. eating a little of that Thai bet food. Yes. You know, and I'm like trying to be nice to the people over there. With right. this and that. And, you uh, could have acted like you I mean, didn't I'll know the guy. I'll make a rain in that plane. You could have acted. Yeah, I got you. I All mean, right. how far you want to take it? Robin, we'll be I'll back. Martial law over there. Right after. I mean, I got to stand over there like a real jerk off, and he's looking at me like, yeah, I did the thief thing. Right. Well, you know what it is. He thinks he's a bigger star than you, but. Uh, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, look at the jokes. All right, listen, we'll be back right after these words. I, I got to put myself Yo, through that I kind mean, of header. Hi there. If you. Dice's uh, movie opening at theaters this Friday. You can this see, Friday. see all the action. If you Dice in concert, now you can see I him. say this one's going to be in the theaters more than a day. I never saw you. Oh, this will be in more than a day. I know, but you know what they do. What are you saying? Another game they play. What game? Yeah. Let's be honest. What are you saying? I mean, the concert's great. Yeah. I've never seen your concert, so I will go see this. Doing well, this it. is where Dice does rule. It's true. Yeah, this is, this is your forum. Never mind scripts and all that stuff. This is, my this is where you go in. This is what and you do. You see the autobiographical part. It's good, huh? This is your life. Like the first 20 minutes is your yes, life? It's true to so life. you acting a little bit and uh, doing that kind of thing. Well, I wanted to show people what I'm really all about. I think it was time. Let me tell you about Lojack. Everybody hmm. in this room is what in is that What is this, truth or dare? Can he's showing you what he's all about? Johnny... Let me, Downtown, everybody's in there. Let me just show you something. Everybody's in there. commercial. Dice, Madonna. Let Everyone. Everyone's into showing their lives. Yeah, I gotta show you my life. Yeah, but my life's a lot different than hers. Believe me. <laughs> Did you see me on TV as Madonna the other night? Huh? Did you see me in my Madonna clothes the other night? No, but I heard it was great. Yeah, it was good. It was good I, stuff. Even though you don't like doing our TV show. Dice, you Dice, tell me when I when I come back, I'm when gonna... I'm doing TV, oh, you... I'm doing you. He's yeah. not doing my TV. He's got something you against my set TV the show. Forum, for me. I see. I... What for? Let me see the commercial. Me, it, what do you mean? I got to set the forum? You got to set it right. Well, I'll set it. Tell me what to tell do. Tell us what to well, do. I'm leaving town again. I oh, opened you. you. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't I say I wanted to come do the truth? A bit of it. It's an insult. Did I say I wanted to do the truth? You can be honest. You don't like the TV show. I do like the TV show. You like the video. Says don't do that show. Who says it? Uh, Johnny. Hot tub? Your father says don't no, do my no. TV show. I'm never here when to do the show. Admit it. Didn't I want Fred, to... you tell him not to do no, the TV let, let show, right? Let me explain right? something to you. What? Really? What was didn't that? I, but then I, I want know. to do the truth thing. 
<laughs> yeah, you did. You did. I thought that was an important thing to do. Yeah. And that's mm -hmm. no bull. That, no, that's all right. Listen, I listen. And not everybody has to like everything you know, I they do. They wouldn't let me go entertain the troops. You don't have to like what I do. They didn't let me go. Me neither. Entertain. So that's why I'm you taking know? it to the troops. The McGuire Air Force. Suck out man. the Red Bulls and stuff them in a vent if I meet the guy that did that. Yeah, him or no? No, listen to I me. Hear I hear you. You see, that's where it goes. <laughs> I got you. The commercial you're doing. Come a couple of. No, you don't understand it. You don't understand it. This is what I'm What's low jack? It's something Puerto Ricans carry in their car. <laughs> no, no, no. This is what you do to you put it in your car to keep the Puerto Ricans from taking it. Oh, okay. All right, now here you oh, go. What, what is only Puerto Ricans steal cars? That's what you just told me in the commercial. Ah, uh, Hasidim. <laughs> oh, Hasidim steal cars. All right, listen to me. A couple of car thieves in Massachusetts. Um, let me tell you a story, okay? Maybe this is the best way to go about it. Mm -hmm. He's a storyteller. One evening in the town of Northborough, Massachusetts, while let's call him Ken N., and his family slept. A couple of thieves broke into yes, the home. say it. A couple of thieves broke into his house and robbed it. As the thieves were leaving, they grabbed a set of keys to Ken's Nissan, loaded up his car, and sped away. Nothing can be more emasculating than having your wheels stolen. Your car. Your transportation. Do you oh, I just thought you meant the You wheels. don't write this stuff, do you? Yeah. Driving around, they realized they were hung. What, do I look like I write this stuff? What do you think? I sit at home and write the commercial? You didn't write this commercial. I Driving didn't know you were doing slang a minute ago when you said when you have your wheels stolen. I thought you really meant the wheels. Literally the wheels I'm talking about. <laughs> Is it date rape if you don't actually go to the movie afterwards? Robin? <laughs> what am I, an authority on everything? Driving around. Well, listen to me. A whole thing now. All right, no, wait, wait a second. Give me but a But you chance. don't sleep with anyone else. Driving around, you believe me, he does. My girlfriend. The minute I, he, you know. he sleeps around plenty. I don't know what to nope. think. You do. Nope. I, I know you do. Rep. I got I clean know rep. you do. And, and God bless you. You're, but you're he famous. won't marry her. He won't no. marry her. Number one, I don't wear a bag, right? Oh my! You don't wear a bag yeah. ever. So I, I, won't, I won't take. You would refuse the, to I wear a bag. I wouldn't take the chance. You would. No way. Driving around, they realize they were hungry. Soon you'll be on Johnny Carson show like Michael Landon. You'll see. You better behave yourself. No, I don't do that. Anyway, right, tell your commercial. Go ahead. All right. Go ahead. All right. Driving around, they yeah, realize... What are they giving you, 25 bucks to do this? No, listen to me. All right, go ahead. So they're driving around in Ken's car, and, go, go, and they reach into his wallet. wallet, because they have Ken's wallet. They took stuff from his house. Uh-huh. Oh, they had his car, and now they got his wallet. They went to a drive-in window and ordered burgers, fries, <laughs> and that's the real with problem. the Nissan and everything, okay? <laughs> the thieves were unaware that Ken's car was equipped with a secret weapon, the low-jack tracking device. Mm. He called the police, Ken. Oh, I know... It's a good thing to have. Hey, the low jack. Hey. Let me explain what it is. See, they have this thing that they hide in your car that you don't even know. Because right? now if somebody steals your car, you activate it, and within like 20 minutes, the cops it's got the, your car. It is the greatest thing in the world. And they got yeah, the people is, who it stole it. It is a good it. thing. They got the people who stole it. He got all his stuff back, and his car was in perfect condition. Me, I'd rather have the insurance money. Shouldn't you call? Yeah, and you know what they do with the insurance money? Hey, what? you're a wise guy, but I'm going to tell you something. When your car is stolen, you don't get back. If you get a, let's say you have a new car, brand new, right yeah. off the lot. What you do? You get book value on your car. You don't get full value on your car. Don't make no difference to me. Good, okay. Call one eight hundred. No low jacks. Call one eight hundred. I hate low jacks. <laughs> Call one eight hundred twenty seven low jacks. Oh, it's actually an excellent thing to have in your car. I do have it in my car. One eight hundred. Do you really? Yeah, in five of them. One eight hundred twenty seven low jack. That's How many cars you have. What do you mean, how many cars do I have? I'm doing a commercial. 1-800-27-L-O-J-A-C-K. I have three. Is that a bad question? What kind of, uh, you don't want to say what kind of cars you got. Well, I could care less. I'll tell you well, anything you want to know. What kind of cars you got? Uh, you know, I don't want to get you crazy. Go ahead. What do you got? Well, I asked you What, first. you got a Ferrari? I mean, how you far got you want to take? No, I don't, I don't We figured me. out the kind of money you made in the past three years. Tell me. Okay, last let me, let me year. Let explain something. Don't you, explain you anything. You know, people don't think I work hard. I, no it one's took, putting you down for it. It took me nearly three years to make $27 million. <laughs> okay. All right. There you go. Three years. <laughs> you know, that's nearly 100 shows. That's great. Let me tell you something. That is not far off $27 million. Yeah, this I guy didn't doubt it. was the highest grossing. You know, and now they want me to work more. He was making a million dollars a night. Mm, and how many nights did he work? 27 nights. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> no, am I, am I wrong? Dad? Fred? Dad, you don't have to answer nothing. <laughs> we take the, uh, what is it, the ninth? That's a fa Hey, be proud of it. You got a Ferrari? Take the fifth and the fourth. Dad's taking the ninth so we can still question it. All right, so then we can call you out on the fifth. <laughs> you took the ninth? You know what the ninth is? That's your right to bear arms. What's the matter with you? Bread. You just gave that up? You make big bread. <laughs> you, just, you just pleaded the Ninth Amendment. You make big bread. Fred, what is the Ninth Amendment? 
I don't know. That's when you shoot people. I, I think you gave up. I think you're allowed to covet your wife's neighbor. <laughs> listen, uh, you, you make big bread. I do all right. No, but, you make uh, big bread. Come on. Listen, let me tell you something. Don't jerk me off. Let me tell you something. I make a good living, but Stop nowhere near what off. you make. You yeah. make a fortune. Yeah, but look what you do. I mean, oh. something stupid, right? No, I mean, you, you think know, this I, is stupid? I agree. I gotta take buses, planes. Oh, please! You get in your oh, car, you come really in here, tough. Yeah. nice, cushy. No, you got a real rough. Banging all those you, chicks backstage. You get like eight million a year for this, right? Oh yeah, eight million a year. No, my dreams. Eight. But what are you nuts? Eight million. No radio <laughs> guy makes eight million a year. Paul Harvey himself don't make eight million a year. Eight million a year. Nobody was wants to pay me for this. And let me tell you something. The radio station makes plenty of money. So what are you pushing the friggin' uh, New York Celts already? You know, leave it alone with that. Let's get back to the news, Dice. It's the New York Seltzer guy. He's got bread. Dice Rules opens in theaters this Friday. Soundtrack about... How come you don't do any endorsements? Um, Does anybody ever ask commercial. you... Commercials. Do, do they? Yeah. Yeah, they do. Who asked him? There's a few, there's a few cigarette companies. Does he do them? I was offered a cigarette ad. Not yet. We don't want to do it. I was offered a cigarette ad in Japan. My agent turned it down, said I, that he didn't want me with that image. I go, I'll take that image. Well, yeah, I might go to Japan to do a commercial. So why would they have me in Japan? I, they, no one knows me in Japan. That's an Doesn't interesting matter. question. They'd like your image. The image they like. Yeah. So they why is Dice Tokyo waiting? Dome. Since people are asking, why is he not doing it? Yeah, why are you not doing it, Dice? Well, uh, how much bread do you need? You know right. what I mean? You're set for life now. Yeah. What do I need? Right. Hmm. It's beautiful. Nice. Think I should do the garden again? We're thinking about that. Sure, why, why not? Why not? I'll go to that. Yeah? Sure. I hear you. How much money you'll make there? How much money will you make? Oh, man. Enough for the cab ride there. You're damn right. Look at downtown Ronnie. He's ready to put on a shiv in your uh, side. You want to be the opening act? Can't believe it. The featured act? Nah. Why not? Because I don't do that. What do you mean you don't do that? Because I could, you know, I saw at stadiums myself, so what do I, what do I, 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 you I hear saw me? the Nassau tape. Yeah, so? How many people were at that? 20-something what thousand? What was that? Tennis what? match. <laughs> That's tennis what we do. <laughs> That's what we do in concert. You want to get a tennis thing there, I'll do it. <laughs> one freaking joke. I don't tell jokes. <laughs> you do tell jokes. I don't tell jokes. Uh, that you want me to tell jokes? You want Howard as the opener? Well, man, he's not an opener. He's a star. So I don't want to like be the opener. Special appearance. Why would I want that? That's great. I'll go and enjoy you working for no, once. But I don't want cool. to. Please. That would be very cool. What do you think? Jackie, Jackie and you? Jackie would like to be the opener. Yeah. Why don't you offer Jackie that slot? Well, Jackie's a great comic. What do you think I want? I think Jackie'd be insulted if you offered him that. Jackie's a headliner himself over at Chuckles. <laughs> All right, so do me a favor. <laughs> you headline the friggin' God. Let me go up through ten minutes and then watch you sweat for an hour going. There you go. All right, there's 20,000 people. Now what do I do? So, guys, don't you want to hear what else is in the news? Come on. I could Come on, we have fun. Who? He doesn't care it. that Winnie Mandela is going to jail. Thank God. Oh, now she won't be here teaching our blacks all those wicked things. But I will because I am black. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm the black man's comic. Well, then you should I'm the care. black man's comic. This Winnie Mandela came here and started revving our blacks up <laughs> and getting them wild. They were going wild when she showed up. That's a show. And, you Robin, know. you know this to be true. <laughs> you know Winnie should open for you. Too. Yeah, once you get Winnie Mandela open up for you. Listen, from what I understand, you can warm up an audience. what she did... To that little kid. She kidnapped him or well, something? Well, she was convicted for kidnapping. She? And as an accessory to assault, and they gave him mm. six years in jail. And she comes here, and what was that thing she was yelling at? Amandla! Amandla! Well, it wasn't a day later, our own blacks are running around the streets yelling, Amandla! Amandla! No one even knew what it meant. And yet our own blacks are yelling, Amandla! <laughs> and I said, you know, leave it to her to come over from South Africa... We pay $2 million to get her up on a stage to yell, Amandala. What is that, a soft drink? No, it means squeegee. Amandala. Oh, oh. Stop it. I don't know what it means. What does it mean? All I'm saying is that we How have enough... I know? We have enough of a I racial know, problem. Amandala. Do you understand that we have a racial problem in this city? And for, for well, this is what I'm trying. I'm trying to break that. Why can't whites and blacks live together? What do we need a woman coming I'm, over here from I'm, South Africa? We, over here is not South this Africa. This is why you wanted her thrown in jail. You're well, damn right, I did. I'm trying to break here. that whole called thing. Civil disobedience. <laughs> Racism wrong with that. is no good. Racism well, anyway, is no good. Yesterday, when Winnie came out of the courtroom, she you know, was. That's uh, why I only date black women now. Please, so dice. Let's hear what happened. Greeted by I'm supporters. I'm over here. You told me I'm I'm doing a show now. We can come. Hey, shut your mouth. We can comment on the news. I'm complaining about black women. I got quivers here <laughs> that, that's, uh, that's going crazy for me, and I can't make a move. That's why I've locked my myself in behind my back. I'm caught between a rock and a hard place. I mean, uh, we could pick a Cincinnati, man. What a vibe. 
Yeah. All right, go ahead. The crowd outside the courtroom <laughs> greeted Winnie. Let's hear that. Dennis office. You know Dennis? Yeah. You know Dennis office? Dennis office. <laughs> what you hey, I might not be the handsomest guy, but I mean, I could pick a room. <laughs> All right, listen to the crowd greeting Winnie Mandela. I don't hear nothing. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> it doesn't sound all that great. It sounds like a black disco. Doesn't it? <laughs> Put some music under that. That's anyway, right. So um, <laughs> she was still getting a lot of support, and they say you have to look askance at uh, such a ruling from a court, a South African court, when it's Winnie Mandela. But just imagine, her husband spent 20 years in jail. She finally gets out, and now she's going in. Hey, Fred, play some of that disco music. Let's see if it sounds like a black disco. Put some of that disco music on. That's it. That's it. That's the money. What's up? That's it. Hey, do you hear? Winnie's going to jail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Jane Monticio. <laughs> All right. I like big girls. So anyway, everybody was asking, now, what is Nelson going to do? Is this going to really... Uh, Mess him up? Make him crazy? Is this going to make him forget the whole struggle to oh, free South oh, Africa? Sure. How's he going to get any gay sheets? <laughs> you know, the guy gets out of jail, and he can't get gay sheets. The least he could do <laughs> is keep herself out of jail for the guy. Anyway, Helen Sussman, who is... Uh, some government official in South Africa and who has known Nelson yeah, all these years has this to say. Here's Helen Sussman. She knows Mandela. Oh, come on, guys. Get into it. He gets bored if we're not talking about his about career him. for a second. Oh, I don't care. Don't you I'm, want to know about the news? Do you want to hear what she has to say? I'm having a good time. I hear you under your breath there doing those, those little voices of what yours. What did I say? Doing that. that what about Cucamonga Balls? He was Cucamonga Balls and doing <laughs> the thing about... Uh, How come you never have Jim Barry on the show? Who? Jim Barry, the comic. Who is that? Not interested. Oh, okay. I don't know him. Oh, what do you want me to, uh, if you want to take it with him? <laughs> Nelson, I'm sure it will be emotionally upset about the whole thing, but uh, yeah. he's also, you know, very down to earth in many ways, and mm. he realizes that the future of South Africa uh, is going to take precedence over his own personal problems. Ah. If my wife went to jail, I'd be out having sex. Oh, problems. stop it. Call 1 800 Lockman. What? If you need a lock. Larry right. Winnicore. 1 800 Lock Man. What is he doing? Commercial? I don't know, man. Yeah, he's my friend. I thought he was, he was putting out a message to Winnie Mandela. Yeah. He's the Call 1 800 Lock Man. And, uh, the first locksmith to ever put up his own billboards. The big question. He appeared on Friday. You know, Dice, he goes, you're Larry Winnicore. You're 1 800 Lock Man. You know, we have enough commercials on the this show. Work out. Hey, Dice, you're good at the news. Why are you blowing it off? I don't know. We I'm waited afraid. for you for the news. It's the call for And we're there. never doing that it's again funny. because well, he does this all the time. He was supposed to come in at 7 30. That's why I waited. And then, oh, you know, Johnny and me, we're over right, there. Johnny and you over I there. I had a show over there. He had to blow out his hair with, like, a vacuum. Go ahead, Robin. You're funny. Anyway, Jose Canseco is oh, tired of answering questions about Madonna. Jose Canseco, the baseball player. Yeah. Right. What about Madonna? He's an Oakland uh, A's player. He's and, it up uh, now, right? What do you mean? What? What do you mean? That's she's... what you said. No, she's not doing that. She said she had a couple of experiences. <laughs> yeah, that's diking it up. <laughs> you ever meet Madonna? Shut up, Papa's place. Did you, ever, did you ever meet her? No, but I would. You know, she never called me or nothing. That with the whole thing there. But she would she would uh, put you down. Though. You never she, went backstage to uh, say her me. concert was neat? She'd make you kiss other guys. No, and no. And pee in the shower. <laughs> but see, I'd make it with Madonna. She, uh, you know, just wanted to throw it around a little. Yeah. So anyway, Jose was seen coming out of her apartment. I'd probably be too dirty for her. <laughs> That's how she'd act, you know, like, oh, he's filthy. Mm, she likes ball players. Do you get along with Sandra Bernhard? Yeah. How are you like? Her. Yeah, I dig her. So anyway, he was seen coming out of her apartment over the weekend. Right. So uh, Madonna's apartment? Yeah. Yeah. And he just I got back with his him. wife a few days ago, I guess. He yeah. and his wife were having some problems, but they had gotten it straightened out. Right. And then all of a sudden he's tripping out at the Madonna Hotel. Right. And uh, they caught him. Some photographers happened to be there and they caught they got pictures of him. Yeah, but you know what it is, Quivers? Well, you know, with something like that, you know, it's not like he's banging a stranger. 
Yeah. The thing of Madonna, I mean, you know, deal. I think like wives and girlfriend give waivers on that. Is that I think, right? I think my yeah. wife should give me a waiver if something big like that ever happened to me. That's <laughs> well, what I said to her. But how big on, do they have to be? You've got some stuff. Superstar. Superstar, my wife should just say, hey, this okay, is beyond. Okay, not just regular yeah, stuff. This right. is like you got a few stories to do. Right, this is good for my career. But like <laughs> Trini tells me I could, you know, from the waist up, I could do whatever I want. Really? Yeah. Really? Now that's a Get trick. her on the phone. I want to hear her yeah, say that. Yeah, let me that. speak to that, Trini. I want to uh, hear her say that. Uh, she told me she had to do something to <laughs> She's busy today. I want to hear her say that. Anyway, now when he goes to the ballpark to play the Yankees last night, oh, one yeah. of the fans started yelling from the stands, Hey, Jose, how's Madonna? How's Esther? That's Esther's wife. What's that, an impression? <laughs> that was good. Hey, you know, it sounded like dice. That's like a dice thing. I think it was hey, dice. How's Esther? Thing. Do that again, Ron. Hey, you know. hey, Esther. Hey, how's Madonna? How's Esther? Yeah, have enough. Did you ever see her lay out in, uh, in uh, like, uh... The penthouse? Yeah. With the Madonna? scrag pictures? Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> the scrag pictures? Uh, mm. I wouldn't touch her with Merv's hand. Oh, please. I'm not looking like that twice oh, about it. And really, now I might touch her. She looks a little better. Uh, number Madonna. Yeah, I'd do her. I didn't, I didn't see the movie yet, you know. You know, but but I'm going to see that. I'm not seeing it. Why you not? know why? Because she's not so outrageous. Everything she does, she tries to be outrageous. Uh, she takes it from you, right? Hey, let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something. What? Just because she stands there and makes two guys kiss? Who cares? What, because she pees in the shower? I'm supposed yeah, to get excited? When she does that crotch grabbing. Ah, oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. There's nothing like that. I guarantee you, if we all went together to the movie to see Madonna, we'd sit there and goof on it the whole time. Hey, we'd have a good time. You know what you could do. Yeah, oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> Not that bad a shape. <laughs> come on. Anyway, uh, Jose you think got she's got outrageous, Robin? Robin? Pull over yes. the theater. What, because she sits there and talks I didn't to... say anybody was outrageous. You saw the movie? I don't anything is outrageous. What did she talk to Sandra I... Bernard about, about uh, what? About what? What did she talk Sandra's to? Sandra's outrageous. What did she say? Sandra talked about yeah, Sandra's this girl. Sandra's outrageous. What did she say? she's doing. Yeah. And she figures the girl is... No, uh... I wouldn't pay admission to see that. <laughs> yeah, I can pass see, on to that. To me, that's entertainment. You yeah. know what I mean? The girl is uh, probably cheating on her or something. I forget. So tell everyone what happened with Jose Canseco. So anyway, well, the other night at little. the game, yeah. Jose was g upset. Because this guy was yelling this stuff from the stand. Right. And uh, his manager had to go into the uh, dugout and restrain him from going after the guy. You want to talk to the guy who yelled this stuff out at Conseco? We got him? We got him on the phone. He's a fan of ours. All right, she'll be interested to know that this is... Hello? Yeah. What's your name? Kenny. You're on the air, Kenny. You're the man? You're the guy who started yelling at Jose Conseco? Uh, I wasn't yelling at him. What is it? You don't have a job? Why are you busy at the ballpark? <laughs> well, I went to enjoy the balls, uh, like the boys this summer. You know, what down there? Like, what ride. is your job? What do you do for a living? I'm a telemarketer. Telemarketer? So yes. you market, what, television? Uh, no, no, no. Couches. Uh, various stuff. All right. So you, so you have free time to go to the ball game? Well, 7.30 at night. You know, you get up work 5 o'clock. And you're not tired from a day of, of telemarketing? You oh. don't have to get ready for the next day. So what did you say to Conseco? I didn't say nothing to him. The thing was, uh, what happened was all the fans were heckling him, right? Yeah. And what got me ticked was... Uh, like they considered me a heckler. I hear you. Okay, and that was wrong. So he, he came over to me, pointed at me, and said, you, you make any more racial slurs like this, and I'm going to... Beat your ass. No, he says, you make any more racial slurs like this, and I'm going to uh, 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 bang you in the head or something like that, he says. Right. So, you know, they like to... Well, you know, banging in the head could mean a whole different thing. <laughs> what racial slur was, were you making? Huh? What racial slur he were you He wasn't saying anything. I, now, well, let, let him answer the question. Now, one word I was saying to Jose can say, everybody was busting about the gun. Uh, uh, you know, I go back to Cuba. Uh, Madonna, where's Esther? Where's this? Where's that? And all of a sudden, like, he looks at me because I'm in his, uh, like, his line of eyesight, you know? And I was the biggest guy like, over there, I guess. And I, what, what do you work out? Huh? You work out with the Patagon? Uh, me, I don't work out. <laughs> oh, you don't work out. No. You're, just, you're just naturally you're like naturally big. big? Like dice? I got a big belly. Oh, well, then you're not like dice. Sure, let's get to the point. I mean, I think you're dragging out yeah, a non story what's here. The deal? Is there so did he punch you or something? A little at times. No, no, no. Right. You were ejected. You were the guy they threw out? Right, I could, right. I could put I could string on my face. You know? I hear you. I just simply said to him, I said, it wasn't me that said this, you know? Then that's when, like, the fans get on, like, you know, I, you know, like his case to get on. I hear you. So, oh, all right, so nothing happened. Story. He's going on Nine Broadcast Plaza with that story. Oh, man. <laughs> that's some story, let me tell you. So, what are you doing? I heard you retained a lawyer or something. Mm, yeah. yeah well, how could you have a lawyer? You got in touch you. you. Got a lawyer for? Threaten me. Oh, Gee, oh, get out of here. Let it go. 
Okay, we'll you, do. You make a nice living, don't you? No, I don't. No? Oh, so you're looking for some bucks? No, no, no. Well, why'd you get a lawyer? Why do you have a lawyer if the guy didn't punch you? Because he said, I'm going to kick your ass? You really think he's going to come after you? No, no, I don't think he would. So what are you a lawyer for? You just like spending money on lawyers? <laughs> yeah. Hire me. I, I, I'm good with my mouth. Oh, boy, three against one here. I'm in trouble. No, I don't understand. Why did you hire a lawyer if the guy didn't do anything to you? No, no, no. I... People hire lawyers now for anything. Yeah. Well, wouldn't you? But, wait. But, but what? But what am I going to hire a lawyer for to take my garbage out? <laughs> no. What kind of lawyer did you, you have get? No case. I'll give it to guys. I gotta run. I gotta run. What kind uh, of case do you I have? Can't talk about the case, huh? What's the matter? You can't talk about the case? No, no, no. Is that the problem? Yes. Do you have a? What kind? Of, what are you filing charges about? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. You know, <laughs> I, you know, no comment on that, Howard. They're you, pouring over the legal book. You now. lost the case just saying what you just said. <laughs> <laughs> what do you even talk to Howard? He'll destroy any chance you got. My guys, it was nice talking to you. <laughs> are these little people? Did he make, did, I don't understand how you have a case. No, wait a second. I don't understand how you have a case. I don't understand the case you have. You, you've got a lawyer to do what? This never happened to me. This, this never happened to me uh, before, so I don't know. No, I want to understand what how happened? people in our society, I know people who sue. Were you uh, really adversely affected by having to leave the ballgame? Are you suing for the price of the ticket? Uh, what are your damages? Wait, hold on a second, hold on. Okay, hold on a second, hold on. I'll be right there. Oh, well, you got somebody over there. What do you got, your lawyer there? No, no, no. I got a car out there. Wait for me. What do you got, the uh, paddock? I right, guys, got to run, got to run. Okay, right, nice right. talking to you. Andrew, got to you. All right, All right. Well, can we see oh, what else? Oh, wait, I gotta take a got break. A lawyer. Here's another button. Come on. Well, Robin, there's an exclusive. Let's take he's one random call. Well, we'll take a call in a few minutes. Let me just All get right. done with the news and. Um... Right, get Gary in here to empty my ashtray. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, empty Dice's You're ashtray. You're taking care of the Dice man. Gary, why is Dice's yeah. ashtray full? Why do I gotta be put through this? <laughs> you know I smoke. They give me a little baby ashtray. <laughs> you know, Johnny, had nine Johnny's cigarettes. got laryngitis. You're gonna be in Carson very soon if you keep smoking like that. Hey, uh, what's the matter? <laughs> no, but look what I'm smoking. Carlton, I can't hear you. Uh, Jane Wheatley. Carlton. Jane Wheatley. Ultra low. One hundreds. Jane Wheatley. If you yeah. smoke, it's not good, but if you have to, smoke Carlton. Guys, please. Uh, we got a lot of things to do. Yeah, he's ready. cigarettes on it our It looks airway. like she's ready to show you yesterday's outfit. Oh, really? Oh. She's wearing a denim jacket that's mostly open. Okay, so all right, all right. Get, get through the commercials quick. <laughs> all right, what is this? Dial 1-800-321-THIN if you uh, want to be thin. Please. There's only one please, way please. to lose. No, please. Oh, Dice, Dice, let me get you through don't this. know. Please, Dice, you Name don't know anything about losing weight. He's right, research. Let me, let me do it. Dice has eaten one can of tuna fish a day running for 300 miles. <laughs> That's the guy was ready to have him pass out. Don't I know. listen to him. Don't listen to he Dice. He misses all of his no, favorite food. No, neutral system's pretty good. You know why it's good? Especially the chocolate pudding. It is good. And the waffles and the pancakes the and the pot roast. And, and the, um, you know it's good. Robin, you were on it. What That's was your favorite right. thing to eat? Pizza. Hey, and now they have the no more excuses offer. Listen to this. Try Nutrisystem for one week. If you're not completely satisfied, you get your money back. Oh, really? I got to call them. Offer applies to Nutrisystem program services only. Food not included and is non-refundable. Available at participating metropolitan New York area centers only. Do you understand this? Yeah, Try Nutrisystem. They, they send us our money back. All right. <laughs> Try Nutrisystem. You know you'd lose you weight get on it. You your money back if you don't lose weight. For additional details, call participating centers at 1-800-321-THIN. But you must dial now. You must call now, and you must lose weight now. And, and you really got to stick. See, what I was doing... Don't you want to be thin for the summer? I, I would use, like, their stuff, and then at night I'd have, like, uh, you know, I'd go to an Italian joint over there. <laughs> but you can have Italian food on Nutrisystem. Not, dial. not like the kind you could get in the joint I go to. Yes, you can. Tell him, Robin. He's right. It's not like yeah, a restaurant. That, you know, I didn't lose it is. What the hell is going <laughs> on here? Everybody get out. Here, I'm doing the show myself. <laughs> oh boy! You can't go to an Italian joint and have three loaves of bread. Yes, you can. <laughs> On Nutrisystem, you could have three loaves of bread. Yes. Oh, stop! One eight hundred. Talking about over there. One eight hundred three two one thin. They don't have moose. Ten thousand. All right, where are we? What is this? CNI? Let me explain this real quick. You aware of what a beeper is? Yes, Howard. All right. I thought you'd gone totally Hollywood at this point. No, Trini, Trini got a, the best beeper they make. No, I bet you not. Uh, matrix system? No, 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 no. Let me tell you about this. What is this one? This is a text 
display pager. Do you understand what that is? Is that where it comes out? Where yeah. you can read? Right. That's what she's got. That's the best one. It's excellent. Let me read the commercial. Let me tell you about because it. Because I got it. He's ready I'm... to endorse. Yeah, I'm ready to endorse. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right. Do a good job. All right. Don't, don't, and don't drag it out. Do a good job. Because we got uh, someone ready to take the close one. All right. <laughs> the next generation of pages. T-N-I-S. Beepers. Now, give me it. Already you're Dave's still enough. Come on, guys. Time. <laughs> He's a genius. <laughs> <laughs> you know, our problem is we know how to read. <laughs> All right, listen. The next generation of pages is T-N-I-S. Beepers. I've... Uh... <laughs> Dick. Tell them why it's good. Because if you if she beeps you, right? You got one of these? Yeah. Why is it good? Yeah, because you get you get. What kind of message you get? The whole message comes across. I know that. So if the whole message comes and you can store it in there. What so kind of it, messages do you get on this thing? Guys, guys, stay yeah. with us. No, I am. Stop with the card. Well, well, well. Let's say you got to be somewhere. Yeah. Like at Pasquale and Wong okay. this Friday night <laughs> at 9 p.m. and 12 midnight to okay. see Michael Wheels Parisi at 521 West Street. You, you can put, put all that information. That all could go on the... Yeah, really the reservations. But that whole, message, and Wong. that whole message could Michael go... Michael Wheels Parisi. I'm right, turning off his mic at this point. <laughs> no, no, I've had it. All right, listen. But he's right. You could put uh, that whole message on You could put that there. whole message. If you want to get into the next <laughs> generation... Imagine if you're in a business meeting <laughs> and somebody beeps you and you got to get up from the meeting and make a phone call to find out the message. Yeah, well, you, you want to stop for Michael Wheels Parisi? Then you got to find... Yeah, hours, I take an hour for lunch. Then you got to find a pen and a piece of paper to write down all That's of these right. messages yeah. and it just doesn't work that way this way you got it stored right in your beeper listen it's the same size as a regular beeper except it has a display where you can read the messages well you could call in and listen. it'll it'll like leave you a message like right uh, okay please like first 500 all right i'm turning off your mic the first 500 people who call the first 500 people who call get a free 30-day trial offer on tni's offer call 1-800-365-BEEP 1-800-365-BEEP this is free for a month 30 days, 1-800-365-BEEP right now. Pasquale and Wong, Friday night. Robin, set this up. Do, were you going to do this in the news about Jane? No. Jane Wheedland? I didn't know anything about this until you told me. Uh, but you were right. in the news. <laughs> Jane Wheedland. Of the Go-Go. Of the Go-Go's. Is it, like, loves animals so much, like she does disruptive things? Well, you know, she's a member of PETA. I really PETA. I like these Carlton's. You know, they don't make you choke. You better quiet your father down. He doesn't understand. Dad, what, what are you doing? What, what did I tell you? <laughs> hey, what's the use in talking? <laughs> you know, you go up and back every day with these people. Yeah, and they don't understand show business. You know? I like your father. But sometimes you got to get him in line. My father's great. If you can't get your father in line, you know, he works for you. you got to get him in line. No, no, I work for him. Do you boss your father no. around? You ever yell at your father? You have to Believe yell at him. I work for him. If I didn't, I wouldn't have a dime. Really? Like that. I'd spend it all. You, you would. And tell them what I'd spend it on. Sweat clothes. So Jane really... A shirt? $30. Oh, I cut Jane. the neck and the sleeves off like... Oy. Oy. Who's that big dude with Oy. you? My bodyguard. Oh, man. Yeah, go sit over there, bodyguard. What's the matter with you? Yeah, sit down, Jane. Hey, Jane, let me look at you. Mm. Come over here so I can look. Come over here. She is so cute. I knew you'd want me to do this. You're taking off, wait, she's taking off her clothes. Voice is so great and it just makes the Come acids here. in Whoa. your belly bubble. You taking off your pants? Yeah. Oh, come on. No, I just have boring a new one. Can I make out with you? Later. After the show. Thanks. Really very pleasant. <laughs> She's cute. A hard block. Do you know Dice? <laughs> Do you know Dice Clay? No, no. Hi there. Do you know me? No. I this is Dice. I'm breaking she breaks. <laughs> Do you like Dice? I mean, I don't know you personally. Oh, no, I know, I know. Do you, you like Dice? Him. You live alone? Or you have a problem with him? I don't, I'm not familiar. How can she have a problem anymore? with me? She's sitting wearing a bra. Oh. <laughs> How can she have a problem with me? Are those breast implants? No. No, no. They're cute. Thank they you. are. They are cute. They're, they're happy bosoms. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you. This is Glad I wore my baggies. Who is that guy? Dan Matthews from Peter. He took his clothes off yesterday. Oh, oh he took his clothes off, too. Yeah. You guys How are come naughty? he didn't come here with no top? Let me explain what Jane did. Oh, Johnny. Do you mind taking your pants off? No. So we can see your weenie? Uh, <laughs> hey, it's a political statement. You, Come on. You, you well, I saw uh, eat animals, man. I would take my pants off and get them to stop. It's in the chicken, man. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the chicken. Up, yeah. Man. Let me understand something, Jane. Yes, Lord. Jane of the Go-Go's. Well, you guys broke up again, right? I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I know. 
You tell me. Yeah, it's tell a day Dice. day thing. Tell <laughs> Dice what you did yesterday. Yeah. Tell everyone. And tell Robin. We snuck into Oscar De Laurentiis' grand opening of his new fur salon. Um, no, his, his line of furs. Uh-huh. And then yeah. when the show started, we threw our clothes up and then we jumped up on stage with a banner that said we'd rather go naked than wear fur. But you weren't naked. Well, we had, like, you know, see-through little things on. You had brawn panties? No, it was like a little, you know, ladies' nylons, it was like a little thing made out of that. Could you oh. see your breasts through it? Yes. See what, well, what and you could see the panty part. The so panty part. Could you see your private parts through it? I trimmed my bush. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, you don't like that? you got a bush that will make a tree of that jealous, eh? Nah. Why are you talking about the president at a time like this? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you my right you, Robin. <laughs> what do you, uh, you are not got to be careful Never here. trim it. Never body trim it. Are you married? Yeah, I'm mm. very glad I'm still married. Mm, too bad. Now they don't want to talk to you. I'm happy to be pleased to see you now. <laughs> Guys, what do you think of this whole animal rights thing? Seriously, what do you think? I mean, it, you into the whole animal thing, the non-fair. Do you eat animals? Thing? Do you eat animals? I mean, like, um, like I'll go into a restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 And I'll have like. Um, I think Dice eats yeah. giraffe. <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I think, think he's eating in I'll eat a little <laughs> like the pussy over there. Yeah. <laughs> now, what do you eat? Seriously. Well, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not you, really into... Did you ever see... Would the you buy a fur? Film? Would you buy a fur for Trini? <laughs> does, fur, does Trini have any furs? Yeah, she does. She does. You bought them for her. Yeah. You have well, what fur What am I going to do? The thing's dead already. Yeah. <laughs> you know what's going to hang in a store? <laughs> no, what I'm saying is, though. Know, I mean, I won't go out and, and, and kill like... Uh, see, I won't let my wife you know, wear like a fur. like a bear and make her like a bear coat, you know? I won't let my what wife... if he's already... What if, I, I mean, a bear gets old and he dies, too, you hear? I understand. He gets sick. You know, if you find them dead, it's okay. You get a right? stroke, uh, you cut off the hair. So you're saying you're saying that Trini only wears coats from dead animals. Roadkill. Roadkill. She got roadkill coats. Because <laughs> Jane, you know, I I can dig where you're coming from and everything, but it's, it's like going. save the whales. Because like I won't let my wife wear her fur coat. Save the I whales. Mean, yeah, one, she though. had one. And I was against it because I said, how's it going to look politically? That if I'm walking around with you with a fur coat and they start spray painting you red. <laughs> That'd be and stuff. I mean, I'm going to feel like a real jerk. <laughs> you like comedy? Yeah. Oh, so you're going to be at Pasquale and Wong's this Friday night. Hey. Shows. Uh, I'm going home today. Where are you going, L.A.? Yeah. That's where I live. But you came here specifically mm. for the Oscar de la Renta okay. opening, huh? Yes. Where do you live in L.A.? Um, well, kind of outside L.A., in the suburbs. Well, where? I'm not going to tell no, you. No, the city, not the, you know, the address. The city? A girl. Mm. It's a famous town. <laughs> She's got a lot of money. She's in the Go-Go's. She made tons of dough. And she wrote a lot of those songs, right? Yeah. And you're the one who broke up the Go-Go's because you thought uh, Belinda was a big pain in the ass. I did not. I quit, and then they broke up. I couldn't help And what that. are you doing now? Taking my clothes off a lot. <laughs> Charming. <laughs> they make a Belinda Carlisle joke in the uh, Madonna movie, I know, too. I what do they say? They're all jealous of her. Uh, no, you like Madonna? The, yeah, I love her. One of the backup singers is singing, uh, yeah. ooh, baby, you know what, well, whatever. Really and woman. another one is beating on her back, so she has that quiver. Oh. That Belinda has in her voice. Uh, yeah. But that girl, at least one of them worked for Belinda, so I thought that was kind of interesting. Yeah. Jane thinks, like, you know, Jane was writing all this stuff, and she said, hey, I'm going to go solo and dump these broads. Well, she had a hit. You did have a hit. Yeah. Tell us your hit. Rush Hour. Are we a Rush Hour? Yeah, well, that's the trains, rush hour. <laughs> no, I'm saying you hear it, rush hour. Yeah, well, you know, you want to get on the trains in the morning. Sing a little rush hour. Go ahead. No. Jane, go ahead. No, you Come on, do it. No, you sing it. You're better than I am. No. I can sing it. Come on, no. sing it. No. No. Sing a little. No. Well, you, you know, you'll take your clothes off. You don't shove cash right. down a panties. That's right. Do I don't nothing. sing for free. Well, oh, how much do you want for a little rush hour? <laughs> Sing along, take strip. Collection. I'll take off all my clothes. Okay, here you come. Come on, Robin, he's going to do it. I would love to get oh, naked gonna... with you. Look at you. I'm looking at you. I'm looking ready to eat you up. I you swear to God. Oh, uh, not lately, no. Well, why not? What, I, what are you, I got naked. Are you so perfect? No, I know. Mean, <laughs> no, you're pretty good. You, I mean, you, you, you look nice. Thank you. Well, that's how I make millions. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to sing a note, baby. Not that I can't. <laughs> but uh, you... I saw a as a tap dancer. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Did you really? Oh, you tap, imagine? ballet. Re I Jane, never saw that. Politically, now, yeah. Jane, yes. aren't you mad at Dice in some way, or are you into Dice? I mean, you must hey, have He's into my you. Come no, on, look you know what I've heard? <laughs> Weren't you I running around defacing those posters? Him. Weren't you defacing Dice and posters? <laughs> no, no, I have better things to do. What have you wonderful things, right? No, I, I mean, you get a lot of publicity. Neg yeah. Mostly negative. I, I like them. He's funny. I'm not saying anything for or against what he does, because I haven't heard it. 
I heard like 10 seconds of a record, and I can't, it was something about... What did you think when uh, Sinead O'Connor said that thing about Dice? <laughs> what did you, you think about that bald moron, Sinead O'Connor, when she said those <laughs> things about Dice? I wasn't really... You know, she was there tonight. Oh, I told you that joke. Huh? Yeah, you did that You right. know, when she combed the head and pulled up her pants. Right. <laughs> See, she's uh, laughing. You right, have a exactly. problem with Dave. <laughs> she's not bad looking. You know, put a wig on her head, she'll look like a real chick. Hey, Robin, that guy from the Fur Association is on the line. He wants to yell at them. Oh, good. Let's talk right, to him. Right, here. Watch mm -hmm. this. This is always good. Is Yellow, this Oscar De La Renta? Blue there. Is this Oscar De La Renta? You're on the air. Yeah, hi, Howard. Is this Oscar? Uh, no, it's Tim Coward from uh, the Greater Fur New York Association. And ah. uh, would like to speak to Jane Whelan about what it's like to break the law constantly. What is she doing exactly? Well, she uh, snuck in using illegal press uh, press badges and uh, went into a private show and uh, decided to make a fool out of herself, her and Dan Matthews. Yeah, so? Well, you don't like chicks? You don't like seeing a naked chick? <laughs> well, I like seeing a naked chick, so but what, uh, what are we personally, gonna take? personally, I think with her body, she'd look, look much better with fur on. No. <laughs> oh, man. She's got a great body. Hey, come on. Don't lie about that. Well, come hey, on. You're being a bit of a crybaby. Right, right. Shane, let him have it. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Yell at him. Personally, I'd like to ask Jane, uh, uh, first of Howard and, uh, and the Dice Man. I know both you guys wear leather. So yes. there's a the difference between wearing, feather, uh, wearing leather and wearing fur. And wearing feather. They actually have 1,200 leathers. <laughs> And he goes out, but he makes sure they're from dead animals. But it's not like uh, I go to the no, cow no, no. and say, look, the, the Jane, what is it? You always have muds in your ass. What? Hey, Jane, you always <laughs> clam up during these things. I do? Yeah. Oh, Jane, oh, so I have it. You're against wearing, like, leather and stuff? No, Jane is. Sorry. Jane is. Jane is. <laughs> you're against it. Jane's against eating meat, and Jane's against wearing leather, and Jane's, Jane's against eating chicken. Well, what, do you, what do you have against wearing leather? You know what? I just don't want to wear dead cows. I think it's gross. Well, what would you want to wear? Like, uh... She wants to wear plastic fish? that pollutes the atmosphere. Oh, Mr. What? Environmentalist here. Well, tell me about it, Jane. Thank you, Mr. Earth Day. Jane, let me ask you something. What about when Peter killed all those animals at its sanctuary? I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly you're... what I'm talking Save about. Save the seal, baby. Please, Save fill the us seal. in. Jane, you know all about how Peter killed, uh, decided to kill animals that they couldn't fit into their sanctuary in Maryland? Do you have a day job? <laughs> 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 I mean, what do you do to Look at what he's talking about. Oh, man. <laughs> what does this guy do? Hey, the guy's in the fur association. He's got to defend fur. Oh, so he wants to sell fur. He's I'm getting so upset. Fun, the industry is getting hurt. Can, can you give me, like, a discount? Definitely, guys. Jane, you don't, don't put your jacket on. I'm glad to. Yeah, just hang it up. Oh, good. Jeez. Because we're a responsible industry that really cares. All right, all right. What? What do you yeah, but about? you killed like old fur, right? You don't well, take like a brand new. Uh, I want to ask Peter and Jane what you'd know. like to do about putting a whole bunch of people out of business. I no, 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 no. I have the utmost faith that you have other talents besides making coats out of skin. Jane, Jane, what would I do for a living? We'll Jane? start wearing human skins, okay? Yeah. <laughs> well, Jane, what's what he supposed plastic? to do for a living? Can he tour with you? Or, uh, yeah, plastic you and you want to wear synthetic, yeah. right, Jane? I just think yeah, but that's not everybody's... All right, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, what not a great debate kind of talent, Jane. All right. You know? Hey, Jane, can we make out during the commercials? Yeah, yeah. All right. Who are you married to again? Some rich guy? Uh, his name's Jed. He's not rich, no. I'm yeah. the rich one in the family. <laughs> She's got tons of... Are you, are you a millionaire? Uh, oh, give it to me, Jed. I, I don't know. I don't how, do you, how do you qualify that? I mean, you have over a million dollars... cash? Yeah, in cash. No. Jed. Do you have a million dollars worth of assets? Yeah. Wow. No more. More. Uh, more than a million. Oh, my girl, girl, girl. That's a girl. And she's good looking, too. Is your husband real good looking? Yeah. Uh, uh, better than me? Yeah. Where is yeah. Jed from? Yeah. Different. Different. He's from Scotland. Mm. Boy, I'd love to have oh, a woman. Oh, with an accent and everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, you love that. All right, let me take a break. Dice is here. Dice Rules opens in theaters this Friday. The soundtrack's available. Jane is here. You want to finish the news with us, Jane? Sure. What's the news? Well, Robin has the news. I don't know what it is. I thought we, I thought we covered the news. <laughs> but we got a couple more stories. Well, what is it? What's what's the big story? We already did the big one. You're still talking about the uh, cuticles. The cuticles? You ever cheat on your husband? No. Not yet. Liar. Not yet. Jeez, I've only been married four years. Come over here. Just come over here for a second. <laughs> come over here. All right. Come over here and show my lap. No, wait for the commercial. Come on. What's, what are you so tired no, about? Come on. Go over there. Come over. No, don't make a favor. What are you so tired about? Come to me. Oh, you come over here. No, I can't come to you. No. I'm not the submissive type. Playing games here or what? Yeah. Dice, is she playing games or what? Uh, give a little smack on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these words. Lend an ear to them. All right, what is this? Good. I want to talk. This is what I've been waiting to talk to Dice about the whole time. Look, look Dice, I'm going to tell you something. 
That cigarette smoking, I'm worried about your health, quite frankly. I know it's a macho thing with you and, and all that, and you think it's the greatest. But you know you want to quit inside, and one day you will want to quit. And I know you will. If we smoke Carlton now, because Carlton has only uh, one milligram of tar. <laughs> yeah, but you so smoke you 900 smoke. of them. <laughs> smoke Carlton. You have about nine mil 900 milligrams of tar a day. Not with Carlton. What, are you trying to get free cigarettes? Well, maybe a commercial for like a million bucks. <laughs> you realize Dyson made about $27 million last year? Is that amazing? And I don't see. And that's, that's being a comic. It's hmm. very hard to do. Howie, that's what you ought to do. Was a little more? But be a comic? Yeah, I think it was 27.5. Jane just got wet. Yeah, but that was, I, I nearly did 100 shows. She has 20, oh. yeah, he had to work 100 nights to get that 27 million. It's not like he got that one night. Jeez. Right, Robin? Now we got to right. go do it again. You hear me? I hear you. Physician Smoke Stopping Group, why doesn't Dice quit smoking? Dice, I spoke to these because guys. Because I'm smoking Colton. I spoke to the doctors over there. These are medical doctors. Why don't we doctors. have the doctors in? We'll tie Dice in a chair. Yeah. Well, what's your doctor supposed to say? An MD? No, no, no. He teaches you how to quit smoking. Let me tell you something. It really works. 85% success rate. Fred, aren't you worried about your son? What? Don't you smoke too, though? No, I don't smoke. Oh. Are you well, worried? you're not worried. Do you try to get him to quit, or, or at this point you can't talk to him anymore because he's a big star? Yes, we do. No, you... we can talk to him. And what happens? And he listens. And then he's That's why I'm smoking yeah, Carlton. When, when did you realize Dice was smoking? What age did you see that? When he was about four. Now, come on, really. How old was Dice? 21. 21. Really? 21? Really? Yeah. You waited all that time? In fact, mm -hmm. he couldn't stand the smoke up until then. He couldn't stand smoke? Couldn't stand it. Why did he start, do you think? You want to look uh, more happening? No. I, I'm asking you your start? father. Why did you start? Well, how was he? He wasn't in the, the bathroom with me lighting up. You started because you thought it looked cool. That's why every kid starts. You want to be a tough guy. You you wanna, wanna, I'm not saying it's a good habit. Right, but why? You wouldn't do it. You have a smoke, child now, Smoke, guys. Carlton. Guys, you smoke well, with the your kid. Smoke. <laughs> <laughs> do you smoke around the kid? Mm hmm. Ah. You know, you used to smoke Michael Landon. He used to smoke cigarettes with his pancreas. <laughs> and now look at him. I swear, he used to stick him right in there. It's true. It's true. Fred, you, you have no influence in this area? There's nothing. As long as you got good bowel movement, that's all that matters in this world. You get upset when I talk to your father about this, don't you? No. Come here, I'm going to smack you on your ass. No, you're not. I was going to say, I'm talking to Jane. Die? I'm talking to Jane. <laughs> Dice always said, no, you're not. <laughs> I don't want to smack you on the ass. I'm here with Ronnie. He wouldn't let that happen. Yeah. Downtown Ronnie? I'm here. Fred, <laughs> you can't get him to quit? Yeah. I hear you. Would you, ha would you? Don't try to get him to quit. Can I say something to you, though? As a parent, I think you got to do the commercial. I though, think you should be responsible. All right, tell us about this big thing. What is it? This... Hey, let me talk to your what father. Is it, why why is he your uptight when I, he stops I think me. that he doesn't right, like so. anybody to tell him. I guess he hears all the time he should stop smoking. Yeah. No, I want to talk to your father for a second. Can you mellow out? Yeah, I got a grandmother, 120 years old. She's smoking. You, you don't years. feel you don't. You should quit. You don't feel responsible in any way that you should say it to him. Not at all. No. Really? Well, I wish it were my father. <laughs> Your well, you father wouldn't smoke. let you smoke. That's why I don't smoke. My parents <laughs> won't let me. I want to smoke. What? What's your vice? My vice? Oh dear. He likes don't to be say. I uh, right. Come over here. Let me just let, let me do some Hello, stuff. Do me a favor. Let me do some stuff to you, Jane. What yeah, do you care? Your hey, husband's not going to hear this. She's a hot little number for a kid her age. How old are you, Jane? Thirty-two. Jesus. You're jerking me off. You're thirty-two. <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'll do that. Please. Oh, I'm You're sorry. Thirty-three next week. Ah, she looked, you really look a lot younger. How old does she look? Thank you. I'd say about twenty-six. I'd say twenty-three. No, she don't look twenty-three. Jane, take off your bra. <laughs> take off your bra. No. Come on. Get yeah. for those animals. Just for a goof. <laughs> All right, anyway, for a goof, take off your bra so Fred can see. I bet you a few guys weren't here. You do it, Robin will do it. Yeah, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> Robin will do it to flood this room, man. You look 23. She's unbelievable. You look like Robin. a much used 23 by 23. <laughs> oh, oh, man. What's wrong with you? She's been around yeah, a lot. very cruel today. Yeah, it's just such a Before gentleman. you were married, did so you throw cute. it around a lot? Oh, yeah. Oof. She had a lot of sex. <laughs> yeah. Dice, you missed it. <laughs> yeah, Dice. Yeah. Did you have a lot of sex before you got married? Yeah, yeah. You really did? Oh, yeah. Yeah, lots of sex. Like, like anybody one famous? night stand type of stuff? Uh, no, usually like two or three nights. Yeah. Anybody famous? Oh, yeah. Like who? I don't want to tell. Oh. Well, see, you know, now I, I respect it. I missed out how it 
when I last, well, last time I was on the radio in L.A., I took over a show for the evening, you know, I was a mm-hmm. DJ, and I played a whole set of people I had slept with. Really? Oh, yeah. man. And so they yeah. were so pleased. Don't tell me who they were, but what was the set? <laughs> please, tell me. Oh, come on, Jim. Don't clean them up on me. It, Give me a please. Come on, just this come one. On, why why would you do that? Why would you come on, I love animals, too. Why would you bang and tell? No, nice. no, I didn't. Because if it's just, you know, a band and... You who was it? Say just who, tell me one group. Tell us the band. Actually, I said they were gentlemen friends. What group? All right, what are some of your gentlemen friends? Don't say sex. No. So, this doesn't mean you had sex with them. They were friends. No. Come on, just tell me two. No. Oh, come on, don't make me beg here. I'll come over there. Just tell us just the band. Too much like showing off. Just one. Just tell me one. Showing off like she's the only chick that could do it. Right. Stephen Stills? They all know how to show <laughs> off. David Crosby. Was it? No. Hard to get that out of her. <laughs> Gary Lewis? Gary Lewis and the Playboys? Oh, no. Come on, I'm not that old. Jose Feliciano? <laughs> Emma? <laughs> Richie Havens? <laughs> Julio Iglesias. Julio Iglesias? <laughs> Who did you have? Julio, Julio. Who did you have? No, Name one, just one. No! Oh. How it, Jesus. Tom Jesus, Jones. Life Was it Tom Jones? <laughs> John no. Travolta? No. No. Tony or Leto? No. <laughs> yeah, wait, who is that? Oh, from Guns N' Roses. Right. Yeah. Well, let me just tell you about it. She made like she didn't know. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Physician smoke stopping group. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. This is a medical way. approach. This is medical doctors, Robin, teaching you how to quit smoking, getting you to stop smoking, and they have an 85% success rate first time around. Why don't you try it, for God's sake? Nice just doesn't <laughs> want to admit he would like not to be addicted. Because he thinks his whole personality is that cigarette, and it's not. You're funny without the cigarette. Put yeah. out the cigarette. I don't feel like it. Go how ahead. Come? Make me. How Put come? it out now. Hey. Yeah. How come? Oh. It's Dalton. <laughs> how come if Dice is a character, Andrew smokes all the time? Yeah, explain that. <laughs> Dice is no character. I told you you're not a character. <laughs> well, what? Well, you know, was? people, they break my chops, you know. <laughs> who's Dice? Who's Let me tell you what happened with Dice. Who's in between? Yeah, right. Let me you tell know, you something about that. I'm over there. Over here. They get together and they curse. Let me tell you something about Dice. <laughs> I have talked to this guy extensively on the yeah. phone, several hours well, at a time. Well, we're personal friends. Right. Several hours at a the time. People, but he doesn't break character, so how There's could it be no a character? Other guy, huh? So when he was going on all these talks, he was saying he's a character. What, do I curse on the phone? Well, no. we don't curse on the radio. We, we don't that's what makes the character. You know he's a fake, he's a hot tub. <laughs> hot tub's a fake. Yeah. yeah. Where is he? Is he done? Oh. Is he being a baby? Bathroom. Pinching a loaf? Oh, oh, no. Physician smoke stopping group. A oh, medical yeah. approach to oh, quitting oh, smoking. <laughs> Locations in New York, New Jersey, if you are trying to quit smoking, what unlike they do? Dice. What did they do? When Dice is laying there in the cancer ward with the tubes up his nose, he'll go, You'll oh, be alive. Hey, you better, oh. Oh, give me a cigarette. No, you'll be, you'll be, uh, give me that number for position. You know what he'll be doing? He'll be putting his little finger over that hole so he can still get the cigarette. Over the, he'll be talking with that, 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 uh, with a cancer kazoo. Yeah. He'll be like, hello, oh, this is Dice. How are you? Not that I do. Wait a second, I don't understand. I don't understand what happened. My grandmother lived to 150. She smoked every day. You'll see. Well, women do live forever. You know that. Jane, did you like when I did that? Yeah. Okay. You realize how talented I am? Come over here. Come on over. Oh, what's the big problem? Let me deal. kiss your stomach. Come on over and let me kiss your stomach. Go ahead. What is the big deal? Oh, you're coming. Let's do a walk. Do a good walk. Come here. Do a good walk. Come on. Step right over here. Lady, I'm like. ready. I'll uh, ask. <laughs> Wait, I'm not done. Okay. Oh, come on. Well, how involved do you get on a stomach? <laughs> I didn't Wait, think you'd let me do it. <laughs> I hate belly looking. <laughs> let me try it again. Where are you going? Oh, That's what chicks do all the time. Ready? Belly look. Well, well, what's belly looking hey, about? Hey, be quiet. I don't know what that is. Hey, just you get a lot. <laughs> and then they got to suck your toes. You like that? What are you wearing? Yeah, I wish I had a boot on. You wearing a perfume? Yeah. What is it? Hey, they got to, like, do detail oh, work. No, Can I kiss your neck? All right, don't go away. Wait, need your stomach. What is wrong with you? All right, I'm just saying. Well, I'll hey, take over girl. the show. Hey, Dice, be quiet for a second. All right, just try it. <laughs> here we go. Dice, talk, Joe. Tell me what you feel when I do it. Talk and tell people what you feel when I do this. Ready? Right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my God. Yeah, I do that to my eight-month-old kid. What do you think? What do you feel? I don't, I'm nothing. I just felt weird. Let me kiss your neck. No. Tell me what you feel. 
Oh, please, come on. What is the big deal, Tim? Come on, honey. What, <laughs> what, is, what is the big deal? What is the big deal, Robin? Give him your oh, friggin' neck. You know, you're a married man. Why are you kidding me? Andy Demons and Delvin and Nell. Oh, that's not like cheating. Oh, yes, it is. And no, why told me anything about this is over this of a bug away. Isn't that a thing? Oh, they spell things phonetically for you? Yes. Does that hardly remember Weedland? He doesn't speak English. That Gary spells it. He doesn't know how to spell English. Go on, give her a kiss. Hey, come on, on your neck. On your neck. Come on. Please, come on. Right now. God, right, I can't believe the things I put up with. I'll just do the sound effect. Wow, you stink. Why do you smell good? Thank you. That's your shower. Hey, kiss it, Dice. Yeah, how do I make that? Good Dice, kiss your neck. I don't want to make out with it. Come on, smell on her. Father. What a stink on her. Oh, dear. It's fabulous. I love your smell. Thank you. Dice, kiss it. No, would you quit? Oh. You better let me kiss you again or I'll show a giant panda. <laughs> hey, Fred, kiss it. <laughs> it turns out to be a dead animal. Right. Dice's father. Go ahead, Fred. Well, kiss his stomach. Oh, kill Mom is not doing nothing, Mom. No business. Oh, we don't play you. You let Fred kiss you, or I'll have him kill a giraffe. Uh, and it's dangerous to me. My dad's not good enough for you anymore. I like your daddy's spirit. All right. Dog among the balls. Howard, let me give you a tip for the girls. Go ahead. Save more, because it's really, it hurts. Who cares if it hurts? Uh, oh. It didn't hurt me, I'll tell you that. Let me tell you, some of these hoes love it when you don't shave. Oh, That's oh, right. Then go Bronte Fred or I'll kill a dog. Go Bronte? But she's a lady. She, she wants the clean shave. You know. Oh. Jane, you're fabulous. Thanks, Howard. We still didn't read the commercial. This is what Dragon Crazy Let me give you the number for Physician Smoke Shop. It's got a style. That's what it's called. 212 794 212 794 Jane here. She loves animals. Dice is here. He loves his movie. Dice Rules, opening at uh, theaters this Friday. Soundtrack available. Mm -hmm. Jane brought by a little music she put Soundtrack's together. Soundtrack's doing very well. That will play. Is it? Yeah. How many units have you sold so far? Uh, yeah. How many units? Units. You're proud. 160,000 in three weeks. Wow. That's pretty hot. Jane, you ever been romantic with an animal? You love them so much? No. Oh. Would you ever get romantic? I, I, I already told you I never kiss and tell. Hey, let me tell you something. Yeah. But the way you love the, the animals, show that to shows it. me something about you. It shows you got some compassion. Great. You're a hell of a woman. Thank you, Howard. You're a hell of a man. Thank you. Robin, you want to finish up with some news? Are we sure the president is all right? We took an extra day at Camp David this weekend because he was tired. Oh, yeah. Let him rest. I just want to make You know, sure. the president's back in my act now. You know that? Is he? What do you yes, say about when him? When he went into the hospital, he said, you know, that he should be allowed to do his act and not be bothered. And and then what happened? Well, he didn't actually say my name. <laughs> right. You know, he like said, you know, the whole freedom of speech thing, like, right. what's wrong with you idiot? Exactly. You know, I, I want to get him something. What are you going to get him? Something nice, you know. Well, I let you... I'm the one that always, you know. Just hope you did it. Oh, stop it. Just yeah. over that whole five will get her over okay. there. She'll be like, oh! Hey, do you think Johnny Carson would be interested in him as a guest? He only has a thyroid condition. Well, you know, he's drinking that radioactive iodine. Yeah, that's that. Hey, <laughs> Johnny Carson might want to speak to him. <laughs> I hope someday I get cancer so I can go on the Tonight oh, Show. Oh, don't say things like that. Why not? It's the only way to get on. Come on. Johnny got a 10. Hey, you get cup magazine covers and everything. Yeah, Michael Lennon got on the cover of People. It's worth <laughs> it. I'll take a little cancer. Yeah, just something, something I can get beat, you know. Yeah. Like uterine cancer. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to make sure the president's okay. I did see that no, he he's took right. an extra day there. Him. You called him? I, I hope everybody hey, Bush is drinking. Queen is in town. Bush is drinking that nuclear medicine, Robin. Did you read that thing about her carrying a kid's skin toilet seat with her? The Queen. I didn't know it was kid's skin. skin. Are you upset about what that? What do you mean kid's skin? I think that's bizarre. What's kid's skin? Actually, Who's yeah, kid? and they are baby children. I don't, I don't know. Skin toilet seat she has to carry with her. Yeah, but that's the Queen's ass you're talking about. <laughs> kids are on. She can't sit on a wood or plastic seat. That's horrible, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I guess you couldn't sit on plastic. What, are you trying to get the kiss, uh, Jane? Against me like rat poison. What? No, I like that. I like that. Uh, <laughs> what do you? Oh, Jesus, yeah, i got to build up my show. <laughs> He's got to pick on you. Rat poison, write that down. Go ahead. The uh, Tylenol case has been settled already, Howard. Yesterday I asked you whose fault was it that uh, some maniac tampered with the Tylenol and put cyanide in it. Oh, that's up, Johnny. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the case is settled. They decided not to go to court and fight it out. Crazy. How much uh, money? They won't say. It's a sort of seal. They seal the uh, Let me ask you guys a question. Settlement. Yeah. Don't you think 
it's not the fault of Tylenol that some imbecile is going around tainting the Tylenol? Why is it their responsibility? Why is it always Tylenol, too? Right. Yeah, so it, that happened Why years ago. Why is it ago, Bayer you know? or Buffer? Maybe it's a competing company. That's true. Shut right? up when I'm talking. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> Big man. <laughs> oh, now you got an argument going. Uh, no, now you're five minutes while having a fun. Oh, now she's going to... And then she's going to open up a trap. When, when I'm talking... You're trying to say and something. And then she's, she's into it, you're hit. I mean, I'm over here. You. you hear? I hear you. And then you back it up with, why is it always trying to chew? Like, you want somebody to poison bear now. <laughs> right. Now yeah, you some idiot. Yeah, why are you making yeah. I'll be the bear killer. <laughs> you know, that really is kind of a dopey statement. <laughs> <laughs> you got to admit that. Oh, uh, dumb like... <laughs> <laughs> no, she's not that dumb. Uh, she's cute and, and smart. She's she cute. makes a good so what, point. What are you going to say, Mr. Clay? Well, you don't poison anything. Right. Unless it's like your girlfriend's dinner. <laughs> you know, then you're hurting the one you love. That's all right. Uh, well, you always do. Who, me? I mean, in general, people always do. Why, have so you been hurt say, a lot? Oh, you always hurt you. You think Jed'll hurt you? Yeah. Jed's a very lucky man. Damn yeah, right he is. Sounds like a real idiot. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know how to I mean, do that. I mean, how can you lay there? Oh, Jed. Give it to me, you know. <laughs> right, right. You know, do you have, like, you know, do you what, have... What, dice is easier? Yeah. Oh, dice. Come on, dice, slam it in there. <laughs> Come on, bang it out. Come on. Come on, rip me to shred. I think you know, oh, uh, uh, Jed, Jed, it's... It, that's the thing with guys, you know, guys are too macho. They're always like, uh... But you don't know, you Jed. Know, you know, he didn't name like, himself. Um, you know, guys always think they, like, hurt the chick. You ever notice that? Right, right. You know, it's like, are you okay? I always, yeah, right, are you okay? Yeah, they think they're recovering pretty good. Triplets fall out of there. 20-pound triplets fall out of there, and guys think they're doing damage. Yeah. I know, because sometimes my wife will grunt, I'll go, yeah, are you all right? Well, right. You know, that's the thing she gives you the show. Right. You know, that's the show. that thing. Chain you put on a show. You know, they start in the G-spot. The, 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 my whole freaking arm's in there. There's no G-spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because sometimes they make, like, maybe it ain't big enough. Oh, I, you know, I got everything in there ready, you know? <laughs> is that true, Jane? There, you got there a G -spot. is no G-spot. There's no G-spot. Yeah. There's nothing. Yeah. Robin, you got a G-spot? I don't know what that is. Black women have G-spots. Oh, oh, come on. Well, yeah, we're women different. have a sensuality. We're different. What are you saying? Their ankles are weak and, and they have G-spots? And warm that no white chick could even We're approach. different. You're right, nice. Okay. Uh -huh. What are you, what are you running for the head of, of CORE or NAACP? Well, I'm telling you, you know, this is in my studies. This is what I have found. Robin, let's finish up the news here. Madonna's truth or dare opened big, Howard. Wow, more money for her, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, well, before Dice Rule comes out and changes the lineup. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. That's good. Did you see it? I thought, uh, yeah, the Madonna. I wouldn't go see it. Why? Because I think it's stupid. Because I don't think she's doing anything so outrageous. Oh, she's running around. I'm so outrageous. What's so outrageous? What, she pee in the shower? What, you go to see her be outrageous or you just go to the movie? That's I'm not going to that. I don't think it's so outrageous. All she's what? doing is trying to shock what? people. What, you think that What's so outrageous? What did she do? Talk to Sandra Bernhardt about some Wait lesbianism? Did you think that was shocking, that movie? No, I didn't think it was shocking at all. Maybe I oh, didn't think that What, to see what? She, she forces two guys to kiss? What do I have to see that she for? She didn't do that. She didn't force anything. The yes. press has made it sensational. Yeah. I'm not, not going. Baby cake. You ever go with a chick? Yeah, all the time. No, oh, this is just oh, yeah. No, yeah, all the time. Did you, you ever go with a girl? Either, right? You actually made it with another girl? Did you ever make it with a girl? Yeah. Lot. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Why, why would you do that? Just to check it out. Which is better? Mm. Which, Which is better? Is what do you think, Robin? I've never done it with so a woman. Well, you know, <laughs> is it better with a woman? Nah. No, it's not better. You did it with but... another woman? Oh, yeah, a lot of times. What do you do? Yeah. Does Jed get to watch? <laughs> no, no, no. Come here. No. Come over here again. Now I realize I was too delicate with you. All of a sudden, I'm just kissing her. I've got pins and needles in my foot already. With Come on over here. Oh, no, it's goodness. Just, it's getting old. Get back. What? Over here. When was the last time you did it? Well, you know, years ago when I was wild and young. Really? Yeah. That turns you on. Is more than one girl? Oh, yeah, a lot. my dad that always asked me about this. You know, pig pen pilot. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, is that great? Oh, what I would pay to see that. But, getting... <laughs> Guys, does that turn you on? have a lot of that. Are you getting around? Huh? Are you getting around? No. No, but... I am. 
Well, I mean, anyway, you're saying so Madonna's got yeah. the biggest film? Well, no, it just opened in New York and Los Angeles last so weekend. It opened right? this weekend in uh, the rest right. of the country, but it broke records in those two cities. Wow. Why isn't it in all the other cities, Robert? Well, they, you know, sometimes they have a limited, limited release, and then they go... Why would they limit something like that? That's what because they're doing they with mine. Really? They yeah. just down the coast. What, where is yours limited to? Uh, they do just a certain amount of screens. Rather than, like, opening in two yeah, but then you can't announce like you made $10 million the first weekend. And you can't well, be uh, you can in the top five. announce that it made a screen, and that's the important thing. Okay. Well, I know like about it. Every show is sold out. I don't know anything about the film industry, so I, that's out of my area. I'm a big star in television I, and radio. I try to make a movie star. I'm going to keep pushing for that. Guys, right. I'm going to do it. Don't worry. You wait and see. Let uh, me just tell you what the I'm lineup of number one films was. Good idea. Yeah, because please. I see it. You see me as a big movie star. To be or not to be. I'll talk to you. They can talk okay. to each other. Go ahead. FX2 is number one. FX2 is no good, I hear. Did yeah, you see it? I haven't seen it. Reviews. Yeah. Reviews. Hey, sometimes reviewers are wrong, you know. I guess. Switch with Ellen Barkin is number two. Now, that's I thought terrible. that was terrible. You told me that sucked. I won't go see it. I'm friends with Ellen. That's one of my Hollywood friends. You know him? Oh, yeah. Really? You know celebrities? Who else do you know? Tell us who you slept uh, with. Uh, no, not sleep, but I'm just friendly with Ellen. I meant... I meant you know, Jane, if you would disclose, oh, then you could tell her more celebrities. Hawkins a hot number. Did you do her? Hey, Howard, no. tell him how you don't she think got a she's sexy. I don't think she's hot. She's married. She's got a bad face because she ran into a wall. She's married. You know who her husband Gabriel Burns. Looks yeah. like she did the 100-yard dash. That guy, huh? he, he, he's got the man I want. <laughs> Never mind. Everybody's having a different conversation. I, know. Well, well, I can't get a word in. <laughs> well, Swiss, you don't like me, no. <laughs> All right, I don't know what's I going on. my whole Let's life, I turned into a black man, two. and now Quivers don't even But thanks, you got to let everyone talk a little. Frick it, I'm going Puerto Rican. That was Oscar, the Stallone a film. And a, and, a, and a hubcap the minute I leave One good place. cop with Michael Keaton. That sounds like it's bad. And the Silence of the Lambs. Well, he's method. That was good, Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. That Still making strong. money. That was strong. I can't take my eyes off That was a low-key movie. No offense to anybody in the room, but... I'm not going to stare at Dyson. There are a lot of people in the room today. What room? It's kind of white, though, you know? I love that. I love no, no, the no. Robin, I love the skype that you hear. I know my how it told me too many times. Oh, my hip. Ah. Got to go with a real tub. How tall are you, Dyson? Oh, yeah, Dyson. Like, that's what you're with. Yeah, we see what you're with. Oh, well, Trini, Trini ain't really cute. Trini ain't black and she ain't fat. Yeah, well, what am I going to do? <laughs> 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 if you're a model, if you're a girlfriend, a model. No, she ain't a model. She's a model. She I see the oh, picture no, of her. No, no. Not my chick. I, I didn't get my chick out you there. You see, Ed Begley Jr. <laughs> right here. Ed Begley Jr. is marrying a penthouse right fat. Right in New York. Ain't going out with no uh, dimwit actress. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that rides a bike around, right? Yeah, Mr. Bicycle. Ed Begley did every... Uh, at every function ever. Right. He's yeah. one of those guys. Yeah. Well, that's how she He's met like him. in pet shows. Oh, and there was Ed Bagley. <laughs> <laughs> pet shows. With his bird. Robin, anything else? Ed oh, Begley. I'm looking, I'm looking. What you about the Winnie talking. thing? What? Oh, we talked about that already. Oh, what thing? The Winnie Mandela Winnie. thing. Yeah, we talked about her. What is all that about? Thank God they're locking you her up. You go to South Africa and investigate. I mean, Robin, like, you're... Yeah. you're <laughs> I mean, you're you got all our black thin, people mad. But, but you got some meat to you, right? What? Oh. You're pretty thin. I'm okay. You got some meat I'm okay. You, you got some meat to you. Yeah, she got meat to her. Yeah, right. That's your. Yeah, she has meat to her. You, know? yeah. to her. you can feel that, you know. <laughs> you know that amp. You know. What? What? Slap. You know what I mean? <laughs> <You. laughs> I like to put an amplifier, like a microphone, um, when when I'm doing that. So kids outside go, oh, there goes Dice. And you know, gage, 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 you know. <laughs> hey, Jane. Jane, uh, you, you're pretty oh, wild yourself. I want it. <laughs> hey, me and Robin get along, see? <laughs> All right. This one don't want to know from me, you know. All right, listen, we got to go. Where? We got to leave because I got to go to a meeting. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, I just want to remind everybody to watch the Donahue show today. We'll find out which is better, making love to a man or a woman. Well, Jane won't tell us. <laughs> you know, all those shows, Yeah, every one of them do the same show over and over again. I know, it's unbelievable. Oprah yeah. does it, then Phil does it. Or Phil does it, then Oprah does it. Now, Oprah's a chick. You like her. Mm. There's a woman with a little meat on her. <laughs> How bad must she smell? Oh, stop that. Oh, she don't oh, smell Oprah. Why do you Why? smell Not that I know. Oh, she's fat. She's got the folds. Hey, babe. With the cheese. Is she fat again? Yeah. I really got to keep up. I think she's got a beard. I think oh, she'll never yeah. go on a diet again, and you see that I respect. Well, you respect I mean, that. Why? You wouldn't sleep with Oprah? No. 
No way. Please. I don't think I could get aroused for Oprah. Oh, <laughs> uh, come on. You're kidding me. <laughs> no way. You're kidding me. She's but Jane, awesome I can be aroused. Bank account. When she was skinny, did you think she was cute? Oh. You shaved, Jane? No, see, that see that depressed me when she lost weight. <laughs> really? The minute she pumped up again, I was there. You see, I know you're lying, so I ain't listening to that. Yeah, I don't know why Dad, he tells you. Don't I like the big and sassy? The big and fatter, the better. Where's the picture of your girl? <laughs> I, I don't have one on me. Come on. Oh, she's heavier than you. Well, that's not saying much. I only weigh 95 pounds. Well, I'll follow you, Jane. Five feet. I love that. Yeah. Well, no, you couldn't be seen out in public. No, but I would not just, I would just have her in my bedroom, and I would have sex with her a lot, but I would never be seen oh, with her. Oh, I see. Too small. Many girls just look good when they're dressed like this. That's it. Yeah. You know. Go no, ahead. I've seen her in other outfits. Give me on just regular, normal. No, no, your bra. Your You're very skinny. Can you come over here and take off your bra? Come on, lose weight. the bra. Come on. No. Do me a favor. No. Take come your on. pants off. All right. Yeah, but you're the chick with the boobs. You follow me? <laughs> All right, listen. Let's yeah. uh, round this thing up. Anything else, Robin? <laughs> Can I tell you I'm a Robert right. Wagner? Nothing else. Guys, rules open. I really like John. Uh, the thief thing is Alexander Monday. All right, I'll do the plug. Guys, right, rules open to theaters this Friday. I know. It's Friday. track available. Uncut, uncensored, unbelievable. Jane Wheedland, any uh, plans for solo album, Jane? Not and right now. No. Michael Wheels Parisi at Pasquale and Wong. Jane Wheedland, who cares about animals, took her clothes off at the Oscar de la Renta fur show. Is that it? Oscar de la Renta? Mm hmm. And, uh, hey, you, you struck a blow for animal rights. Yahoo. How about caring about some people once in a while? Yeah. Jackie Penhouse, Joke Page, Mark. You know what? I kills me. Hey, you guys into that dog? Some dog got hit by a subway train. The people suing over it. Well, what does she think about the guy who was using his dog as a weapon? What? Yeah, what, what about that, that guy? It was a robbery. Yeah, what about him? Yeah. On Long Island over the You're weekend. funny. Where this guy was just having his dog attack his victims. Yeah. Oh now, him enough. Now the dog's in jail. I hear you. Oh, no. Jackie Penthouse, Joke Page Martling, tomorrow Poor night. Doggy. At Rascals by the Shore in Ocean Township, New Jersey. For information, dial 516-922-Y. Next Thursday, May 23rd, it's Zodiac in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Go try and stump the joke man. Don't forget Boy Gary this Saturday night at the Supercross Absolutely. Motorcycle Championships at Giant Stadium. Stadium, the only Supercross event in the Northeast in 1991. And find out how to order Josie Sang tapes and T-shirts by calling the Josie Sang hotline at 516-826-SANG. Don't put that code on yet. Go see Scott. Uh, Jane, don't you put your shirt on yet. <laughs> Go see Scott the Engineer Friday and Saturday night at Jib Lane's Rock and Ball. And if you need a mobile DJ, call Rockin' Entertainment at 718 Bag 5040. Jane will be nude wherever there are furs. She's doing Go this. see her. I'm getting out of here. He's going to do this. Look for her. Yeah. Wherever there are furs. <laughs> and what is it? What? Are you still on? Anybody else want to say anything? Yeah, we want to say hello to Al uh, at the Fantasy Cut on the Avenue T. I'll yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, I want to thank uh, Fred for coming in, Dice's TK, father. The door, TK. Yeah. Very nice meeting you, Fred. You're a good man. Believe me, watch out for your boy. I like that. Fully at the plaza. Yeah. Dice, always yeah. good to see you, Jane. Fully. I love you. I really care about you. You and your big animal friend there. What? The next time they'll be French kissing. It could be I'm the best, too. Yeah. Oh, tell her I said hi. Well, I said hi. I keep getting all those wacky uh, women up here with the anti-fur stuff. Furbies, I like that. I love you. Bye, bye Jane. And she's just leaving. Goodbye. Yeah, she ain't going anywhere. She went the wrong way, Robin. <laughs> she's locked in the... Bye, Jane. She's at my door. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave you with a song. I was going to tell you a story about MC Hammer, but I can't find it. Well, where's my song? What do you mean? You song? Where is my song? song? Where is your song? It's on the album. Is that it? Is what it? No, that's not Dice. No, you give me Dice's album. DK, get the door. No, can I tell you about this woman who's uh? You I never even heard the song. Did MC you? Hammer. Yeah. Because one, you know, she was in his troop, and one night she went to sleep, and she woke up, and there were all these guys in her room, and a couple of them were related to MC Hammer. Yeah. And because she was afraid of what they might do, she okay. allowed them to have sex with her. Welcome, bad boys. Last thing. Wow. And You're now kidding. she's suing. Uh, everybody's suing. I wish I could sue somebody. Well, I got nobody you, to sue. If you sleep in the room where empty hammer people are, maybe you'll have one. What track is it? The last one, Brooklyn Bad Boys. All right, track 40. Gotcha. Song dedicated. Hey, don't forget about us, all right? Don't forget? Who are you talking to? Dice. Oh. And he goes off to Hollywood. He forgets, and then he goes on Arsenio. Don't I call you? He does yeah. that. He does the Dean show. Hey, you Why do Rick Dean, but you don't do Why? my TV Why show. That hurts. talking to him? Well, uh, listen, uh, everybody's got a right to do what show they want. But Am I here? Rick D. Am I here? Yeah, I do. I love her. I 
don't we do better talking to each other? Rick Here. D. <laughs> what about Rick? You like Rick? You should do it with me. Oh, no way. Oh, okay, I'll do it with you. Oh, there? no. Yeah, I'll come on oh. with you. You're coming this week. Oh, I'll come on there with you. You want to come out You're there? You're going on that show this week? Yeah, Friday. Why do you like that show? Oh, he's a very pleasant young man. I don't get it. He's so bad. There's no way you should be doing this. Hey, Fred. Well, that's the beauty of Rick. Should he be doing Rick? Fred? Yes. Why? I'm not? We're all different vibe. You and Rick are no competition. It's I know. I see you though. I see you as a dick. Anyway, let me just say they raised four million dollars in the Kurd. Hey, forget about that. Concert. Let's hear the song. Hey, well, I've been saying something. <laughs> four million dollars for Kurd. For the Kurdles. All right. Yeah. Terrific. For Kurdles. Only a hundred seventy-eight thousand. Stop that. <laughs> Only a hundred seventy-eight thousand came from the U.S. How much? Yeah, we're really it's not right. a bunch of people that'll come here wearing laundry on the head. All right, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> now personally, I don't know if he ever said a fucking word about me. Yeah, well, I got the names of a few lawyers who ought to be shot. Yeah, me too. But uh, I, I never. Heard. Hey, it's <laughs> Dice. Jeez. What is this? Hey, man. How you, how you doing? doing? Look at the hair. What's going on, man? Dice, you look. You look different. I told you when I'm done, I'll be here. Well, he's here. I just got finished. Oh, well, I'm Here's just Dice. calling That's him alone on it. <laughs> <laughs> you better stop bad rapping him, Robin. Sure. Hey, we got to go. Dice is here. Okay, Howard, one thing before you go. What? I just want to tell you, just for the future, if I ever have a chance to, to call you again, I used to double date with David Brenner. Yeah. I had some very interesting information on him from way back. <laughs> when did his pantyhose come out? <laughs> he, he used to date my roommate, and it was very interesting. This was back right before he got onto Carson and after his first shot on Carson. Hey, oh, Dice really? is, Dice is yeah. raping Leslie as we speak. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to call her or me. We'd love to give you some All right, well, I'll put you on hold. Gary will get Maybe you Maybe we'll have a reunion one of these. Yeah, hold on. She'll, she'll faint. She'll be so embarrassed. Hold on. Okay. Well, Leslie West and Dice Clay in the studio. Wow. When it rains, it pours. What? It's very exciting. <laughs> All right, let me take a break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, the first time I met him was wait, he was impressed with Joe Franco's teeth. We're it's still on the air. We're still on the air, Leslie. We're waiting for Ooh. Fred to get the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> the classic rock station, 92.3. Hey, about the power note. Hey, what is this? Because, you know, me, I'm a different way like that. Hey, we're on the yeah. air. Oh, wait. <laughs> They're moving closer. Here, Les, come on down a little bit. Dice, get over here so I can see your face. All right. He looks great, man. Man. That image is clean. I can see you. Anyway, let me just tell you about the power note. Test. <laughs> Test. Johnny, I'm at the Stern Show. Brother, so don't bother calling the house. Brother, the people who brought you P-Touch, anti-curl faxes, and the most innovative word processor now introduces Power Note. Wait, 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 wait. We're still going to do what we got to do today. You know, I just had to come here for a few minutes. Wait, wait a second. What do you mean? Let me just get through this. Oh, okay. All right. Hey. The first truly usable notebook work organizer. First of all, for those of you who don't own a laptop computer or have no intention of buying a computer because they're too difficult to use, but you need the full function word processing, a complete organizer, a calendar and scheduler, the ability to create spreadsheets and send outgoing faxes, Brother presents Power Note. You got a Power Note, right, Dice? No, I, I wouldn't know a Power Note if it hit me in the ass. <laughs> Don't you take your power note and smack Johnny over the head with it? Yes, I do. <laughs> all right. If it's going to help your show, all right. <laughs> all right. That's what it's good for. This <laughs> easy-to-use portable notebook size work organizer weighs under five pounds, easily fits into a briefcase, yet it has a full-size keyboard, backlit LCD display with a standard three-and-a-half-inch disk drive. It really is amazing. It really is great. It's not a computer. Do you understand? Yeah, it's my dad will buy it. Leslie, you know what this is. Yeah, I got one, but it's not that. No, it's a brother power note, and it's under $500, and it gives all the... Just calm down, Leslie. And Leslie, you don't have to use... You know how hard computers are to work? This you can work in 15 minutes. It's called the Brother Power Note. It's available at Staples. Nobody beats the Wiz J in our music world. And Tops. Still trying to figure out how to use a phone. Stop supplying city. You folly? I hear you. I bought the wrong one. Yeah, that, that, thing's, that thing sucks that you got. But it's a printer. He's the yeah, size of that's the printer? a printer, but it doesn't have a keyboard. Yes, oh, it's oh yeah, thing. it does. You can't type on that. Uh, I don't type. I can't type. You can't type. But I mean, you can't even see the letters on that. This is a full-size keyboard, the Brother Power Note. How it, if it was full size, it wouldn't do me any good. I can't yes, see. But you could. But you can't see that at all. Look, forget. It. You uh, can't you see the it? commercial. How far are you going to push it? How much did that cost you? What's the difference? Yeah, exactly. A lot more. Than That's the power right. Note. And the power note's a hundred times better. That's a lot more too. You got to see the brother power note. Hey, Dice just dropped by. Yeah. Leslie West is here. What I'm a very surprise! Excited. It's like a Merv Griffin show from hell. It's like. Uh, <laughs> did West play it all? Not, Not yet. yet. We were Not still yet. doing the news. That's a build-up thing. So where the hell have you been? 
I, uh, I've been around town, hanging around, walking around, you know. He was putting together an HBO special. Is that right? I get a yeah, message from me on my machine. Howard, I want to use you in the HBO special. I want to tape at your show. Then you don't call back. Well, I don't I know where you're You staying. were at the show. You were taping your TV show, so yeah. it was too late. It really was too late. You know, I do things on, on short notice. Yeah. I just wanted to come in here with a camera and shoot you for a few minutes. Yeah, but who can get in touch with you? Well, I, I was out in Jersey. But how uh, do I know that? <laughs> well, this is what I'm saying. I spoke to your wife. I gave her the information. You didn't give her your phone number. Well, I was at a hotel, and I was going to the show. Yeah. And she said you were at your show, so it was like, eh, forget about it. It wouldn't have happened anyway, yeah. is that what you're saying? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. We were going to film you, too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to be on it anyway. That's your special. Well, you know, it was like a thing. You know, I, you know. Oh, come well, on. Well, you don't have to do anything I like that. I still feel bad special. about the That's movie special, thing, man. and I said, all right, well, well I don't want to be in that movie. Well, the movie's over, so I figured, all right, now right. we're doing a special. I know. You hear? I hear you. How? You hear? I hear you. I have a confession, though. I did tell Howard you wouldn't be in here until uh, we had decisively beat Mark and Brian. Yeah, you were really on the fence. <laughs> no, no, no. Because Dice was like, hey, Howard. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, you, Look. What? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's on the fence. This guy digs you, man. No, I know. But no, but seriously, Dice. On the fence. Dice got a call from Mark and Brian. <laughs> that's just a tight. Look, you that's say your Mark and Brian suck? You know, I, you I got a fight. Suck? I gotta fight the rest of the world. You say Mark and Brian suck? You gotta say they suck. That's, no, your, let's hear you that's say your fight. For me, you say it. Hey, look. <laughs> anybody. You're not I, a big I pussy, you are you? <laughs> no, I'm not a pussy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Thanks. man. See, I knew you were gonna pull this, too, you know, but that's your battle. That's right. See, I gotta fight every comic on the universe. All right. So you fight every DJ. All right. You know? Okay. And we'll win them all. All right. We'll take them all down over so there. So you like those guys? <laughs> Do I like them? I think they're cool guys. Is it fun to do their show? I'm not here to be interviewed do about Mark and Brian. <laughs> yes, you are. I'm not here to be. <laughs> hey, what are you going to you, gonna break balls them. over here with this? <laughs> All right, then you say. I come over here to talk to you, to visit. <laughs> right. Before, you know, like a pre Christmas thing. Right. I, you know, I, I would speak to you on the phone. I say, well, how? Right. How? You here? Yeah. I'm going to get down there before, uh, you know. But you've you know, got to admit those guys are bad for your image when you go on two pussy boy stations. <laughs> well, maybe that's bad are, for your image. Two you guys know. who are busy almost humping each other in their promotional Thank things. You. Thank who you. Who flunk their television show. Well, well, well what's going on rating-wise? Tell me. You tell me. I, I don't know. I've been in New you York. You checked it before you came I'm, in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always checking he's ratings. Got those, he's got the, he got, the, he got the print like, out. <laughs> what, Mark and Brian or is it you that's 96? It must be Mark and Brian. Right. <laughs> They didn't put sweet and low in here. You know, I gave a direct order. Did you? Yeah, but I'm going to let it go. Yeah, buddy. You know, there's enough going on in the world today. Yeah, there's some sweet and low. Jackie has sweet and low. But, uh, no, you know, I listen to you out there. I listen to you here. Thank you. You know what I mean? Yeah, I appreciate that. I think that. the show's cooking out there. I think people dig it. You know, I'm just always worried about your image. I don't want to see you going on some show that my image. really is lame. <laughs> I don't even know what my image is anymore. You know what we I'm saying? We know your image. What is it? Don't change you your image. Can you explain it? Because what's the deal? You're changing your act? Well, I, I change material. Just be dice. Well, the show's done. It is dice. It is? I heard it was good. Someone yeah, told me it was I, good. I got bored with bashing the chicks. Now I bash the guys. You know, it's got to be equal play. But, so you, your new act is you bash the guys? You know, it's guy? like, uh, like here, Leslie's got, what do you got, red hair? <laughs> you know, we're, not, we're, not, we're, not, we're not sure. I'm 46 now. You know, it's time to, it's starting to turn like out. I'll pick now. on guys with red hair. Right. Because that like I like a chick with red hair. Right. Because to me that's sexy. But a guy with like red, it's like, well, what are you banging? The cover of Mad Magazine? That type of thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So in other words, you don't want to get up. But seriously, it was kind of weird that we didn't hear from you when we first went to California. And those guys did call you and said that you, they called your agent and said that you should not go on my show. Yeah, they, they didn't want me doing the show while I was in L.A. And so I never I figured, said, all right, never when I come to, you, to New York, that's my turf there. I've never you said to you. I've never you said understand to you. that, right, Jackie? But you have, I, good. have I ever said to you don't do another show? What's that? No, you never did. No, you don't I never care. will. You know, I mean, I... I never will. I always say, if an do artist wants to do, do will you do what you got to do to make your career work? If you, but... I will always recommend you go on some pussy boy station. <laughs> <laughs> like a big pussy boy. <laughs> That's Can all I, I'm going to say, know, right, I Leslie? Show them and I say I uh, agree. A half foul word over there, you know, and he's a pussy boy and this. And <laughs> you that. just want to see him make it look like a pussy boy. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. You can say pussy boy. You can't. Is this the conversation on the phone when you guys speak to each other? No, we have these long conversations. Yeah, they're like almost intellectual. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. And then you come and do this. I know. 
How did Hot Tub Johnny advise you? What shows does he tell you to do? John, Johnny's... What's Johnny's you know, feeling? Where did well, Johnny right stand now, on Johnny's this? going through a whole thing. He can't think. He's got a nauseous ball. You know, <laughs> I, I told you about that whole thing. Yeah. yeah, I know. Right now, he's sitting on his toilet, filled with ice. Yeah. You know, because his ball swelled up, and oh, he can't figure out what it is. Oh, <laughs> well, he's yeah. I told you about yeah, that. but I don't know we want to talk about that. Penis, I don't know I want to talk about that. With the pouch. <laughs> I told you. Yeah. But what I'm saying is... You ever meet a guy with a pouch in his penis? I mean, that's that's kind of, you know... I had my own problem. Yeah. <laughs> Leslie had his own problem. And a fist yellow man sort of a yeah. pouch. Leslie, should I tell you a story? Which one? The one about how you thought you were dying? Just a good yeah, go story. Yeah. Leslie called me, Let's right? Yeah. Listen to this. Leslie called me and said... Something's wrong. I'm losing tons of weight, but I'm not. It's not like I'm changing my eating or anything. I feel sick. I'm nauseous. Well, I didn't tell you that. I told you I hadn't seen my mom in a while. Right. And she saw me. Right. And she said, "You look good." Now she doesn't. Oh, that's me what too mothers often. always say. Well, I lost 100 pounds in five or six years, and I thought, well, wait a minute. No. It's got to be from the diabetes because I had complications from right. it. Right. So. Every night I'm saying to my wife, what do you think this is? I got a headache. Do you yeah. think this could be? She says, go to the damn doctor, take the test. AIDS no, test. I'm not taking the test. Oh, really? Yeah, Leslie was afraid he had AIDS. I didn't want to take the test. Me and my brother decided we don't want to know. Right. So after a month of every night, I would say, well, what do you think about this? I got a, a little pain in my leg. Yeah, what is So this? Leslie got so crazed, he went and had the AIDS test. Wow. But I told and the doctor. you know doctor, what they found out? Wait, let me say it. Let no, don't just take an aspirin. <laughs> what? Before I went to Japan, I said, I don't want to know till I come back. I thought this was the memorial vacation. Right. I'm planning how I'm going to tell you. <laughs> right. So I called the doctor up the day before I'm leaving because I needed a prescription. Go ahead. And I forgot to give him a, a number on the bar. So I called back and she says, oh, by the way, your test came. And I said, no. I didn't want it. She says, it's negative. Great. It's negative. I started tell him what you had. I had Lyme disease for seven months. Oh, God. A tick bit him. What seven live? months. Up he lives in West Chester. Up in Westchester. That's where they got all the Lime ticks. Lime country. Uh. Seven months. I, mean, I thought it was like just 80. me, I should get a mort. That's unbelievable. Uh. <laughs> but thank God. And everybody... But guys, what about you? Will you have the AIDS test? No. No reason for it. No reason for it. No. You've been living clean. Yeah. I disagree. I think there's a reason for every guy to do it. Now that I'm... Hey, but, but Dice was saying he's in that stuff. Yeah, I mean, Now you know. I can feel real courageous. But wait, D Dice Unless my chick is out there banging around. Well, how do we know? Or... That's a, I, that hey, you don't know my chick. Oh, okay. She's very loyal to you. Mm -hmm. But what about before you? Fifteen years this thing can go back. Yeah, well, it didn't. <laughs> oh, doctor, okay, thank you. Well, he's right, though. Not... At least you know that when they do take the test, they take that special uh, thing the two Go ass. preach in the street. Do me a favor. <laughs> well, what is with this, Dice? You, hey, you go to a doctor, old doctor, whatever's wrong with you, they go, it's either stress or gas. Right. right. Or you walk into an emergency room. <laughs> yes. You walk into an emergency room, your heart's pounding, there's intense pain, they go, uh, take an Alka-Seltzer. Right. They never read The greatest cure in the world, Alka-Seltzer. Well, Dice coming out against the AIDS test. And medical doctors. Well, it's not against it. Doctor. If you're out there, you know. I'd rather ignore it. Hey, I wouldn't rather. If you're out there drilling holes every night, you know, go I take a you. test. Because I said to Dice, every woman we meet says she's had sex with yeah, Dice. Yeah, what is that all about? Because we know tons well, of women you know, who say they want to have sex with, with me? That's what you got to think about. Well, you're, you know, you're a good looking guy. I got the looks, I got the charm, right. I got the moves. All right. You yeah. know what I mean? The schwanz. I know what to say <laughs> to them in a bar, you know. I come over, hey, how you doing, baby? Uh, right. You got all the moves. buy a drink, a screaming orgasm. Oh, you know, I know. All right, let me take a break. I'll, I'll explain the rules of broadcasting to everybody. <laughs> you can say pussy. All right, okay, okay. We'll be back right after these words. Bungie <laughs> song, music marathon. Dyson Leslie could yeah. sing. Can you, guys know, close to you guys know the uh, single odium? No. What? When I see a great Christmas gift, Gary, get in here and set up the single oh, audio. Is that the karaoke thing? Karaoke. Karaoke. Ten minutes and they're doing commercials. All I have there. What? Uh, uh, nothing. I say nothing. You know. I gotta right. do commercials. All right? all right. So do it. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hey, I gotta do commercials. All right. Do it. You could eat commercial. Stuttering to eat your dice. Where's Gary with the single audio? He's singing a audio. He's probably busy, you know, he's working. You gave him a project to do today. Yeah, it's oh, time him up. He oh, here he is. What Charlie! Is they took my thumb! I love that. Are we on the air? Yeah. Oh, oh no. Get the single odium. Happy birthday, Butch. <laughs> he just comes on here to do personal messages. <laughs> I don't even know who Butch is. <laughs> There's got to be a Butch out That's there. the name that comes to me. All right, turn this off for a second. Is it really Butch's birthday? <laughs> All right, Dice. Well, you know, we always are we on Leslie. the air yet? We know Leslie can sing. Butch, where are you? At the Patagets? What song where? do you want to do? Spinning Wheel? Oh, no. Peace of My Heart? <laughs> Johnny Be Good? 
Nowhere, man. Johnny queen, B. Good's queen, a, queen. Johnny B. Good's a good one. All right. You know the words? Do I know the words? I'll give you the words. We got there. Give me the words. Me the words. This right. is what's great about the single. See how we're having fun? This is how you could have fun. Well, I'm a professional singer. I know the words to nothing. That's a great uh, gift, man. Now, give me this. Give me this. Yeah. Let me see. Now, wait. Wait for the music. Oh, I got to sing to this. <laughs> okay, here. Here's his microphone. This is, And we can put echo on you and equalizer because the single Odeon has. All right. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What about. I should walk over there? No, no, you got yes. it. You don't need it to walk over. Well. Whoa. Mic Hold on. Well, 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 that's too fast. What do you want, idiot? <laughs> At the right speed? <clears throat> Real idiots he's got here. Come on, Gary. Don't don't make nice think you're an idiot. No, that's not the beginning of the song. Yes, it is. That's not, that's not it. It's got to be now. Close enough. Well, i got to pick the words. Come on, here we go. Come on, here we go. There you are. What's that word? Louisiana? <laughs> No, no, it's supposed to be without the... It is, it is. I'm just giving you a place in the song. All right, let me... Never learned that one. But he can play the guitar. Just a ring of bell. I said, go. Go, Johnny, go, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Go, Johnny, go, go. Hey, man. Johnny, be good. Why don't you Thank pick you up a single loadie and if you want to be like that? You like that, don't you? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. I ain't get my I warm up my voice. You got to understand. <laughs> Available at consumers. Yeah, I do a lot of singing in my new special. I got to prove it. Well, like the Willie Manoy thing. Hot Tub Johnny just drove into a tree. Bring up the pot. Explore. You got to neutralize your body. You've got to neutralize your mind. Oh, your mind? Oh, all you have. Very important too. Working out is important, and uh, in fact, they counsel you over Nutrisystem. Well, that's why Nutrisystem is a complete program. Absolutely, Robin. I, I don't know if that's working out. Now you work out, right, Robin? Yeah. Where's the pad again? Go get it. Here he goes again. <laughs> Nutrisize now for a complimentary consultation at Nutrisystem. Call one eight hundred three two one thin. And the secret is they make all the food for you. You're never hungry. I like that. Yeah, you get your desserts, that. you get your pancakes, you get uh, waffles with syrup, and you lose the weight easily. Yeah. That's a good way to lose weight. one 800 321 Thank you. Sitting here with Andrew Dice Clay, the Dice Man. Did you do Snapple yet? Not yet. We're getting to that. Because yeah, that's my fave. But, um... I'm a Snapple freak. Dice got an a a HBO special that will be on the air in February. Okay. It's a brand new one. For ladies only, it's called. For ladies only. Can I listen to that? And then New Year's Eve, you're playing Rascals. Yeah. And you'll two be doing... Two shows of Rascals. Two shows of Rascals, New Year's Eve. Dice always works yeah. the New Year. He always well, does. that, I'm banging around the clubs. That's a good You know, till the special is. What know, do they call that, working your chops? Yeah, you know, working on new stuff, getting ready to go into concerts. So this is all new material. If I went to see you at Rascals, I would see all new material. Basically. Wow. But yeah, not New right. Year's. New Year's anything goes. So this yeah. is a very rare appearance for you in the sense that people can see you in an intimate setting? Yeah, in clubs. Yeah. Right. Well, have you ever gotten in front of a group of people and nobody laughed? Yeah, most nights. Most nights. <laughs> no, no way. See, then Jackie shouldn't feel so no, bad. But, no, Jackie no. is Jackie's freaking out. Well, they had a roast. A, they had a, they had a roast for me, right? Yeah. So Jackie did like thirty seconds and didn't get a laugh. So now he's moping and and wait yeah, a, but Jackie's act calls for laughs. Oh, I see. You know, that's oh, what, so he that's should what I was upset. Oh, I, oh, I see. see. So you know, you're saying I, Jackie should be moping? He does, like, you know, one line after one line. And, right. it's, you know, if, if the crowd isn't going, Lee, I Wait, relish it. Whoa! Oh, you relish, relish it? What'd yeah, you say? what did you I say? Felt, what, I, I was wondering why you were having this. Yeah, what are you believe in relish? Relish. Or oh. should be, you know, pussy, I understand. Right. You could say pussy boy. Right. Shh. But, uh, wait, wait, wait. I want to end this discussion right now. <laughs> Relish. I mean, you're talking about I thought he said all something. All the time. Really? I'm trying to think of what that could have been. I'll tell you afterwards. Okay. What? Jackie, did you think that he was saying it no, during the No, I know what you thought he said. Jackie, no. No, no. 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 Jacking off doesn't sound like Dice. relish. <laughs> Dice. Where's that button? I mean, jacking off, it's my bread and butter, you know? Where is the delay button? Yeah. Over it's here. my life's blood. I still haven't figured that out. I know. It works. <laughs> it's weird. I mean, you talk about the whole AIDS thing, right? Yeah. 
don't you think masturbating is more popular now? Well, absolutely. I know yeah. it's popular don't, in my house. Don't you find oh, it re respectable? Yeah. People are coming out of the closet about it. That's yeah. true. Did you ever tell me a theory how it's going to back up the stream of urination? I don't know. that. It, I, we want to get to the rest of the news. <laughs> hey, let me mention Leslie West has a brand new guitar out that he designed. Oh, really? And it's a beauty. It's called the Steinberger. Well, it's been out the for years Stein without Burger? a headache, But because a lot of guys were uptight that it had no head. Uh, All right. They came up with this head that all you have to do is open these gears, put the string in, and lock it. You're What's killing me. With that? You're killing me. You're killing me. Every day I listen to you. You're killing me. No, 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 no. They, I got to cut him off. I got to explain the rules to him again. <laughs> all right, I won't say it no more. All right, all right. Come on. I hear it about. every day. You bring on these guys. Uh, penis extension, penis width. Uh, all right, but you just. Uh, I know how to do penis, it. You don't. Uh, you don't know how to handle yourself. Penis. Penis. Say, Schwanz is okay. Yeah. Schwanz. Penis is no good. Schwanz. I thought it was fun. It is, but... It's not Schwanz? I don't know where Leslie's been. Oh, All right, now wait God. a second. It's me, I get him all. It's unbelievable. It's so many beats. Oh, yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> I get the soul. <laughs> All right, listen, you guys. All right. Come on. If you could speak Italian, I think you'd be bleeping. I know. All right, Rob, we're going to take a break. You know oh. No, what are you, I thought he was going to play the guitar. He is going to play hey, guitar. me. I got to take a break first, and then you guys can do a number. We got to talk some more news. All right. What are you, in a rush? Well, you know, Johnny's waiting. Uh, Johnny's waiting. Screw Johnny. Know. Tell Johnny to come up here. He's got an audacious ball. He can't make a move. All right. We'll be back right after. What are you going to help him do? Yeah. Find out where he is. Okay. The dice is awfully close to that hot tub, Johnny. Oh, uh, you know, we don't know what to do with it. Right? <laughs> Let me talk to you about Butter Bud Sprinkles. You would really like this. I, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what he's saying. I don't either. But we can't be responsible. He's just to me on the phone the other night. You know, there's a lot of times I've been on your show, I got away, I got away with saying the C word. No so I way. Said, I said, no, you didn't. He goes, you don't understand it. Whenever I talk that mumbo jumbo, I'm saying the C word. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not finding it funny today. <laughs> Trini, you really look cute laying in bed this morning. With Hot Tub's face in your lap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Come on, I got a kid now. <laughs> All right, take well, it My easy. kid does a spit at me. <laughs> Let me tell you about Butter Bud Sprinkles. Have you tried Give Daddy a kiss. Leslie. Your best. I use them, man. Leslie. I really use them. I'm not kidding. You use what? Butter, butter Bud, Bud Sprinkles. Sprinkles. Get close ah. to the microphone, then. Butter Bud Sprinkles. I use them. And why do you use them? Well, when I first wanted to lose Never heard weight. of them. They're great. Four calories, and you get the rich taste it of butter. It tastes like butter. It really, ta really tastes like butter. Carrot. And it's And guess what? Made of real butter from which the fat and water have been removed. Yeah, sure it has. How many calories are in margarine? <laughs> 70. <laughs> I know it's too good to be true, but it is it's true. It's true, man. It yeah. is true, man. Uh, it's like putting rubber in your belly, all these things you're talking about. No, no, no. This is real Did butter. Did you ever read a book on nutrition? Oh, man, oh, man. I tell they, you what, guys. They recommend butter, but. They recommend butter, but sprinkles. Read Fit for Life, or whatever. What was the one we read? Yeah, Fit for Life. Yeah, Fit for Life. <laughs> shutting my mic. <laughs> I'm shutting off your mic because you're embarrassing me. What am I getting punished? <laughs> yeah. In the corner with a hat on. Uh, that's right. <laughs> All right, put the mic on. I'll behave. Yeah, keep saying pussy. All right, anyway. Yeah, just come on. Hey, me and God, so we have to get them all. <laughs> oh, man. Listen. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. I think it's Italian. We're, I don't know Italian. I know, my friend taught me that. I can translate that word. Believe me, I know what he's saying. Get the minute. What, it's unbelievable. All right, listen to me. <laughs> Call the Butter Buds toll-free hotline if you don't believe me at 800-231-1123 for recipes and healthy eating tips. Just put it on anything mm, hot and moist. It's, it's, it's great. Butter Buds it's sprinkles. It's good. The hey. classic rock. Dice is here. I'm in a very good mood. Pleasant very. surprise. Uh, Leslie West. Pleasant surprise. Press that button. What button? That delay button. Yeah, come on, guys. Stay. No, I'm behaving. Try to work like within the broadcast standard. Okay. Uh, on your show, I don't know what it is. Because then it sounds weird. You're outrageous. Just talk like you're on say. Merv Griffin. I right on Merv. Merv. I never did the Merv Griffin show. All right, pretend Another guy on... that won't put me on. That uh, <laughs> rap. <laughs> Where do we what? stand on that? You could say it. Well, it, now it, it's delayed. Yeah. Rap bastard. <laughs> rap bastard. <laughs> yeah, I used to call up his talent guy. I go, well, why can't I do Merv? Yeah. You know, you go, you're not his type. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> hey, what about the... <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> Maiden Grimm. 
What about uh, Johnny Carson? How come you never did that? I, I don't know. You know, I feel I should. And, you know, his talent guy's a jerk off also, the guy that books the show. <laughs> right. Now, if I could talk to Johnny directly, right. I'm sure he'd want me on the show. I mean, right. how, how would you, you want me? I'm wonderful. Right. I'd love to hear you that know. Well, and, I would be, you know. And let I, him in, uh, forget him. I mean, that would be an honor to do Carson. Arsenio, right? you do, but let him in, you don't do. Let him in, I haven't done. Uh, I was on Letterman, and I, I... Leno, you know... Leno, you won't do? Well, uh, you know, he, he don't like me either. You he know? doesn't? And he's scary. Why is he scary? I mean, just his look. You know, it's pretty frightening. What do you mean, like his chin or something? Uh, forget... I mean, when it was just a chin, you know, I mean, the thing's expanding. <laughs> the thing is growing. You know, it's like a friggin' anvil. It's not a chin anymore. <laughs> you know? I mean, the guy's a freak of nature. I mean, num number one, you know, he's comfortable now, so he put on about, I'd say, uh, 80, 90 pounds in the last month and a half. I think because he's, like, relaxed. The guy's got a head. You know, the, the human head. Yeah. The normal size head weighs about 15 pounds, an adult head. I'd say his head weighs 60, 70 pounds. <laughs> you think Jay Leno... I'd love to weigh it. You think Jay Leno's head weighs more than any other person's head? Definitely. Wow. What a great paperweight that would make. <laughs> His head. <laughs> oh, he, he's like, it's stupefying to look at it. I mean, this guy, Anvil Head, you know, I mean, his jokes, but that's good because comedians are supposed to be ugly right. like him. Right. I got you. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, you. you know, comedians years ago weren't this good looking. Yeah, but know? maybe you're just upset because he won't have you on the show. Maybe that's why you're bitter. If he had you on no, the show, no, you wouldn't I, feel I, 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 I'd, I'd want to do it with Johnny, you know. Right. To me, Johnny's a pro. He knows how to, you know. But Johnny could kiss my ass. Jay's a jerk off. <laughs> I don't like Johnny. You know, I like Jay. No, I don't Jay, like Johnny. That's like legendary to sit with Johnny. You no, know, it that isn't. would be, you know, to sit with Jay. It's like, all right, Anvil Head, ask me why I do the things I do, and yeah. you know why I bash the, you know, like, you what am I gonna, what am I gonna talk you about already? My mother. Let me ask you something. Why do you, you do know? the things you do? Uh, well, so, uh, so, but Arsenio, you're still on... It's uh, like even when I got the show for HBO. Yeah. You know, they go, all right, thanks, look, we want you to do the show, right? Right. I even did this in the special. I go, but what we don't want you to do is talk about the gays, the blacks, the Puerto Ricans, the Jews, the Italian, the urine colleds, you yeah. know, the Japs, the chinks, all, the, all this crap. Essentially, you're right. I'm sitting there like... Well, what am I going to do? Yeah, right. What you know, do I talk about? How my uh, my dog took a, a, a dump piss on the on the friggin' carpet over there? <laughs> you know, what am I going to talk about already? People is what I talk about. You know, right? And they're, they're like, yeah, you know, we want the what should I do? Silence, like I told you to do right, that. Right, right, right. I'll just stand there for an hour, wear a nice jacket, and go. Hey, you. Guys calls me up one time. He says, "You know what you ought to do in your TV show? You and Robin go on. Not a word." You don't say a word for the whole hour. Yeah. You just sit there and read. I go, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you're waiting for the punchline. So, so, I, said, I said, Dice, why don't you do that on your HBO special? Why don't you just be quiet for an hour? <laughs> well, I got my own sense of humor. You got to see what I injected into the show. Okay, all right. How was that? <laughs> I'm yeah. telling you. But, I mean, what are you going to talk about? You know. So I mean? Arsenio, though, you uh, go on his uh, show. I'll do more 7-Eleven stuff. Uh, right. Jay Leno, I'll keep it safe. I'll just talk about the 7-Elevens. I won't talk about the gooks that run it, but I'll just talk about the... <laughs> You know, you know. So what about our Arsenio? That show you do. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the Gooks. He's a jerk off, too. I mean, every time really? I do his show. Yeah. You know? He's an idiot. Yeah. He's I an mean, imbecile. You don't I need him. I want to come out. I want to make people laugh. It turns right. into an issue. It turns into like a... He's going to defend know, a all. couple interview. Or right. Whatever, you know? He's an annoying guy. You know? But you yet, know what? But yeah, when a chick comes on the show, he wants to jump on her and right. squeeze a... A melons. A melons. Right. You know what I mean? But, you know, but I'm the bad guy. Yeah. I'm the bad guy, huh? Check that out. <laughs> so, in other words, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm the bad guy. Look at me. I'm me. Go ahead. Look, I'm the bad guy. Everybody look at me. In the meantime, he's trying to bang chicks on the couch over there. Right. I can't make... I, I, I got calluses across my belly from standing against the crap table for 20 years, and you want to tell me how to throw a roll? <laughs> I mean, what are we talking about over there? So what you're saying is... Calluses. What I'm saying is it's like they go with the wind. You know what I right, mean? Right, right. So, in other words, you don't even like... Oh, the media you don't like them, I won't like them. It's like I don't got my own set. So, for a while... For a while, Arsenio would have you on, and all he'd do is discuss uh, whether you're good or I, bad. I'd come in there. That was, I took a move with the last time I come in there. He's got like a like a, a tent with a, with a bunch of gays sitting in it right. on one side, and yeah. on the other side is the feminists. It's like, you know, battle of the, you know, things. It's like, it's like, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like wrestling. You know, and I'm saying that I don't even talk about the faggots anymore, you know? Well, you're not I don't supposed even to say talk that. About you're supposed them. to say gays. Gays, I don't know what they want to be called. I don't talk about 
It's just the same a sex that just wants to make love to the same sex. All right, that turns you off. What are they doing here? Right. But you don't care if somebody makes love to... Uh, 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 that two-faced jerk-off. Who's that, Arsenio? Yeah, well, I'm talking saying... about my friend Joey. Who am I talking no, about? No, what did I tell you that Arsenio <laughs> is a jackass? Yeah, you know, he's an I'm idiot. To come out, be a gentleman thing over there. Yeah, wherever I go, you know, it's like right. people give me the attitude. He's not good. I'm he on has the no plane talent. coming First in, right? They tell you this with Robert Wagner. No. Oh yeah, the Robert Wagner story you told me. But the point is that with uh, I'm over there, you know. Now he's wearing the crown. Right. Yeah. Right. I like you on the deep thing as Alexander Monday. You want to have a drink? No, I don't drink with you. Yeah. You don't drink with whoa. No. Oh, sit Robert, down, you bastard. I'll bang your head through the back of your shoes over there. You, you know, what is Robert that? Wagner wouldn't have a drink with you. No. No. But I didn't ask him. Right. You sleep with his daughter? So, <laughs> <laughs> so, in other words, what you're saying is you're on the outs with Arsenio. I wouldn't say I'm on the outs, but, I mean, you go on to do a show. I want to come on and be funny. Right. I don't you're want not going to sit be, there and be challenged like on... Uh, you know, like here. We have fun. We right. laugh. Have a good know, time. It's not a laugh. serious thing. You right. know, I'm a comic. I, I promise I ain't running for president. Right. <laughs> you know, besides, I make more money. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> there is no worse dresser on television than Arsenio Hall. Wouldn't well, you, you know what that? it is. Why would that guy? First of all, isn't he a lousy stand-up comic? Well, he doesn't do comedy anymore. Right. You know, you bring up like the old days, Tim. It's like, I don't. Why don't you want to hear it? Yeah. You know what's what's wrong with the old days? You Nothing's know what, wrong what's with wrong that. with the struggle? What's wrong with telling jokes? Well, Letterman, I thought you were going to be on because uh, you know, uh, you know, he's got to ask me. Well, no, the problem was. Well, I called him a jerk off. Right. Big but deal. there was a reason for that. Why was he a jerk off? Well, I was, I was sort of, I was sticking up for other comics that would come to me. Yeah, I'm gonna get somebody in trouble. Go ahead. Uh, for a change. Yeah, comics you know. that that were opening for me that are just straight stand up, not dirty comics, just right. real regular know, comics. Regular comics that would audition. Right. You know, that that I knew were good, they couldn't get the show. Right. But comics that were like garbage. Go on a show, they bomb, and I'm say, and I'm thinking of the guys that that are telling me, you know, they audition. I'm going, these are good guys, right? You know, these are guys. That are, so why wouldn't he put them on the show? He's a jerk off, right? You know, I mean, that's what I was thinking about. So how did that get back to Letterman? Well, I said it on Arsenio. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> so you sort of uh, burn that bridge. Well, no, I mean, if he's going to take jerk off as a, you know, somebody says to me, you're a jerk off, I go, yeah, three times a night. I right. mean, you know. Right, right. It's no to me, deal. that's a compliment. Right. It's my life's blood. Because I was on there with Letterman, and he says to me, uh, especially this time of year. He says to me, I like You know what I mean for masturbating, Jackie? He says he With likes cool you. cool weather, you get that whole new zest for it. <laughs> he says he likes you. Warms you up. Ooh, let him in likes me? Yeah. So I'll do the show. There's no problem. All right. You want to do the show? Let me find a date for you. All right. We'll book you. Now, Robin, we were in the middle of the news. Yeah, Dice Leslie. type of guy. <laughs> Dice Leslie, Leslie would call. you like to join us in the news here? I fear. You fear doing the news. Doing the, the news, news already. Well, if you got anything you want to rap with, Robin, before we get into the musical, I didn't get into anything. I know, well, it's impossible. <laughs> How's your life, Robin? <laughs> Just fine. Manhattanite. <laughs> Robin moved into Manhattan. Oh, you really? Yeah. Yes. You broke up with your boyfriend. Oh, that was a long time ago. Oh uh, yeah, she's got it. You know so who's her date? Uh, her date is Michael oh, Swan from the soap go. opera. You don't know that, do you? I don't know. I didn't hear that. about that. See? Have you ever taken a test, Robin? Now okay. you go with this Michael an Swan. HIV test. Have you taken the HIV well, test? I need an HIV test for a been with nobody no, in saying, the last 10 years. But I'm saying, now right. if you go with this uh, Swan guy, you're going to swing it around a little for him. What are you talking about? Once. Michael Schwartz. Well, I can't say the P word. You told me. No, no, no. She, um... Like, is, if you dig the guy, right? You're going to dish it out? If I dig a guy. Yeah, you're going to dish it out? Well, the Swan guy. <laughs> Did you dish it out to the Swan guy you want to know? No. Did you make out? Yes. <laughs> what yes. Is, what I is can this? answer that, yes. I am a What's news person. Work? I yes. asked the question. Four million people can answer that. Yeah. What? She talked about that on the air. She made out with him, yeah. <laughs> she didn't make out with him. So if that's tongue See, work, you didn't remember when test. you took your pantyhose off. She doesn't remember <laughs> me. Dice, she has three inputs. See, it's all about secretion. <laughs> It's all about bowel movements today. It's not about the actual sex move. Right. Oh, dear. Yeah. It's bowel movement. You better change the subject I'm quick. Yeah, you. please. Speaking of age, a lot of Howard, brand. A lot of brand. Kimberly Bergalis. Yeah. That young girl from Florida who got AIDS sitting in a dental chair. See? Who died. The this guy, this, this no. I can't make fun of. I'm not making fun of it. The dentist. Imagine that. And she was a young girl. She never had sex with anybody. She never did anything. How did she, she didn't have a blood transfusion. He had open sores on his hands. Uh, and he didn't wear tool. gloves and all that stuff. And, and he didn't stare. You know, he might have not sterilized, sterilized his hands. No, I can't tell you. They got to start getting some kind of AIDS test for doctors. 
I agree with you. Well, Mandatory. You know, doctors now wear the gloves, too. This guy didn't wear the gloves. And the mask they have to wear now in the emergency yeah. room from blood she dies, You too. could get the AIDS from your oh. dentist. Well, I haven't seen a dentist in six years. Is that right? Is <laughs> yeah. that what you're doing to and avoid atomic fireballs? Aren't you afraid fireballs? of going to doctors and stuff now? I didn't even want to see a doctor anymore. That's right. Dice won't go to his dentist in six years. George That's Bergalis, right. her That's father, it. said that she was down to 70 pounds of skin and bone. Oh, boy. She lost even more weight, became confused, and had difficulty speaking and breathing. And then oh, she just said, I don't want any... Um, Extraordinary measures taken when I just sort of drift out of here. Just let me go. I'm tired of this mess. So that's what happened this weekend. So and she looked like Leslie. Oh, dear. Seven down, 70 pounds. Oh, please. Leslie, thank God you don't have the AIDS. Well, let's listen to Let me tell you, thank God. There you go, you uh, 40 million people Kimberly. by the year 2000, they expect to have. Well, you won't be one don't of them. Don't be one of them. That's all you got to do. Keep out of that count. Dice, you better stay away from your groupies. I'm moving. No spanking. Where are you field? moving to? A quiet place. <laughs> yeah, Times Square. <laughs> Kimberly Bergalis, please. Oh, Just to remember peace. her. Rest in peace. Okay. Hold on. Whose handwriting is this, Robin? Ida's. Ida? Yeah. Man, Ida got to write a little bigger. Two people a week. <laughs> Can't see Two a thing here. Famous. All right, listen. This is the woman who just died, huh? How about letting her talk a little? I did nothing wrong. Yeah, I'm being made to suffer like this. My life has been taken away. Please enact legislation so that no other patient or health care provider will have to go through the hell that I have. Jackie sounds like you with the roast, no laughs. Oh dear. <laughs> Only you. <laughs> Jackie had the same thought. <clears throat> Hope God's on your side, Howard. Also, I was... No, I I'm was saying she sounds like Jackie at the roast. No laughs. I didn't do anything wrong. I didn't do anything wrong. That was wrong. one of Jackie's delivery. Yeah, who was? <laughs> That's why he didn't get laughed. He was, he was off that night. <laughs> well, anyway, I was talking to you about uh, Robert <clears throat> Maxwell. Yeah. He uh, embezzled a lot of funds, <laughs> stole money from the pension plan yeah. in his organization. And you were the one. See, this guy I like. Yep. He's a socialist. He's a this, he's a that. And I said, how can he be a socialist? With, socialist? Uh, I don't like him because he's a plane, socialist. A a yacht. Well, I never said and he was then a you explained to me, well, Robin, he says he has to have those things because other rich people have them. Get your head together. <laughs> Get <laughs> your head together, please. <laughs> I like him because he's a socialist. This is what you said I am said God's to me. greatest capitalist. <laughs> I'm the biggest capitalist there is. <laughs> you bought his story hook, hook, line, and sinker. So did you. This was a great so, guy. Why would you attack me? So did the world. I'm just telling you, you shouldn't be so quick. Why? He saved a lot of jobs for people in New York. For three huh? weeks. Now they're in bankruptcy. Well, they, they still have the job. Until yeah. they go out of business. They find that billion bucks, they'll all be swimming happy. <laughs> His son. So Robin like, wants, she's what? doing a shtick now where she thinks minute. like she's trying to talk about saying. that I'm some kind of dope. Oh, some kind no, of no, no, no. Who falls for people. <laughs> And uh, she doesn't. You're putting words in my mouth. Well, that's what you're implying. I'm you were saying, the one. You were the one. I'm not saying you're stupid. Guys, isn't she trying to say I'm stupid? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's got the unmitigated goal not to shake my hand. Who? Arsenio. I'm sitting here. Oh, I'm thinking about it. You know, because when I sit here, I thinking? like rewind the tape. What are you tape. talking about? You know what, what I mean? What are you talking about? He wouldn't shake your there, hand? And when, you know, when you leave the show. Yeah. You hear I'm like, well, you know, you normally know, shake hands. Like, nice man, uh, kiss the baby. You know, that's like without shaking the right. hand. Because what, what kind of crap is that, huh? Hold it, hold it, hold it. I'll bang his head through his shoes next time no, I hold see it, him. Hold it, a second. You're hey, being serious, I don't right? Go for the, yeah. You're being serious. You did I mean, Arsenio. Yeah. And, the, and then you and went to shake. And go. Wait a second. You went to shake his hand. No, no, he done. normally goes to shake your I mean, he's the host. Well, nice right. doing the show. And now I'm sitting there and you don't want to shake my hand. What, what did happened? Did he talk to you after? Talk to me. It's like... Why, because you're not politically correct. He used you up. sitting on a show like, uh, I'm going to make this work in between. You know, during the commercials, like he's going to destroy me. Yeah. Nobody destroys me. Ugh. Oh, boy. I'll do my own talk, so I'll write friend. the floors with all these guys. See? This was your friend. I told you Arsenio was an a-hole. That was the best you should I don't even know what I'm thinking about him. He's in such a good mood. He's a bad dresser, that's why. You know what I mean? He don't know what to dress. He don't know how to cut his hair. i never seen anybody. Go ahead, Robin. He's anyway. off the back yeah. of his head, the top of his head. <laughs> right. You know, he's got like a racetrack going through his head already. Right. Well, there's not much you can Come do. Come on, number three. Out of way, yeah. 
Well, anyway, Howard, what I was going to say about Robert <laughs> Maxwell before you got so sensitive about I don't know, Maxwell, in, coffee, what are we talking about? On his side. Yeah. That makes a buck I was just himself. going to say he was not such a great family man. Now there are women coming forward oh. saying that uh, he they had affairs with him or he offered them cars and other things to have uh, dalliances with him. Yeah. And then when they said, let me tell you, you didn't come up with the car, Bobby. The, the minute you he make more than 50 them. grand a year, every chick says she bangs you. That's, uh, that's the bottom line. You have that problem, right? Yeah, I got Seriously, that problem. Seriously, there's a lot of women who... Who is all over this city right. said they bang me. <laughs> right. And you, I don't you bang you, nobody. And you were saying that for the last five years... I you won't even bang my chick on principle now. <laughs> no, I'm saying for the last... Yeah. Hey, come on. All right, look. You, you've gone way over the line. <laughs> you want us to put your mic back up? I can't say that word. That's one of the seven dirty words. Well, that's what she would tell me. You know, above the way. All right, wait a second. <laughs> you were saying that for the first couple of years in your relationship with your girlfriend, you could go out and, and go to second base with a woman? No, she was teasing, though. All right. <laughs> but I took it serious. Oh! So you did some stuff, but you didn't do a lot. No, no, I didn't do nothing. All right. Tool is That's getting married. I am. Hey, guys, Tool is getting married, the transsexual. You know that woman who was in Playboy? Oh, yeah, Playboy? I saw that. Oh, yeah, this, isn't that special? <laughs> no, that doesn't screw up the Why world. Why, you wouldn't do it my up? kid's going to have to look at freak of natures <laughs> like this and go, oh, what a pretty girl, Dad. No, you don't, you don't understand, Max. Right. She's beautiful. Well, you don't she's understand. off the market now. She's Pick getting married. Pick up a married. dress. She's got a tree trunk under there. Uh, <laughs> she's You're allowed to say tree trunk? Sure. She's marrying a 27-year-old Canadian engineering Well, what student. kind of idiot is he? <laughs> what if he has to say, what's his problem? <laughs> I mean, what's he going to turn into? Uh, well, what is he? Uh, you know? Well, I heard that now, now the most amazing thing about this. Oh, you're going to tell? 